Good morning. Good morning, jewellery makers. You me again. I know. What's How going lovely. on? This is What's gorgeous. What's going on? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> and the next show. And the next show. Four oh, in a row. Four in a row. Well, that actually, hasn't happened for years. Years. Did you just go down? <laughs> I did. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Mark Smith? Oh, everybody. We've got Michael on cat. Oh, Michael, you've eaten that donut quicker than... In one than... go, I know. What I don't think even took breath in between the what bites. What was in the donut? Custard. Custard. Mm. Because Kinga... Oh, gosh. King is the best thing in the world anyway. Uh, but because... Uh, because <laughs> King is... Is this just a Polish thing? Fat Thursday. Um, a lot of European A lot of Europe. Uh. Why don't we do this? Fat Thursday. Fat Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> No, the king is fat. Oh, gosh, she's put all oh, the donuts oh, in. I've got I've one waiting over there, quietly donuts. kind of, a donut there, just quietly kind of sweating. Um, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> going to be eating it. I'm very excited about it. I'm worried I may have a cardiac arrest. Look at the state of that. Oh, it's going my in my mouth. Um, oh, look, it's king with their donuts. <laughs> 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 I love it. We've got... Um, We've got um, producer Neary Nunu. There he is. He's in there. He's hello, love. Have you had your donut? Yeah. Oh, look, it's just sitting there. We won't tell yeah. the viewers, but we've seen that we've heard of a different side to Tom this morning, haven't we, in the production room? Well, Tom is yeah. yeah. Tom is yeah. 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 Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we've got production manager Ollie. He is going to be directing the show today. Oh, look, he's got his donut. Oh, he's got his donut as well. Oh, is he going to oh. go? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> in it goes. <laughs> <laughs> literally, have you got it all around your mouth? <laughs> yes, literally everywhere. <laughs> also, we've got an amazing show for you today. Mark, this is going to be, this is a brilliant, brilliant show we've got, isn't it? It's fantastic. I can't wait for this, this 10 o'clock. This stone is so beautiful. So we're launching this morning, very, very excited about this, uh, Diopside with Feldspar with Dave. It's, 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 so it's like a really beautiful, yeah. um, almost like a landscape jasper. You've got this beautiful, these dark, gorgeous, intense greens going through there, racing greens going through there. Um, it is a diopside with feldspar. That's going to be it's really beautiful. exciting. Gorgeous launch coming up at 10. 11 o'clock, we've got more sit sit, which is really exciting. Mark, your kits today are gorgeous. The kit house, oh, diamonds oh, coming there up. We are. Um, hopefully, get to play those in the nine. Really excited about those. Um, we've got the most amazing. Um, Oh. We've got the most amazing um, kits in the nine o'clock hour with this awesome um, magnetic heat. I know, tent. I know. It's, so it's, excited. This, this is amazing. So Alison launched it four weeks mm. ago, I think it was. And we managed to put together a few more kits because I was desperate to work with yes. it after watching Alison on the show. And it is incredible. Oh, it is fantastic. so amazing. And then we've got... Um, an ordinary hematite kit in the rose gold colour, which is so beautiful. Oh, awesome. So, um, yeah, it's amazing. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got, yes. for the first time in jewellery maker history, I believe, I mean, yeah. we've had leather on the show before quite a few times, uh -huh. but we've never had four millimetre. Chunky. Shade. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is fantastic for doing your, your cutting up. And I'm going to show you how to make your own endings to put on your leather pieces. And there's a little something that um, it's a bit of a rogue item that we've got in the kits. We've got these amazing magnetic clasps here when I'm going to show you how I've used them. I've not used them with the leather, I've used them with something else because they, I've been desperately, desperately wanting these forever, so they're coming oh. up in the kits as well. And then we've got the, the two O's back in stock as well. Yeah, we've not so had for ages. We're going to be playing those yeah. as kind of um, individuals in the 12. Yeah, they're going to go time. absolutely crazy, yeah, so that's going to be that. brilliant. Um, I've got to show you this incredible ring oh my gosh this is amazing we won't we won't tell carol shall we kinger about the ring what <laughs> what happened did you lose it i tried it on about five minutes ago and i couldn't get it off <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't really? get it off. i was panicking i was panicking everyone's been talking about this ring this is so cool and yeah. um, this oh. is the most beautiful jade ring it's got a gorgeous kind of flat plate on the top of it i just love this it's it's so cool um, I tell you what it reminds me of. Have you ever seen one of those ink blotters when people oh, yes. write in fountain the pens and then they do one. this? Yeah. Yes, to yes. kind of yes. go over the uh, ink. It reminds me of that, or like a or like yeah. a seal ring as well, where you do your seals on it. I, I just I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's brand new. It's coming up today in the eight o'clock hour. Can you believe it's going to be absolutely brilliant? 
So that's going to be coming your way as well. So really, really excited about all of that. Um, it's going to be a brilliant show. Absolutely fantastic. We've got loads coming up. Go and have a look on our website, jewelrymaker.com. All the items are available on our website. Uh, they're all going to disappear at nine o'clock, though. So we've got gorgeous pearls. We've got a nephrite bangle. We've got um, razzle-dazzle coated um, agate. We've got uh, a wooden plier stand. We've got champagne diamonds. Oh, my gosh. My South Sea pearls. We've got um, soldered pear-shaped jump rings. We've got uh, gorgeous faceted pearls. We've got the raindrop um, cut as well. Gorgeous storage, craft storage boxes. I really want to play those, actually. I really want to play those. Loads of stretchy bracelets as well. So they're all available on our website. Loads of things are going to be selling out. You know that. Wow. It's going to be brilliant. Last in stock, black jade as well in the carvings. They're gorgeous, stunning. Uh, right. Shall we, shall we get going? I hope. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant show. So... Whatever you want to do, just just go and get it all. Um, let's go to the Wall of Fame first, though, and see some of your incredible designs. So let's start off with Susan. Good, good, good. Uh, number two two nine. Oh, I I don't know what that gemstone is. I Amazing. love that colour. I've made a long night necklace with matching earrings and bracelets using fabulous purple quartz. Wow. I think you called uh, satellite beads. Yes, that's yes. exactly it. I've also used some orange gold seed beads in between. Good luck, everyone in the drawer. Loving all the demos and all the very talented guests, says Susan. I know, they're brilliant, aren't they? They're great. Um, Gabby Wilde, you're number 230. Um, to all at JM Towers. Oh, lovely oh, boxes nice. there. They're nice. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Rope slider bracelets finished with, as, with an assortment of gemstones and components uh, from my odds and ends box. Everything from your good selves, of course. Loving all the inspiration and demos. Always something new to discover and learn. Keep what you're doing. Good luck to my fellow offers, Gabby. Oh, Thank you, darling. Message. Yeah, really nice. Thank you so much, lovey. Julia Wood, your number 231. Oh, they're pretty earrings. It's chrysophrase uh, gemstones in um, uh, in a gorgeous pair of earrings. Sorted out a matching pair on Monday evening from the Strand. Added a multifaceted bead, ear findings, wire. And this is the result, for, all, all from JM Sterling Silver. They're really lovely. I like They're those amazing. a lot. Gorgeous colour. Thank you for that, Julia. Well Number done. 232 is from Jill. And Jill says, good morning all. A bit of a strange one, but I hope you like it. Baltic amber, pearls and turquoise. With a, now she says, with a false toggle clasp. I don't know what a false toggle clasp is. No. Everything from JM, sending hugs to all. Thank you, lovey. Number 233 is from Justine. Uh -huh. oh, oh, it's one of those hands, the Jadite hands look. Oh, yes. Hi, JM. I've, I haven't entered in a long time, so here it goes. Was bought this lovely jade hand and wanted to make a chain for it. Gorgeous. Bought these lovely jade rounds from JM and simply made a rosary chain. All components from JM. Hope you're all well and taking care of yourselves. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. And that's from Justine. That is beautiful. I love that. And number 234 awesome. is you. from Mandy. Oh, look at this. Hi everyone, here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a pair of Cellini spiral earrings with a silver colour hematite faceted bead. This is my first attempt at this weave. When it came to the top and bottom of the earrings, I had to make it up as I went along, which making the second one a challenge, as I couldn't remember what I'd done with the first one. I've done that many times. Uh -huh. But they ended up almost identical, and I'm really pleased with them. Good luck to everyone entering in this week, and that's from Mandy. They are beautiful. Thank you, Mandy. They're beautiful. That's Lovely a real labour of love, Cellini. It really is. Gorgeous They're amazing. photography. Well done. Well Thank done. you so much. You're also talented. Yeah. Thank well, you we're, so, um, so well, much. While we're quickly talking about competitions and Wall of Fame, um, on Sunday we had my birthday show. Yes, we and did. And one of the prizes um, was a bag of quite a bit of stash. It was supposed yes. to be 51 items, but I think it was nearly 100. <laughs> you had strands of gemstones, you had made up jewellery, you had cabochons, all sorts of things, all from my personal stash at home, mm. all in a bag. We've chosen one person at random, and the winner is, oh. are we ready? I've got it all written down here. The one and only oh. Agnes Burns from Renfrewshire. Yay! Congratulations, Agnes. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that, that so that big bag will be wending its way to you over the next few days, and uh, and have fun with it, and, and uh, give us a message when you receive it. Let us know what you think. It would be great. Well oh, done. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Agnes. Well done. How wonderful. Well done. Thank you for oh, that, Mark. That's pleasure. gorgeous. Pleasure. Gorgeous. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Neary's trying to do a, find a lovely font. That was oh. nice. That other one. Oh, just go for yeah. Oh, oh no, oh, yeah, nice. that one. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, here we go. Right. They didn't just like. Let, they didn't like my hand. Just let him version. do it. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Well You're done. You're going to booze it up. He's going to booze it up. Apparently. Booze it up. <laughs> well. Gorgeous. Done. Yeah, Mark just did his own. <laughs> I love it. Well done. Congratulations, Agnes. Shall well we get done. going? We've got loads and loads. Oh, by the way, the rings are already going. Um, Neary, can we do these storage boxes? No? <coughs> can we? I love this ring. Oh, gosh. Absolutely love this. That is so beautiful. That's going to be coming up in this hour. Very, very excited about this. Um, the quality is absolutely gorgeous. I love these boxes, Mark. Oh, I love the colours. They're stackable. A bundle? Yeah. Oh. No. These are so... You're... For three? No. For three? I love these. I'd have the white one in my bathroom for toothpaste and toothbrushes and razors cotton, and Yeah, cotton stuff. wool buds yeah, and absolutely. things like that. Oh, Q-tips. They're really nice Easter colours as well, aren't they? They're really lovely. Nice. So fill it with little um, scrunchy paper and eggs and all sorts of things. That's gorgeous. Yeah. See, I've got, um, in, 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 um, I use lots of, um, oh, what are they called them? Uh, the cotton wool kind of pads to kind of oh, take yes. makeup off and stuff like yeah. that. You could fill these full of those. Yeah. That's just, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, Jill here. Ah. Oh, hello, Jill. Toggle class, sorry. Used a bolt clasp and toggle uh, was just for show. Oh, I see, oh, Jill. Brilliant idea. Gotcha. That's very good. Gotcha. Clever. Thank you, Jill. Thanks Thank for getting you, in my touch. Lovely. Thank you. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. This is really, really lovely. You pay that for each in a yeah. high street store. Yeah, yeah. nine ninety nine gets you all three of these today. They yeah. are flying out the door. Um, Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, you've got the, those lovely kind of Easter colours there. Yes, Morning, team. I received lovely. my goodie bag last night that I won counting hearts on Monday. I ah. uh, had great fun seeing all the lovely gems I won. Uh, thank you, says Joe. Well done. Thank you, lovely. Gorgeous. <laughs> thank you, my lovely. So loads of people coming through to get these. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, great for putting findings in. If you've got paper craft pieces, great to put those in as well. I love that That's little love. lid. Yes, yeah, lovely, isn't it? So cute. And they are stackable as well, Ten uh, which is great. That's $9.99. There we go. They're lovely and stackable. Yours today for just $9.99. Wow. That's great, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, love that. Great as a little desk tidy as well yes. if you work from Absolutely. home and you need yeah, a little yeah. desk tidy. That's a nice idea. Always there you go. Yeah. Or you could put little treats in it for your cat or your dog. Maybe. <laughs> Mind you, my dog has those big kind of bony o things. We'd have to kind of put the break the little schmacko things up and put oh. them in there. But yeah, he'd love those. Um, who's this from, this Mark? Is from Bernadette. Morning, guys. What size is the jade ring? Oh, please? now you're asking. Where's it gone? Oh gosh, King. <laughs> <laughs> In a diameter of 19 to 20 mil. We'll get the ring mandrel out and we'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, it is a uh, 19 yes, to 20 yes. mil across. Morning, glamorous Carol, handsome Mark, and all oh. the crew. Look, <laughs> and all the crew looking forward to 12 o'clock. Congrats to Agnes. All the crew, we've got Michael, you mean Michael. Here he is. <laughs> Go on, Michael. Did I introduce Michael? I did. I showed him with the donut. Oh, no, or maybe we didn't. Go on, just, just do the, go on, just give us a move. Come on. <laughs> What's sold out? All oh, the boxes. Oh, well done. I love him. Oh, he's just loving it. Oh. Loving life. Of all the people in the world, you would think who wouldn't do something like that. Michael is probably that person. But we just bully him into doing it. <laughs> oh. Just come back off tour. Right, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Wildfire. Oh, gosh. Love this colour. Grey wildfire. Yes, so talk to us about this. It? What is it you love about this colour? OK, color? so my number one all-time favourite colour is the forest green. Second is the silver. Oh. 
So if you're using if you're using any uh, C beading, where you're using monochrome or you're using clear faceted beads, anything like that, the silver smoky grey will complete again, like the forest green, it completely oh, disappears. Grey. It looks quite a heavy colour there, but once you take it off the reel, it is, is here we go. It is very silver very smoky grey. Do you think that's the colour that all guys want their hair to go eventually? <laughs> silver Mine's smoky grey. So, so this is this is the, the and you get fifty yards on the reel. It'll absolutely last forever. It's Gorgeous. Fantastic. Seven ninety nine. That's ridiculous. I always love our prices of our beading thread on, on the channel here. Yeah, it's amazing. Great, isn't it? Nobner eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Wasn't wasn't the, the other one a hobnob? Hobnob. Hobnob. Yeah. H e b n zero five. I remember. Nobner and hobnob. Hobnob. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Gorgeous. Seven ninety nine for your gorgeous wildfire today. Well done, oh. Malachite. Oh, now this is a gem. So I think I think we're going to have L thundering into the thundering <laughs> into the studio in a minute. It's like, what are you doing with the Mal my Malachite? This is such a phenomenal oh, gem. Look. It's another one of those gemstones, you look at it and it just has that air of opulence. Such a heavy stone that you've got here. An incredibly beautiful, um, uh, very, very coveted gemstone. Coveted because, um, coveted mainly because this is used by um, so many big, big kind of vendors out there. We're talking about, um, um, uh, you know, big kind of designer brands who make the most gorgeous pieces using gems like malachite. So whether it's going to be your Alhambra design in the Van Cleef, in the Van Cleef designs, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, or whether it's your Piaget pieces uh, with the gorgeous globe pieces uh, created from malachite. It, it's one of those gemstones that's in demand. I love those natural lines. You almost, actually on the recording, it's quite tricky to see them because it's got such a lovely luster. If you type in malachite into, into any search engine and you've got all these kind of things, uh, so seven and a half grand for your Van Cleef ring, Alhambra, um, there's nothing there under a thousand pounds. The Anushka mythology 18 karat gold malachite clover is 1900 pounds. That's about, yeah, it's the lowest price point I can see there. But it's just gorgeous. Works so well with yellow gold, doesn't it? You can see that there. But equally as well with silver and rose gold, yeah, I think, as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just beautiful. Such a heavy, wow. dense gem. This is uh, absolutely beautiful, completely natural. Well done to you. Go, go, go. How much was that, by the way? Twenty nine ninety nine. I don't think our screen's working here. Michael's very good at kind of turning things off and turning them back on again or just... Uh, we've got loads and loads and loads on our website. Please just get them, add them to your order. Um, we've got loads coming up. Uh, yeah, what should we do now, lovely? Right, which one? I've got like a pastel one or a ones with blues and greens and purples in. Blues and greens and purples. Oh. These are really limited now, aren't they? I know. I know. Wow. We've ordered, I love brand new, this. we've ordered brand new colours for birthday week and we're keeping our fingers crossed they arrive. And we've gone for, listen to this, Go on. gunmetal, oh. bronze, gold, silver, black. All in the coated. They're going to be amazing. Oh, oh so yeah. we're doing, sorry, I've got, I've got the wrong one. I've got the wrong one. We're doing this one. Here we go. Um, oh, Mark, that yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of proper Easter egg hunt kind of colourings, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Loving these pale pastel pinks, gorgeous blues, kind of uh, kind of purpley lavenders. This would go really well, actually, with the beautiful um, fluorite we bought you yesterday. The gorgeous, that was stunning, um, that wasn't fluorite. it? Gorgeous. Yeah. It was yeah. stunning, wasn't it? It was just beautiful. Yeah. And then these soft, gentle kind of dove greys that you're going to be getting here as well. These lovely lacy colours, beautiful. We're at ninety nine ninety nine. Um, First time I've ever seen these. Um, I've not been able oh. to, I, I've not had a chance of bringing these to air to you um, at all. Um, two different sizes that you're going to be getting here. Are we looking at five and, no, four and six? Six and eight. Six and eight. Yeah, and you've got, you've got two strands of each colour, which we've never done before. It's yeah, really, nice. really, really nice, yeah. isn't it? Oh gosh, I can't wait for those kind of They're gonna be amazing. precious metal yeah, colours to come through. They're yeah. going to be amazing. Yeah. Well done. So you've got makers coming through for this already, which is absolutely fantastic. Price point coming in as soon as possible. 
as soon as we can. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Well done. Use your 30 day money back guarantee. You're not going to need it. You're not going to need it. These are beautiful. I've really championed the coated gemstones. I think this year is just going to get better and better. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's ridiculous. 49 99 for all of these, all, all eight of That's these ridiculous. incredible strands. That's yeah. absolutely incredible. Maker and Conway, Jacqueline, Corolla, Maker, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Go, go, yeah. go. What an awesome opportunity. So much you can do with these as well, Mark, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I got them in for, the, for, the, for doing the Kiss Cross and, mm. and the Marla necklaces and things. And uh, I did a video when we launched these a few months ago, and it was a really grey, miserable, wet week, and I managed to get five minutes of sunshine, and I took a video, and it's nearly had 3,000 views. Wow, it's that's really, awesome, and, Mark. Um, I'm actually thrilled, and I just, just love these. Just See, love that them. just speaks volumes, yeah. doesn't it, about what yeah. people want, what people are attracted to, kind of what yeah. they like the look of. Tracy Gabrielle, well done to you, Maker. Uh, well done to you in North Yorkshire. Well done to you. Loads of you coming through to get these today. Well done. It's just it's just a wonderful way in which to look at your agate, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Describe just white white, blue, rose and aqua. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 49.99. I, wa I want to show you very quickly the jade ring again. This is flying on pre-order. You can go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and you can get it, add it onto your order. Look, so it's got this gorgeous flat bit on the top. Well, it's not flat at all, but it's got this kind of lovely plate on top um, with, uh, with the most beautiful quality going all the way through it. It's just gorgeous. I love that. So beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I can imagine Alice and Terry yeah. getting this and maybe uh, etching onto it or, yeah. or yeah. engraving onto it, which is why I think it reminded me a bit of a seal ring. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, when you've got your kind of, uh, you've got, yeah, a lotus would be lovely. That's a really nice idea mm. to kind of etch that onto the top of it, maybe. Or even I think a lot of people might kind of edge it with um, gold leaf, kind of electroplate it around the edges, maybe, you know, with your electroplater. Make a well into you with the West Midlands uh, coming through to get that razzle dazzle bundle. Gorgeous, well done. Let's do this darker oh, um, version of the. Um, That's my favourite. These two here. Razzle dazzle. They're like a lab really? rise, aren't it's they? It's exactly yeah. what it's like. I love this. Yeah, this is your labradorite kind of tone, isn't it? There, just there, and this one here. Aren't they gorgeous? Green, purple, blue, rainbow, blue striped. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? What's so nice is, is, is you would have thought that with the, with the coating and with the stripe of the agate, they'd really be kind of conflicting and fighting against each other. Actually, they're not. They, they no, just not look great all. together, don't no, they? They work beautiful. really beautifully And both bundles together. together. Just perfect. Yeah, well, I think I think yeah. you're right, Mark, because yeah. you've got kind of darker tones of the of the lighter ones in here, haven't you? I think that would work. Um, Ombre really heaven. Together. It is, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. So easy to work yeah. with. Yeah. No, you're gorgeous. very much guided by the fact that these are just gorgeous gemstones, and you can use them in whichever way you want. Even stretchy bracelets, the mm. simplest jewellery. You know, take a larger one, a smaller one. Make just make earrings. Just make loads of earrings. Anne and Tracy, well done to you. Sorry, how many left? Two so, opportunities. Yeah. That's all we've got available. More than yeah. enough of you there to sell this out. Well done. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous quality. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, tans. Oh, I've got something amazing here. I've got something really incredible. Oh. Okay. Wow. $12.99. For that? In your hand? For tanzanite. What are you expecting the tanzanites are going to look like? Rough, maybe a bit nuggety. For $12.99, you're not expecting much. Are you expecting this? Oh, my oh, word. My oh, my gosh. Sally, Claire, Kerry's got two. Em in Surrey. That is not what I would expect for $12.99. Wow. That is utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. Wow. Em, well done to you. That is absolutely gorgeous. 
Wow. I can imagine, yeah, if you're into your pearl drilling, setting a gemstone like this into your pearl, that would be absolutely gorgeous. Richard, Karen. Richard in Dorset, I haven't seen you for the last week or so. It's so nice to see you back with us again, my darling. Um, well done to you, Sally in Gloucestershire. You're all there. Oh, Surrey's taken two loads of these. That is a phenomenal deal, deal, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Marjorie and Francis, you're joining us this morning. Well done to you. 12 99 for Tanzanite. And it looks like this. That's absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. Makers coming through. Well done to you. Brilliant. <laughs> Buckinghamshire's got two. Well done to you. We've got loads coming up. Yeah, there's loads of great stuff in this hour. It's absolutely amazing. But it's only available till 9 a.m. just to let you know. And then it's all going to disappear. Wow. So make sure you get these items as soon as you can. Well done. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. Yeah, let's do this rose quartz now. This is one of those strands that you look at and you go, oh, that's really pretty. That's really gorgeous. Really stunning. <laughs> and then you see the price and you go, oh, my gosh, I've got to get it. This is one of the most affordable strands we do Honestly. of one of the most high quality uh, rose quartz um, uh, kind of gems. I've, it, it's absolutely amazing. That is gorgeous. How is that 4 99 Jane, Helen, Karen, Victoria, Maker, Maker in London, Scott too. Oh my gosh, £4.99. It's the most un 4 99 strand of rose quartz I've ever seen in my life. It's just, because it's, sometimes rose quartz can be a little bit grey, yes, a little bit zony, yes, but this has yes. got the most amazing consistency of colour and kind of translucency. And it's a gem which everybody knows, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Absolutely superb. Amazing. Right. We've got an impromptu star by coming up now. You are not going to be able to believe your eyes when you see it. It is utterly, utterly ridiculous. Right. How are we going to do this? Are we going to show... Oh, gosh. Look at that. Just look at this recording. Take my breath away. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They look like Argyle Mine diamonds, don't they? The Argyle Mine that closed, yeah. what, two years ago? They look like Argyle diamonds. They look like Argyle diamonds. That dispersion you've got there, the quality you have got there in these cognac diamonds is <clears throat> some of the crispest, cleanest, finest. That, that, they are some of the best cut diamonds I've ever seen. Best, like the, the highest, highest grade of cognac. They are exquisite. Exquisite. Tanzanite's just sold out, by the way. Multi-gem bundle sold out. Haven't even bought that to air. 20 seconds and the graphics are going to be live. Mark, oh, wow. how many diamonds are we getting here? Ten? Nine. Okay. Nine. I... I look at that, that could be, I, I, I don't know how much, I don't know how much that's going to be, but I'm, I, to hazard a guess, two, I would four, probably nine. say 249, yeah. yeah. 299, yeah. 249, maybe 279, maybe 229? <laughs> oh my God! 89 what? pounds! 10 pound each? Oh my goodness me. What? Nine champagne cognac diamonds. For £89. That is crazy. That You can get these home today for less than £30, Mark. That is oh, absolutely oh. obscene. Well done. Lots of people joining us. Loads of you coming through. Jean in California. Maker Marjorie in the West Midlands. Well done to you. Maker in Kent. Maker in Sussex. Lynn, well done to you as well. Maker, you've got four in your basket. What are you doing with these? Are you going to be putting them with your pearls? Are you going to be attempting to put them with your gorgeous jade? Are you going to be claw setting them? They are all 
absolutely spectacular in their quality. 2.3 uh, millimeter, we are way over allocated. Gabrielle, you can take these if you want to. They are beautiful. And if you just look at them in the box here, not the most attractive box, I know, but if you look, look at, at the that. consistency of tone, color, clarity, luster, they have been matched so perfectly. Sussex, if you want five packs of these, you're gonna have to get them like now. Well done, everybody. In fact, I'm not even sure we've got five packs left. Well done to everyone coming through. This is utterly, utterly oh, brilliant. Man. Well done. Um, you are looking here at a phenomenal, a phenomenal deal. I see for Claire, these diamonds. is it tube, tube setting? Tube setting, called, yes, absolutely. So maybe three tube set on that jadeite ring, I just think would be amazing. That would be incredible. That would be, inc or, or just yeah. or just making a trilogy ring. Yeah, yeah. Or you could even, not, in, not even in a row, two on the bottom, one on the top, make a lovely pendant. I mean, you have got here wow. some of the finest coloured diamonds we have ever done. By the way, by the way, everyone, can I just say, they're natural. They're not even heat treated. They're not, certainly not irradiated. They're not even heat treated, these diamonds. They're totally, nothing wrong with irradiated or heated diamonds. Most of the other fancy diamonds we bring you will be. In fact, I will always definitely be bringing you some heated or irradiated diamonds later on in this show today. These are completely 100% natural, which makes these some of the rarest diamonds in the world. And the Argyle mine, which closed, what, two years ago, two Novembers ago, um, has literally, you know, was famous for creating diamonds of this kind of caliber. That quality is no more. Those diamonds are no longer coming out the ground. They are in the ground, but it's just too expensive to get them out. It's a classic case wow. of more money going into the ground than actually comes out. That is amazing. With the lack of, with the lack of Argyle diamonds, that is, that's, that's the wow. one to go for. Well done, Richard. Well done, Maker. Lynn, loads of you there. Emma, check out. We've got some more diamonds drilled coming up. <laughs> I know, red. Beautiful colour, beautiful colour, like a gorgeous maroon tone. That's so beautiful. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, I didn't realise this came, I thought this came like this. Oh, so this I thought this brilliant. was this. I thought this was the next item. All I read was wooden plier stand. Awesome. No, 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 no. With one. Two, you take oh, your craft amazing. fairs. Yeah. <gasps> Three, four. Four sets of pliers with these, Mark. How cool is this? Oop, how amazing is this? Look at that. Look at them. Very smart. So you're getting yeah. round nose pliers for doing your loops with, yeah? <laughs> uh, you're getting your, are these chain nose, would you say? Or are those chain nose? They're chain nose, they're your flat nose, the cutters and your round nose. How I love the round nose. They're very fine, aren't they? They're stunning, aren't they? Yeah. Great to be able to take with yeah. you places. Great to, uh, to have on your on your workstation as that, you know, as a little kind of tidy. They are absolutely brilliant. They're fourteen ninety nine. What a great for gift everything. to get for somebody. You know, let's say you only make jewellery when you go and stay in your caravan. Let's say you only make jewellery when you, uh, you know, when you go on your summer holidays. Let's say you only make jewellery three, four times a year. That's okay, 14 99 I don't mind spending that. I don't mind spending that. That's a, a, a great quality tools that you're gonna be getting. <laughs> Maker Helen Maker, Natalie, well done to you. What are you laughing <laughs> Something at? just popped into my head completely random. I don't know if it was a thing, but, but I was about 13. And there was this dance, I can't remember the song, where we always just sit on the youth club floor and do that with a person behind. Yeah. And that just reminded me of that for some reason. Uh, what was the song? <laughs> was it, oh, Backwards, forwards, forward. Yeah. 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 About, I thought it was about Agadoo. It wasn't Agadoo, was it? No, no. Uh, 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 oh, Somebody will text. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know. Good morning, oh. Carol Markentine. Can we please have a rough idea of the four millimeter leather cord price in the? Ooh, so in each, you are. So we've got three kits. You get a thick and a thin black, and a thick and a thin brown, and then we've got a blue kit and we've got a pink kit. Are we allowed to say? Yeah, go on, just say. Under are we allowed to? Under twenty-five. Okay, and then you get the clasp as well, and I'm going to show you how I've used those. Under twenty-five quid. Under twenty-five pounds. Oops, upside your head. That was it. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you know that? Here we are, look, look. Ooh, 
oh, side of your head. They said, oops, side of your head. It does look like that, yeah. doesn't like they're in a row. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, hey. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. Also, everyone knows. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, which one are we doing now? These are gorgeous. I've oh, never yes. seen these before. They are beautiful. I love these. Aren't they cute? They're like midget gems, aren't they? They are totally yeah. like little midget gems. Yeah. Little ice gems. Oh, they were lovely, weren't they? <laughs> they are gorgeous. <gasps> Green and white nephrite sunflowers. The beautiful thing about sunflowers is, of course, is that they, they, they track the sun, don't they? They follow the, they follow the journey of the sun. Over the day, they turn their faces to the sun. I love them. They're so yeah. beautiful. Have you ever been to oh, a pick your own sunflower field? I tried to pick. I tried to pick your own sunflower. No, no. The stalks on them oh, are, are, are like wood. It's just incredible. Yeah. You need a saw. Gee oh, whiz. They are beautiful. I love that colour. Sunflowers, you know, a wonderful symbol of, of, you know, sunshine, of summer, but also a symbol related to, um, I, don't, I don't know if anybody um, seen anybody wearing the sunflower lanyards around their neck for anybody with any special additional needs. It's a lovely thing to be able to kind of identify very quickly if somebody does have additional needs and, you know, any provisions they might need. Um, and a lovely, you know, a lovely oh. kind of symbol to support that. How gorgeous. I love um, these. They are so gemmy. Yeah, they're amazing. I really, really like, and it's so obviously a sunflower, isn't it? Yeah, completely. You can really see those individual little seeds in the middle. They are beautiful. If you ever look really close, they've got that lovely spiral, haven't they? That lovely Fibonacci kind of spiral in the centre. They're are gorgeous. They're drilled, are they? Yeah, they are. Oh, just, so just macrame bracelets, I would use them oh, for. Oh, what a lovely idea. Yeah. And maybe Did a, you see a lab that? pale lavender. Yes, cool. that would be nice. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Did you yeah. see the bangle stands we had yesterday? Yes. Weren't they brilliant? Yeah. Which yeah. one was your favourite, the green, the black green. or the hessian? Yeah, green. I like the green one too. Yeah. Yeah. I like them all, to yeah. be fair, but hessian one was really cool. The black yeah. one was lovely, but we do yeah. lots of black busts and things, but they were all epic, yeah. weren't they? I love these. Yeah. Um, 14 99 for you today. Well done. Air shiz through. we got Kent, Fife. They're beautiful. And the double sided, they've got that wonderful detail on both sides. Well done to you. That's oh, beautiful. gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. God, you're making me you, you're making me think of um, um, of uh, primary school discos now, Mark. <laughs> Do you know? And when did secondary school become high school? I think I must have I don't know. missed that. I, I missed it too. I was yeah. a secondary school. Yeah. Is it a kit? <laughs> Hang on. Do you get all these jump rings and stuff? What is this? Right, I think Mark. Susie had this originally. Did she? Uh, springs to mind. This is yeah. ridiculous. You get an extender chain with a um, lobster claw clasp, okay, which is lovely. So you get your lobster claw clasp. There's your extender. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You then get. Oh my gosh! They're sterling silver. They're I'm sterling silver. I'm sure Susie you had are... this last birthday. I'm sure it was last May. Hang on. We have. Uh, these, the, 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 this yeah. must be the only time we have ever done these in silver. They are always silver, silver plated brass. Because, yeah, I'm gonna, I've got to weigh these because they are obscene. Um, the reason oh, why these are never sterling silver is look at the size of them. They're huge. With your jump rings, make a whole chain. Absolutely. Like oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna weigh these. Is that okay? It, it, it is gonna be a rough kind of weigh. Uh, 12 grams, oh gosh, there's, oh blimey, there's 20, 20 grams, there's 21, there's, oh, there's oh 22, 24, <laughs> oh, if only, there you go, <laughs> 28 grams, gee whiz, oh my that's God. a lot, <laughs> that's a lot, isn't it, 20, 30 grams, there's over 30 grams of that's silver, ridiculous. there's silver, and then, South oh Sea Baroque God. pearls, 19 of them. 19 South Sea Baroque, but this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow. Imagine the jewelry you are gonna make with that and these sterling silver links, Mark, that is, you give, okay, 
You've got some sterling silver 0.4 millimetre gauge wire and what you rosary link these and create Absolutely. the most incredible over the head chain, Absolutely. over the head necklace. We'll just pop two of those little those little um, findings onto shepherd's hooks, the most beautiful little earrings. Absolutely. Yeah. That is amazing. £329 for you today on individual split payments of £82.25. Honestly, that is a, one wow. of the most amazing deals. Oh, Sue amazing. in Merseyside, maker in uh, Greater London, well done to you. Just for the pearls, just for those sterling silver jump rings, we have never, I don't think we've ever done these in sterling silver, ever, ever, ever. Oh, They're amazing. always silver plated brass, silver plated copper. That's incredible. This has got so much potential, so much money making potential. How wonderful that's is incredible. that? Just incredible. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely amazing. That's all. That's over 30 grams of silver you're getting there and 19 <laughs> South Sea pearls. Wow. wow. Okay, it's time to do your early bird. It's time for the most amazing jade ring. <laughs> Right, this is um, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is oh, could you get me a ring mandrel? Do you have a ring? I've got one in my toolbox. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. This is the most awesome, awesome, awesome ring. I love. First off, I love the shape of it. And Neri and I were looking at it yesterday. Oh, well done. Well done. It's a size S. S. So a size S. Um, sorry, Mark. I made you do that for nothing. Um, Neri went to get this because we saw a photograph of it and he said, I, I just really want to go and see it and, 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 and get this and see what it looks like. This is such a lovely, lovely design. This design is... is well, I'll say everywhere. This design is very, very popular at the minute. This kind of almost flat topped ring design. I love it. You can get it in various different gemstones. I've found a couple of examples of jade ones though, uh, both of which I think are absolutely gorgeous. I love that 18 karat gold uh, green jade saddle ring, certified uh, green jade uh, saddle ring. That's 495 pounds. Uh, you've then got, oh, it's called a saddle ring. There you go. And then you get the uh, icy lavender jade saddle ring. I wonder whether it's a, um, I wonder whether, that never occurred to me, that, that a, 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 a saddle ring might be a, might be a thing. Because the first thing I thought was, it looks like two things mm. to me. It looks like when you write with a fountain pen and then you get one of those lovely ink oh, blotters, blotters yeah. and you do this with it and you kind of roll it on top of the ink. But also... It, it, it reminds me more of a, um, a seal ring. So when people um, in, in days of old yore and they'd wear a ring maybe on their little finger, a signet ring, and they'd, and they'd get the, um, uh, the sealing wax and they'd melt it and then they'd pop their ring on top of it and then they'd, and then they'd seal the letter uh, closed. It is a beautiful piece that you're going to be getting here. I love this. I don't think it's necessarily just for ladies. No, I think it's just very all. unisex. In, well, the, well you, you tried it on a few moments ago, couldn't get it off. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? You're looking here at 35 carats of Taipei wow. green jade. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's a really lovely quality of jade you're getting here. I like the fact that at the top of the ring, We've highlighted the lovely moments of green, don't you, Mark? It's, it's just really stunning. beautiful. It just makes a feature of it, doesn't it? It That's really lovely. does. It's beautiful. Yes, it really does. It's a really lovely feature uh, that it makes of the uh, of the kind of patination of the jade. It's a really thick band you're getting as well, isn't it? Really thick really band. Really substantial. You it's, could do a lot with this, couldn't you? Yeah, so... It, I, I think engraving roots. If, if you wanted to engrave onto it, if that's something which you've done before or you want to have a go at, please, you know, by all means, go for <coughs> it. Um, I think there's a number of different ways you can wear this. You can obviously wear this like this. It would be very, very comfortable. Um, or you can wear it the other way around. It's such a thick band of jade you're going to be getting here, so it would be great for guys as well, I think, maybe on the little finger. Um, also, if you wanted to wear this as a pendant, I don't think there's anything to stop you wearing that as a pendant at all. I think it would make a really lovely feature on a chain. Um, 
very, very smooth, very, very tactile, really makes a feature of the jade as well. Um, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, uh, beautiful quality, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And in less than 30 seconds, we're going to be dropping the price point down. These have already started to go, by the way. How many do we have in, in total, Neri? 102 of this ring available. Can I just see baskets at the minute? I can see, yeah, I can see we've got a lot of people who've, who've already checked out. Dorothy in County Durham. Maker in London, you've got three. Denise in South Yorkshire, you've got four. Maker in Greater London, well done. Uh, Tell me why you're multi-buying this. Are you multi-buying it because you know that you're going to be giving it as a gift or you're going to be selling it or you've been asked to find something like this? Maker in Lanarkshire, Bernadette's got two in her basket. Lanarkshire's got two in the basket. Catherine's got two in her basket. Um, we're at 99.99. And I'm here to tell you today, this is nowhere near your price. Now, this is a big, chunky carrot weight you're getting here. 35 carats in this gorgeous saddle ring. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just gorgeous, isn't it? The most beautiful, the most beautiful piece. I think because it's got that flatter top to it, it you really notice that jade more. You notice the quality of the jade more, don't you? It's more, there's more on absolutely. show, isn't there? And because everyone, every single piece is gonna be unique, the anticipation of waiting for it to be delivered to your home. Absolutely. Amazing, it? So it's coming in at a size S, uh, so a size S, so it is quite, it is, it is too big for uh, my middle finger. I, yeah, a little bit too big for my thumb as well. I it, got it, it on my wedding finger. Did you? And you just about got it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's coming to you as a size, uh, as a size S. But do you mind trying it on, Mark, yeah. just for anyone no, who... No. <laughs> there we go. I'll try it on. Don't try it too I'll, hard, just in I'll, case. I've got on that side. That looks really nice, Mark. It's not, it's not overtly feminine at all, is it? No, no that looks cool. really nice, Mark. And that little, that little section there, the, can you see the fingers either side? Just it's really comfortable, perfectly. isn't it? Yeah. Really comfortable. So it's, no, it's so Great nice. for a guy. Really, really like that. Richard's taken three of these, well done to you. We're at 99.99. Nowhere near your deal today, okay? We're gonna give you the lowest price possible with this. It is 100% brand new, never been bought to air, an incredible quality that you're gonna be getting here. Um, I've, I've got a couple of images of seal, of, of seal rings as well, uh, you know, uh, rings that people used to use in uh, kind of olden days. Uh, there it is with some sealing wax. Don't you think that flat top is, is, yeah, it, it is kind of it is. indicative of that kind of ceiling uh, ring is something kind of ancient about it not quite that kind of mm. archer ring quality um, but definitely but definitely yeah that saddle ring or that kind of seal ring quality it's just yeah. beautiful King Charles wears a, a seal ring on his little finger on his little finger yeah like yeah. a little signet yeah. ring isn't yeah. it Fiona maker maker well done to you. you've got two in your basket there in Lanarkshire check out when you can well done to you Yorkshire's now got four. That's great to see. Okay, we're taking the price point down. Fiona, you're there. Well done to you, my lovely. Just coming through and putting it in your basket there, waiting to see what the price point is going to be today. I know you're going to be happy. I know you're going to be <laughs> delighted. It's brand new. $69.99 for you today. This is 35 carats of your type A green and white jade. Absolutely Gorgeous. And yeah, do imagine the wastage on this because the wastage is basically going to be not just this little divot here, but all of that. Amazing. All of that going all the way around here. Lots of people there. Absolutely fantastic. Do you know something? I want you to appreciate this and I want to give you access to this. What I'm going to do today what we are going to do today is we're going to give you another price. But Denise in South Yorkshire, yeah. she bought four at £300, so she saved already £920. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need you to trust me. All I'm going to do is ask you to put this in your basket. That's all I'm going to do. Put it in your basket. Put it in your basket. We want every single one of these to go today. Put it in your basket. You don't need to check out until you're happy with the price point. Just put it in your basket. Just, just, just chill. Just put it in your basket. If you're happy to pay lower, significantly lower than 69.99, then just check out. Well done. Lots of you there. This is great. Just put it in your basket. Just go. Just go. You don't have to check out. There's nothing that's saying you've got to check out. You know, if you put this in your basket, you have to check out. You don't. You don't. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I, what I don't want to happen is I don't want you to miss out. Neri, what are you thinking? 
No, yeah, really? I, I know this is very, this is this is low. This is very, very, very low. Elaine Maker, Victoria, Caroline, Kevin, Elaine, Jean, Marsha, Fiona Maker. There's loads of you there. I need to see more of you there. Do you know what? Oh gosh, what what do you reckon? Should we do another clock, Neri? What do you think? Thirty sec. I need to see more of you. There's loads of you there. This is great, but we did start off with over a hundred of these. A lot of them have gone, but look, I mean, yeah, you can see new people joining us every single second. This is great to see. Look at everyone. This is wonderful. Well done. But I need to see more of you. You've literally got 15 seconds and then you are going to be in danger of missing out if you don't put this in your basket. Yours today, 35 carats of Taipei green and white jade in the most beautiful saddle uh, ring, seal style ring. It's absolutely wonderful. Add it to your order. Your deal, you're going to love this. So many people there. This is absolutely brilliant. Gabrielle, oh, joining us again. Well done to you, my lovely. Irene, well done. Enjoy. It's yours today for $49.99. Uh, for a jade ring. Oh, my gosh. It's incredible. Well done, everyone. Victoria's just taken two. This is great. Well done. Do message us if you're multi-buying. When you do multi-buy, message us. What are you going to be doing with your two, your three, your four? Are you going to be... Selling them on, giving them as gifts. Has somebody asks you, um, asked you to commission um, or to find, to source a ring like this? It's just gorgeous. Well done, in everybody. The, um, in the next hour, we've got that hematite selection. We've yep. got hematite rings, haven't we? Loads a of hematite, hematite rings. hematite ring either side of that yes. jade Yes, gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got some beautiful hematite rings coming up in the next mm. hour. You're going to absolutely love them. Um, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Allah, well done to Claire, Irene, Gabrielle, Christine, Glitter Sloth, Claire, Janet's got six in her basket. Heather, Elaine, Irene, well done to you. Methler, absolutely fantastic. At $49.99, that is a tremendous deal, isn't it? You've got to admit, that is an absolutely brilliant opportunity, isn't it? Just incredible. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. You're not going to need it. Coming to you in a size S. R to S, I would say, which is around about a size nine. Um, so, um, um, uh, you know, a, a brilliant, brilliant size. Uh, and, and also, you know, if you don't want to wear it as a ring, you can wear it as a pendant, make it into a pendant, um, you know, create mm. something really lovely and make it a focal piece at the center of a necklace, maybe. Gorgeous. I've missed Tom. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, $49.99. We, we passed this ring around our team upstairs yesterday. And we passed the ring around and we were saying, right, what, what price do you reckon? And we had a couple of kind of 70 quids. We had a couple of 50 pounds, a couple of 100 pounds. And then... Neri and I sat down and we looked at what we could actually do. It is outrageous at the minute that we are at 49.99. It's outrageous, outrageous that we're at 49.99. So many of you are there, so many people coming through. This is absolutely outrageous at 49.99. Are you ready? 39.99. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely ridiculous. Ala Irene, uh, Claire, oh my gosh, it's gone absolutely nuts. 39 pounds and 99 pence for your incredible uh, jadeite ring. 35 carats in total, that gorgeous saddle ring, that beautiful seal style ring. Check out the baskets, everyone. There's so many people there. You would have paid that for half a dozen roses on Tuesday. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah, for half a dozen, yeah. not even a dozen. Yeah. 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 Quite incredible, wasn't it? The prices of flowers. Yeah, just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. What? One more price. <laughs> oh, gosh. We want every single one of these to go today. Oh, gosh. We have agonized over this deal, Neri and I. We have agonized over the price of this. We've agonized over what we can do with this deal today. Yeah, we have absolutely grafted 
and bought you the most amazing, the, the most amazing, amazing deals at, 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 you know, during this hour. 300 pounds, loads went. 99.99, incredible. 69.99, unbelievable. 49.99, unthinkable. 39.99, you must be joking. One more price. Oh my gosh, the amount of multi bidders we've got is unreal. It's incredible. Ready, steady, that's your deal. <gasps> Twenty nine ninety nine. That's it. Okay, no more. Ten oh, percent oh. of the original price. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ten percent of the original price. Dawn, well done to you. Wow. Gary, Claire. Oh my gosh, it's gone absolutely nuts. Richard's bought five, and this is it. You look at that ring and you think to yourself, right, that's going to be sixty, seventy pounds. You know, you know, maybe able to multi yeah, buy just yeah. about. Certainly not going to be able to buy five. There you go. Susan's just bought two. Yeah. Well done. Absolutely amazing. Go, 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 go. Loads of you coming through. Do not miss out. By the way, this is all going to disappear at 9 a.m. So if you want it, you've got to get it now. Absolutely now. We'd love this ring on cord with, um, uh, for a necklace. Looking forward to Mark's demo. I know, Jill. It's uh, Yeah, Jill. Uh, Mark's got a couple of really, really lovely demos he's going to be showing us today. Very excited about those. Sharon Pearl, well done to you as well. Loads of people there. Janet's got six in her basket. Oh, my gosh, that's utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Well done, everybody. So many people. Victoria's just bought five. Sharon, well done to you. Denise has bought four. Oh, my gosh. Well done, everybody. At £29.99. pence. Well done, everyone. That is utterly brilliant. That's the most un-30-pound looking jade ring I've ever seen it? in my life. Incredible. And as Mark quite rightly yeah. says, we've got yeah. some gorgeous um, hematite rings coming up in the... Um, in the uh, nine o'clock hour as well. So it's going to be a brilliant morning here on Jewelry Maker. We've got loads coming up. Launch of a brand new gemstone, uh, diopside with feldspar. At 29.99. Absolutely incredible. Well done, Colleen, Sandra. Elaine, well done to you. We'll be a carving across the ring to inlay the white. Oh, oh that's a lovely idea. That's, that's gorgeous amazing. idea, Richard. Yeah. Oh my word, amazing. Absolutely incredible. Elaine, well done to you as well. Christine. Gorgeous. Well done, Rachel. West Yorkshire's got six in their basket. Oh, my word. Christine, you've got too many baskets. Check out when you can. Well done, everyone. At just £29.99. That's amazing. That is absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. I like Marcia. that idea. When, um, in in um, China and Japan, don't they, if, they, if Jada gets a crack, they fill it with gold. With gold, can, yeah. That would just, I just they heal it sort of, with gold. Yeah, that's it. I'd love to put some sort of gold... Oh, like, yeah, your Kintsugi design. Yeah, I love that yeah, idea, Mark. Yeah. That's great. Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. Go, go, go. Just superb. At $29.98. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Well done. Another message coming through as well. Just bought the bangle. Can I see it? Yes. Here we go, lovely. It has completely sold out, but there it is. Look at this. It's ice cold, actually. Yeah. Just literally picked it up. It's <laughs> ice cold. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. How many did we have? Was it, was it just the one? Yeah, this is the actual one you're going to be getting, my lovely. How beautiful. And listen to this. Like a water <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful. Well done. Okay. Yeah, this is... Has sold out. Oh, gosh. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, Wow. It's the first time I've ever seen that. That's completely sold out. Well done. Dave and Elle launched it a couple of weeks ago. Stunning. Yeah, beautiful. Mark. This one, still available. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. The most beautiful carved... Um, uh, Donut here. This is absolutely beautiful. The quality of that black jade yeah. is amazing. 
Just incredible, isn't it? It's not smoky at all. It's that jet, jet black, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Beautiful quality. Look at that beautiful floral quality. 199. Maker in Sussex, you're there. Well done. Individual split payments of 66.33. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? That, those lovely tendrils going around the uh, design. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Gorgeous. We've got another uh, drop, which is lovely. Double-sided drop. This is beautiful. I'd love this in earrings. I'd love that donut in earrings. I'd love this in earrings. Lots of people put two of these. Yeah. For earrings. Yeah. Earrings would be beautiful. Yeah, yeah with white onyx, maybe that would be really lovely. <laughs> Gorgeous. Or maybe some of the Jedi red that we bought to air a few weeks ago. That would be really lovely. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 99.99. Well done on individual split payments. There we go. 33.33. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. The, the piercing you're getting there is such high quality, isn't it? Such high quality. And look, double-sided as well. Yeah, but absolutely perfect for earrings because it is double-sided. Jade ring. Oh, somebody's just messaging <laughs> saying if, we bought, if, if they missed the jade ring. It's here. It's this one here. 29.99. I know this is about this is about we're about to lose a viewer's choice ad. This is about to disappear. So if you want it, get it now. 29.99. <gasps> wow, Victoria's bought seven. Wow. Still got loads in baskets. Still got over 50, 60 in baskets. Um so 60 uh, 60 seconds, and then we're gonna be taking the details away. Paul's just bought two. Well done to you. Um and we're going to go to a quick break after this as well. Next hour is incredible. Gorgeous magnetic hematite kits and loads of hematite strands as well and hematite rings. Very exciting. Plus, if we've got time, we'll also play some of the gorgeous uh, diamond strands that we've got as well. You've literally got 30 seconds and then we're going to take the details away. Well done. Oh, yeah, the razzle dazzle, the wooden pliers. That was gorgeous. We didn't get a chance to play everything. Champagne, oh, they've sold out. Well South Sea Pearls, they've sold out. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that pearl kit was ridiculous. £329 for all of those <laughs> sterling silver oval jump rings and the South Sea Pearls as well. Gorgeous. Well done. Some of the fasted pearls or the uh, grey wildfire as well, if you want to add that onto your order. Okay, um, do not go anywhere. If you want to vote for Britain's next gem... Uh, we're going to give you details on how to vote for Natalie. You can either vote for Natalie or Yvonne. Go to our website for full details. Uh, but we'll see you the other side of this. I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colours and the patterns in them and the shape of them. I use a lot of uh, cabochons, so my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I'd made it through. Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. So yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dances. So it was a very exciting day being in the studio, um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I started off quite nervous. And now when I go, I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, their flowers. So each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the centre will also be a birthstone as well. To 
to be a finalist in Britain's Next Gen is, is just, I keep saying incredible, there's not many other like superlatives I can come up with really. I love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces. So if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a fa favourite colour, you could choose that one too. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> oh, we laughed. Right, OK. Oh, dear. Um, so we've got more Sitsit coming up. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to bring you this. Um, I don't think Dave's very well today, bless him. So I don't think he's going to be with us today, which is a, a, a real shame. But um, never mind. We've got loads and loads and loads to be getting on with, which is brilliant. This hour is going to be utterly crazy. Um, one of your favourite gems, I know, Mark. Um, love hematite. I love what can be achieved favorites. with hematite. As in, I love it in its rawest form. I love it when it's coated. I love it when it's faceted. Um, and I love it when it's magnetic. I've, I've, this is a real, this is a real, this is a really new thing to me. Um, the, the, the hematite that we tend to bring you is all demagnetized, uh, which is absolutely wonderful. But hematite is kind of a, a hybrid stone in the fact that it is, um, you know, there's lots and lots of metallic elements to it. And what we've got for you um, in this man-made um, uh, magnetic hematite is the most amazing feature. It's such a selling point, isn't it's amazing. it? Amazing. So you can see the, the um, Dan's just showing you now, there are three necklaces using the grey. So there's, there's this one here, and then yeah. one above and one to the right. Yes. None of them have got clasped. If, oh. I pa if I pass, which one would you like? Would you like the rosary linked or the beaded? What would you, what would you rosary like? Rosary linked. Oh yeah, rosary linked one, I think. The rosary linked. I love this. This is just, this is so cool. Okay, so that's your necklace. And it's entirely up to you how you wear it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. So you can wear it however you like. So there's no clasps at all. And it's anything. properly magnetic. It's properly. not like all oh, a little bit. It's yes, properly magnetic. Properly magnetic. So that's that one there. So and a bracelet, you could wear it as a bracelet. So this, oh this my gosh, is I really, love this. Really magnetic. So as, as you said, a bracelet, we can wear it as a. Oh wow. So there's a long line necklace there. I l this is lovely. And again, it's entirely up to you. So whether you have it tight around the neck oh. or you had it a longer, longer way, you can have the tassels at different lengths. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> what? This is so cool. Yeah. Presumably, yeah. you know, great if you, um, great if you uh, find it, find certain clasps quite challenging. Mm. Um, uh, because of course you can put that piece of jewelry on yourself. You can take it off yourself. I can imagine, um, your mum would have liked this as well with the, with the kind of yeah, magnetic quality because it's just yeah. so easy just to yeah, take it off, put it, uh, put it back on. 
That's absolutely amazing. What a cool, what a cool thing to be able to bring to you. Obviously, if 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 you are going to be selling this or gifting this, do make people aware that it is magnetic. Obviously, because of uh, pacemakers, you wouldn't want to wear this over your pacemaker. Um, but what an amazing way to bring you this incredible, this incredible um, uh, gem. Hematite, as it stands is a hugely grounding stone and it's the kind of thing that if you really want to be be if you really want to feel grounded and you really want that kind of confidence and you really want to feel very settled and very kind of solid uh, from from the roots up hematite is said to be a wonderful gemstone to wear um, I love what we've got here in these kits. I love that we've gone for that natural kind of gun metal quality as well with this. I love the seed Thank beads you've gone for here. They're so yeah, lovely, perfect, Mark. Perfect, perfect, perfect um, and although it look, although it is magnetic, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not stupidly going to be sticking together. But it's. It's definitely going to serve really well yeah. as a fastening, yeah. as a as kind of mm. instead of a clasp, in the place of a clasp. It's. It's. It's really quite extraordinary, isn't it? It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, gorgeous. I bring the laugh. Now we've got three kits. First kit we're going to be bringing you. Which one are we going to do first, Neri? The one with the rondelles. Brilliant. Okay. Really, really nice. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Um, so we're going to do this kit first. This is, oh, th there are so many lovely features with these kits. Um, the jewellery is obviously really stunning that Mark has made. That's amazing. Yeah, this is really nice. Look at this. Yeah, look at this bracelet. Uh, sorry, this necklace here. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> They're so lovely. They're gorgeous. They're really you really tactile. mess with them, don't yeah, you? Absolutely. end up just fiddling yeah. with them. They're beautiful. Yeah. So this kit here... You're going to be getting your, um, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> your strand of rondelles. Wow, gosh, that's so magnetic. That's absolutely Brilliant. gorgeous. Oh, I love the feel of that. There's, and and um, I watched Alison's show with Xena a couple yes. of weeks ago when they launched it. Yes. And they were explaining that um, it's, it's a man-made gemstone. Of course, okay. yeah. Um, but the fact is that, um, I mean, right back thousands of years in history, people have been using hematite, mm. like magnetic gemstones, for rheumatism and arthritis and, and all that sort of thing. And, Absolutely. And, um, uh, Alison was saying that her husband, John, had, has got quite a serious old cricketing injury, mm. and he always wears a... A, a copper a hip, bracelet. A, yeah, so um, there must be something in it. Well, I think, I think that with things yeah. like copper bracelets or, or, wearing, or wearing a copper ring mm. if you've got arthritis in your fingers and things like hematite as well. Yes. A yeah. lot of people, and we've got the hematite rings coming up, um, a lot of people do take great um, comfort in wearing those and a, a hematite stretchy bracelet. If you've, maybe you've got wrist, um, a kind of, um, um, a kind of uh, rheumatoid arthritis in your wrists maybe, um, a lot of people will wear it because it's, because of that kind of magnetic pull, it's meant to be very, very soothing. See if it works. See what happens. Um, you've got this gorgeous strand of rondelles, and then you've got these amazing rounds. Gosh, they are lovely. I like the fact they're not too shiny, Mark. No, some um, of them are more matte than others. Yes. I really like that. It's really yeah. nice. Almost like a pewter, isn't it? Yes. That's so, it, actually, a pewter. Yeah, they've section. got a really yeah. lovely, or even a maybe a lead. I don't know. It's got a really lovely kind of... Uh, kind of um, uh, colour to it. Um, some of them very, very shiny. Some of them really quite matte in their finish. So you've got rounds and you've got rondelles. Then you've got, oh, love this. Love these. Oh, Here we go. Goodness. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look. Oh, yes. <laughs> the most beautiful, the most beautiful crystal bicones. Gosh, if, there, if I was going to put anything yeah, with perfect. this, it would be these. Because it brings that glitz to it. It brings that kind of, that, that luster to it. You're also going to be getting these gorgeous AB coated um, uh, bicones as well in this lovely crystal finish. Beautiful. Again, a really lovely contrast to that really dark kind of almost industrial uh, kind of steampunk uh, hematite, isn't it? Really lovely kind of, um, really lovely um, uh, contrast there. And you actually do get a magnetic clasp with this as well, which is yeah. crazy, really, when you think about it. It's a rose gold plated sterling silver one. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, it's going to stick to the it's going to stick to the hematite. It, it, it's it's so magnetic. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, these kits are brilliant. But the first time we bought them to wear with Alison, they absolutely mm. flew. Alison and um, Lovely Zena, they absolutely flew. 
We've literally got the last few chances. That's it. They were very, very, very popular. I think the main pull for me, pull, uh, is, is, is the fact that you can just literally make long lengths of these, wear them as a necklace. That's, that's you know, uh, that's a ready-made necklace. Yeah, there you go. Good. Done. But if you want to wear it a little bit longer, let's say your neckline's a little bit different, you can absolutely do yeah. that. You can wear it a little bit longer. And it can, you know, the two strands can come together slightly lower down. If you want to have it really tight, like a gorgeous choker, absolutely fantastic. Down, that, the, down the back of the neck. Yes, the neck. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You've yeah. got fully interchangeable, movable jewellery. Um, and of course, it's going to be the kind of thing where if, if you need something to fiddle with, let's say, I don't know, you've given up smoking or whatever it might be, yeah, yeah. you are constantly going to be playing with these. Um, in fact, my, my eldest daughter for Christmas asked for a set of magnetic beads that you can oh, just yeah. kind of play yeah. with and make yeah. into different things. Yeah. 29.99 <laughs> for this entire kit. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Look at all those gorgeous bicones you're getting. Look at the gorgeous magnetic clasp, and you've got the uh, bicones. Sorry, the um, the rondelles, and you're going to be getting the rounds as well. It's not your price now. The magnetic clasp on its own. This one here, which isn't one of the biggest ones, it's one of the kind of mediums. Mm. Well, it's one of the other sizes that we do. We do tend to do ones that, which are bigger, and then we do this size as well. This. Um, this size, normally that clasp is round about, at the very lowest, about 8 95 So about £9 just for that clasp. So are you telling me that for the rest of the kit, that for the rest of the kit you're looking at 20 quid? I mean, that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? And we're not done. Nowhere near done. Get involved. Definitely unisex for all ages, for all kind of tastes as well. And it's just got something a little bit different about it. It's properly magnetic, though, just to let you know. It's properly magnetic they really are going to stick together beautifully your deal today coming in just love that i want a twisted design you could even make your own kind of twisted oh, yeah. designs and it would stick wouldn't it that's what's so great about these whatever however you want to wear these go 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 your deal today neary is umming and ahhing in there gorgeous well done here we go, 19.99, absolutely amazing. Now, let me just address this. I think if you were making a pearl necklace and you put a hematite on one end and a hematite on the other end, I don't think they would work as a clasp. You need to have quite a few of them together to create this kind of look or that kind of look. You need to use, you know, quite a few of them together. You might want to use something like a bead, make something like a beaded bead with them. That might work. I don't know, but give it a go, see what happens. But I wouldn't rely on it totally as a, you know, two beads as a clasp. It's not going to be that, that magnetic, like our magnetic clasp, for instance. That is a magnet. This is a, this is something which has been, which has been created, which, which just so happens to be magnetic. They are flying out the door, by the way. 1999, such a great deal. Really? And I like the fact that we haven't gone for the overtly bright colorful coated hematites i love that i really do and we've got loads of it coming up and i think there's definitely a place for it but what i love about this is it's it's right back to that gorgeous kind of um to the to the very beginnings of this incredible stone i love it gosh look at you just fiddling with that that's gorgeous 22 opportunities remaining well done check your baskets out 19.99 well done everybody go 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 let's give you a minute clock look there's loads of people with this in their baskets check out Jennifer Maker, Kate, Suzanne Maker, Alison Hamida Maker, Maureen, Donna, Nicole Maker's got three in the basket. Check out when you can, my lovelies. The great thing about this as well, Mark, is because we've gone for black, grey and white, you can add any anything. colour to that. Absolutely. Any colour. Anything. Absolutely and and anything. you've been quite brave in adding seed beads and the bicones in, obviously, mm. and things which aren't magnetic. And it just shows you that even if you add things in which aren't going to be magnetic and it breaks up that line of magnetism if you like absolutely. it's still yeah, gonna yeah. work no absolutely so nice absolutely. so nice isn't it i'd love to see maybe um stacker rings made with these if we did them in a slightly smaller size because of course they're going to stick together really nicely aren't they 990 uh, 999 nine uh chances remaining 1999 well done loads of you there absolutely loads in baskets you are gonna love this next kit Mark, do you think this next kit is more magnetic, more. less magnetic? Well, is it, and is it because of the, <laughs> the flat, biggest, the biggest flat faces? Area. Yeah, that's kind of what area. I thought. 
Yeah, because instead of get, instead of getting a curve kit. to curve, you've got a flat to flat. You've got the face to face. Yeah. This next kit is going to go nuts. Now, I love this kind of almost it it it's not like an antique mirror, but it's it, it's almost like that. Do you know what I mean? That kind of um, patinaed mirror, an old Venetian mirror. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, and, and in actual fact, that's a good point. Thank you for that, um, Ollie. Um, the Native Americans used to dig up um, marcasite and hematite, and they used to use it as a mirror, not for kind of being vain or kind of looking at themselves, but they used to kind of uh, view it as a window looking into the soul. Um, also, um, <clears throat> when you grind this gemstone down, it releases like a red oxide, red doesn't powder. it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, which was used as war paint, yeah. uh, which I and, and it was believed many, many years ago that hematite contained the blood of 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 ancestors because it came from the ground and it had that red oxide. I don't know whether hemoglobin hematite. I don't know. Maybe it means bloodstone. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but it'd be interesting to find to kind of read a bit, re read into that a little bit. These are ha. Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just love the way they're all clinging on to each yeah. other. Oh, this is... You have to get used to working with it because they attach themselves to all your tools yes. you're using. <laughs> it's a bit like when you're working with something that's very static, yeah. isn't it? It's kind of, you know, slightly... Enough already. Um, this is... Very beautiful. Oh, so oh I love the fact that you've got a them. flat drill and a diamond drill. I really like that. I hadn't even noticed yeah. that. Thank yeah. you for <laughs> thank yeah. you for bringing that up. Yeah, really nice. So you get the very definite squares, and then you get the diamonds yeah. as well, don't yeah. you? Gosh, I'm really going to need to do. There we go. But then, <laughs> but then they do find a way of just kind of coming back together again and stick. There yeah. they go. <laughs> there they go. Twenty nine ninety nine. Now with this one, you are. Mm, this one here, you are going to be getting. Oh, <laughs> this one here, you are going to be getting the enormous uh, magnetic clasp here, which is look at that. It's just it it it's just sticking to. It. It's so cool. I love it. Look how shiny that is. It's a lovely Isn't colour. That? That, I like the, I like your term pewter. I think it is. It's, it's, yes. It's not, it's not as, as glossy and shiny as ordinary hematite. It? No, really it's not. It. It's it. not. It's that lovely, yeah, that pewter-esque yeah. quality. Or if you've ever seen lead shot or anything like that, it's got yes. that lovely yes. metallic element to it. Really beautiful. Now, this looks like lead shot. <laughs> this looks like you're going to literally be filling your, your shotgun barrels with this. This is proper gun metal. Gorgeous colour. This is... Um, what colour is this? Is it a gun metal, do you think? I suppose it is, isn't it? I don't know, it doesn't say what the colour is, I don't think. Um, but it is that really lovely silvery grey quality. Lots of people go for greys over blacks and, and kind of, because it just tends to be a little bit kinder on the skin, it doesn't drain you. Um, metallic silver, silver grey, there you go. Uh, very, great. very vague description there of the CBs, who cares? It's beautiful though, isn't it? 19.99, tons of people coming through. I like the bit of rose gold in there, though. Yeah, Isn't that it nice? works perfectly, doesn't it? No, it's perfect colour. I think if we did want to zhuzh this up and make it really quite elegant, I'd probably put in little, little sections of gold galvani uh, rose gold galvanised um, seed beads into here. These are really cute, these little elements, Mark. They're cool, aren't they? They're so I'm, sweet. I'm, I'm, I think I might What are they? they what is that? Peyote. Is it just peyote? Yeah. Cool, kind of like a, an even yeah. peyote kind yeah. of, you've just got yeah. little lines of it together. How gorgeous. They're so sweet. They're really cute. They only take a couple of minutes if to you want, each one. Because you've got four little sections there, haven't yeah. you? You could do the grey, then you could add in the rose gold galvanised and maybe another rose gold galvanised one there as well. That would be pretty. I don't know. Uh, just taking on that kind of, that, that rose gold element there. Well, <laughs> obviously, I didn't use any of the clasps. <laughs> Well, that's it. Yeah, so, so you've got... And got this class, by the way, yeah. pretty sure that's that class is about... I mean, that's about 12 quid it normally, is, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's normally about 12, 12 And the seed beads are 7 95 so yeah. your, um, your strands are free, basically. Yeah, basically. Yes, yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Well done. Loads of people coming through. To, is this, this one isn't magnetic, isn't, is it? No, I was going to no, say. No, no. That would just be... It's amazing. I love ridiculous. This, this is so lovely. This is a proper old-school hematite yeah. kit. Um... Although, oh no, that, that isn't part of the kit, there we are, Mark, sorry. Um, although this is very different, um, it reminds me of one of the biggest selling kits, one of the only kits actually that we've ever made twice. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, it was called Loop the Loop, and it was a hematite <laughs> kit, and it was a mystic colour-coated hematite kit, and they were, they were rounds, and it was beautiful. Right. I can't remember who had it. Linda. Was it Linda? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was beautiful jewellery. I think I might have stolen some <laughs> of the jewellery, actually, and, 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 and kept it for myself. Um, and this kit reminds me of it, not in any other way other than this strand here, which is gorgeous. I love chevrons. Oh, God, I love this. It, oh, hello, what was that? This literally will give... Oh, it's a clasp. This will literally give your jewellery direction. Sorry, I've just dropped a clasp on the floor. Here we go. This will literally give your jewellery direction. Uh, physically, because, of course, they're arrows, they're chevrons. Um, but isn't that colour gorgeous, Mark? Oh, I think mean, it's, it's one of the most beautiful colours. I love this stone. I love all chevrons. I've, and... Um, Beadsmith used to, well, they still do. Um, they do um, a glass seed bead in this shape called the chevron. They do a mini chevron. And yes. A chevron, and I love them. They're absolutely brilliant. And with the beadsmith, the, the drill hole goes from side to side, whereas this goes point to point. So it just makes it side so... Side to side, that's yeah, interesting. So it just makes it so much easier to make jewellery with this shape. It's, it's, it's it really does. They, they fit together so beautifully. Yeah. And I think with hematite, more than almost any other gemstone, you get that crispness of shape. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the not rounded. Well, as you can see, there's no, there's no hiding with the drill issues. This yes. is absolutely perfect from the base right up to the point. It's perfect. It is, it is so piece. cool. And it's double-sided as well, so the colour on the back is different to the colour on the front. Yeah. And again, when Oh. In, in sunlight, it will change colour. I'd like a car in this paint job. So would I. Proper TVR, <laughs> proper yeah. TVR uh, yeah. colour uh, job there. That would be yeah. gorgeous. OK, you've also got this beautiful oh, strand no. of rose gold this. coloured hematite. Oh, wow. Here's cute. your clasp. One of the big bad boys again. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Um, as, as, as Mark is showing you as well, sorry, let me just show you the sea beads very quickly. Um, sea beads here are topaz gold luster. Gosh, that's a lovely, lovely colour. It? Yeah. It's like a ready colour underneath isn't it but with the gold over the top and um, 39.99 isn't your price point I think one of the great things about this kit mark is you've really shown us in the jewelry that you've made how versatile these pieces th this shape is and how versatile this chevron shape is I love it because you as I said, you can have point to point you can have it um back to front as I've got on the necklace here yes. and, and the bracelet so so I've, I've done I've done macrame 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 yeah, you do macrame yeah, so I've done there. Macrame bracelets. I've done the float. Do you remember the floating macrame that yep. I did years and years? I do. Years yeah, it lends itself really well to macrame. And all I've done with this this one on the end is I've just made a long plait using three pieces of 0.5 eslon, yeah. and then I've still the, the drill holes are so large that oh, you're able wow. to thread those on Gosh. to the plait. So that's just a, a simple tie-on wrap around. I've just seen the drill holes. Yeah. You're right there. Absolutely they're huge. Look at this. Look at the size of the drill holes in these rounds. They're absolutely incredible. Yeah, they're fantastic. Sorry, Dan, quite difficult for you to focus in on that. There we go. They're absolutely huge, they're aren't brilliant. they? They're really good. Gorgeous. And they're really nice soft edges as well, so that it's really easy to thread. Yes. Lovely. £24.99. This is all about the luster. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Very, very popular kit. Yeah, I love the I way love you've this. used them in this yeah. necklace. That looks yeah. really nice, Mark. Lovely tassel. Well done, you. <laughs> I just I picked one of the colours that features on the on the chevrons and just ran with it with. A, I'd have gone for orange. With a silk colour as well. I'd have definitely gone for orange, or maybe orange or yeah. pink or something like that. Yeah. Such nice colours together. Um, that is so lovely, and that's got such lovely warmth to it, hasn't it? Really oh, lovely. lovely, beautiful. Well done. Uh, demo wise, Mark. Now, oh gosh. What I want you to do, I want you to be aware of what we're about to do because Mark is going to do the demo, but in the background, we're going to put loads of hematite. To give, just to give you an example, we've got loads of these. These are meter strands. Love this. I've got this. This is gorgeous. This is a meter of color-coded hematite in this green, blue. What is it? It's abs. Oh gosh, that is so good. That's spring, isn't it? It's just, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful, that metallic. One of the great things about hematite is it's a heavy gem. So if you want to add weight to anything, a substantial nature mm -hmm. to anything, this is what to do. 19, 19 pounds, 99 pence. It's nowhere near your price. So we're gonna use this as a bit of an example. And then Mark's gonna do the demo. And then we're going to be, uh, yeah, then we're going to be playing all of these other strands in the background. And we've got the hematite rings as well coming up in this hour. Very exciting. 
Very exciting. <laughs> Here we go, everyone. Price one coming in in five, four, three, two, one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we go. What? No. No. How many do we? How many do we have of this? Seven ninety nine. That's way too low, Neary. Seven ninety nine. You've got to be coming through to get these. Go, go, go. We've got about fifty chances available. They are flying. They are flying. They are. They have erupted. The phone lines have erupted. Oh, no. Seven pounds ninety nine pence. Just to let you know, we are going to be bringing these to air as Mark does his demo. Oh my gosh, Mark! Look at everyone. <laughs> Yorkshire's got three, uh, Lincolnshire's got two. Oh, 38 centimetre, that would be a bargain. Yep, for a metre. <laughs> for oh, a no. metre. That is absolutely phenomenal. Well oh. done, everyone. It's just incredible, isn't it? What a treat. On, um, on Tuesday's show, I'm doing a graduated Kiss Cross demo. So these would, these would be absolutely perfect. Any of these strands would just be amazing for that. So buy in advance, it's going to be incredible. See, that sounds lovely, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think as well, mm. the, the reason why these are so great for Kiss Cross designs is especially if you're going to be using your seed beads, which are historically quite light, aren't mm. they? It's really going to add that weight. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Let's just do this. Let, let's do this purple one. That's sold out, by the way. Let, let's do this purple one. I've got the purple, by the way, in three different sizes. Grab all three of these for Tuesday. Four mils? Grab them. Grab them for Tuesday. Okay, so I've got these in four mils. Oh, I love yeah. this. Love this. Micro Kiss Cross. Micro Kiss Cross. After. Lovely. Or, yeah, grab all three of these. I've got three different sizes. We're doing the four mils first. Five ninety nine. So all three sizes. We're doing the four mils first. <laughs> okay, they're all going to be selling out. We're going to be playing them all in the background. Um, don't put them in your basket. Just check out. How many of this one do we have left? Oh, they've gone. Okay, right. So we're oh, going to play honestly. them all in the background. Just keep an eye on that. Mark, what are you going to be showing us, Lovey? Mad. Right, I'm going to show you one of those little... Um, one of these little... Oh, yes, little... Motifs. Sections. And then I'm also going to show you how you attach tassels to your necklace. Thank it's, you. It's a little thing, but it's just... It's um, something that I don't get to do very often. Nice little thing. So I'm going to show you how to do these amazing little motifs. Uh -huh. And for those, you're going to be using your 11 O's in this. I'm going to call it matte gunmetal. It isn't, but um, it, it's, uh, it, it needs to be given a, a better type <laughs> than, than metallic silver grey, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is there any way we can go in quite tight on this? That's very oh, tight. Thank you, is. Paul. Thank you. Oh, look. Because I'm using so 11. <laughs> Amazing. Perfect. Thank well you very done. much. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so for each, each of these little motifs, you're, you're only going to need about 18 inches of thread, so you don't need to use a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm using white, just so you can see what, what I'm doing. So we're going, this is a size 12 needle, because we're going to be doing multiple passes. So I'm going to take one of my beads as a stopper. So I'm going to slide that down, leave a tail of about six inches, just enough thread to tie. Um, so this is triple drop. Peyote. So if you want a quick fix, especially when you're using 11 O's, this is the best thing to use. Okay. So I'm going to pick up 12. So each of the, obviously, a move is going to be three beads. Okay. Now, we're, we're, I'm do, I've, I really haven't been able to get on with odd count peyote. Um, so I've always, always, always used even count. Okay. So even though we're using three in each move, you need an even number. Okay. So we're going for, th for oh, 12. Okay. Oh, no. okay. So one, two, three. So that's two. Mm. One, two, three. That's three. Uh -huh. So that would be obviously odd count, and I, I can't do odd count, so I'm <laughs> going to even. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I've, I've never oh. been able to do it. So I've got 12 beads. Okay, so I'm going to slide those down. Now, ideally, you would use your stopper bead as a different colour in case you, you sew through it, okay? But I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. So because we're doing triple drop instead of single, because single will take forever. So triple drop is just a really quick way of doing it. So instead of picking one bead up each time, you're going to pick up three. So, but the peyote is exactly the same. Okay, so I've picked up three. So I'm going to jump over three, go through three. So that through. So it's Lovely. exactly the same, as I said, as peyote, but you're just picking up three instead. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, skip three, through three. Okay, so that's your... Okay, so you can still see 
that we've got the little castellations that you get if you're doing single count. So we're going to, so altogether we want eight rows. Okay, so at the moment I've got two. So we're going to pick up one, two, three. Jump three through three. Now, as you can see, once you've done your first two rows, you can see where you're going to be sewing with the beads. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's group of three, group of three. And if you're doing watch, watch strap bracelets with, with triple rope drop, it's so much quicker. Well, it's, it's three times as quick. And you can do this with double as well. I've not done quadruple drop, um, but double and triple is a really quick way. Of, yeah. Okay, so again, picking up three, you, you know where you're going because there's a gap ready. Yeah. So we're going to sew that through. What a satisfying little weave. I love this. It's really I've, lovely. I do, I've done this quite often. It's just, it's just a quick fix. Mm. And you can do this, as I said, you can do it with any, any size seed bead as well. So lay it down flat. As I said, you want eight rows altogether. So we've done five so far. So pick up three, jump the gap into the three that are sticking out. Pull that through. Pick up three. One, two, three. Jump the gap. So that's six rows. Flip it over. So one, two, three. Jump through all the three. There we go. Can I just Almost say very side. quickly, um, all of the hematite that Neri is playing at the minute is absolutely it's, I love. flying. It should do. Uh, we're going to put as much of it as we can on. It is literally flying out the door. We will have a few pieces left over to play, including the rings. But every single strand that Neri is putting on screen right now is just flying. It's such a popular stone, isn't it? It always Mark? has been. It always has always been. Always has it's, been. It's really good for the gents as well. I think, I think, I think so, sometimes yeah. the gents get left out with the whole gemstone totally. world. But um, no, for gents makes and gents marlers yes. and all sorts of things, I think hematite is just the best. That's so good. Okay. Gorgeous. So, yes, lovely. So I've now done my eight rows. So you can see now that this is, this is when you know that you've done enough rows. So can you see we've got sticky out, <laughs> sticky in, if you can have a sticky in. Sticky yeah, yeah, yeah. In. Okay, so you need to make sure when, you've done, when you've done your sections, you have an outy and an innie. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it, won't, it won't splice together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you only need to do eight rows. So what we're going to do is, all we're going to do is just simply fold it into, into half, like so. And then we're going to do the zipping up, which is one Zip. of my favourites. So I'm coming out at the bottom. I'm going to go across and sew up through the three that are sticking up. And then can you see, I want to get onto this side, so I'm yes. going to go across and up through those three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go across, just waiting, up through those three. So up through the three. And then for the last section, we're going to go across, up through the three. Lovely. Okay, and then before I do anything else, I just pull that nice and tight. And all I'm going to do is just, is just rub it through my fingers just to make sure it slots. And then can you see we've got the stopper bead that we added at the beginning. We're going to take that off. And then we're going to tie the single knot. And again, just give it a little, a little rub in your fingers just oh, to make sure it, it, it tessellates. And then we're going to tie one more knot. That's all you need for this one nice and tight and then what we're going to do just to sew away from the knot so can you see that's where my knot is yeah you can, you can see it quite well is I'm going to sew down the next row of three with my needle and then I'm going to go across and up through the next three yeah make sure we don't get our thread caught and then all we're going to do then is we're just going to cut off our threads Okay, so that's, and nice. then all, all I'm going to do then is just, I'm just going to roll through just to get it into that nice little cylinder shape. That's gorgeous, okay. Mark. So to add our tassels, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to incorporate that. I won't use any of the, I'll use some of these amazing bicones that we've got in here. Um, I'm going to be really naughty now. The thread that you get in your strands is metal, okay? But I'm just using, oh God, I'm going to get in so much trouble for this. Why? I'm just using my scissors because you shouldn't use your scissors to cut through metal. Fuck. But I know, like so. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so that's your, your little tassel. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your needle through the tassel loop 
at the end. And you're going to attach it with... Neary, sorry, Neary, you should not done. be doing that. What's he done? Arrow beads, 3 dollars in blue. Oh, God. What are you doing? I'm glad I'm not having the opportunity to watch this. <laughs> so they're kind of the short... Have you worked with these ones, Mark? So they're not the chevrons. Yes. They're like the little yes. mini yes. ones. They're so great in bracelets, they are. Sorry, go on, Mark. They're, oh, I okay. love those. They're so cute. So I've got my tassel and leave your tail, okay? Always leave the tail. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to start adding some beads. So let's do one, two, three, and then we're going to add one of our bicones. One, two, three, and another bicone. Nice. So again, use your sea beads as spaces as well. Are these, pre are these preciosa them. bicones or are they just, they're just glass they're bicones? They're preciosa. Are they preciosa yeah. ones? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're lovely. Okay, so we're going to slide those down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and all we're going to do is just sew straight up through the centre of our little tube. There we go. Can you see? It goes right through, up through the centre, through that little hole in the middle. Gosh, that went through easily. Yep. And then we're just going to, so one, two, three... Could you make those for memory wire bracelets, do you think? You could, yep. Because your 50 nose will go on memory wire. So that would these, be nice. So these will thread onto your memory wire as well. Because it's only an inch long, there's enough, there's enough curvature in the memory wire. I was going to say, wire. you yeah. don't want to make it any longer, would you? No. It would be you too probably, stiff. It might still work, but yeah, um, okay. I wouldn't guarantee. So let's just replicate the other side. And then one, two, three. Lovely. Two, three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our second tassel. I bet lots of people have got hundreds of tassels in their collection. Yeah, well, you will do. Yeah. You absolutely will do, yeah. And then we're going to take it again, take our needle, go through the loop. I think I cut through. <laughs> I'll just cut through. There we go. So we're just going to go sew through the tassel. And then we're going to do the same. So we're going to try, if you can, keep the needle on. I'm going to slide that down so it meets the end. And then we'll come, we'll come back to the first tassel in a second. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our needle and go through the little loop of the tassel. Oh, gosh. I'm not even looking. He's put the Buddha head strand. No, you are kidding me. Really Antique did. gold hematite Buddha head strand. <gasps> Four ninety. I'm not even. You are kidding. kidding me. How many do we have, Neary? Oh my gosh, fifty. They're going to go. They're about to sell out. Oh, is that them on screen? Oh, look at them. <gasps> yeah, they are. Wow. Oh gosh, we are going to get so. Uh, <laughs> go crazy. <laughs> Paul's just taking the recording. Oh no, he's put it back on. Right. <laughs> go go go. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, now oh. you're as guilty as Neary, Paul. I'm not responsible. Paul Demers, find him on Facebook. OK. So I've taken the needle through <laughs> the loop at the end, and then what you're going to do, you're going to pull until you're left with a little loop of thread about the size of a, of a grape, and you're going to take your needle through once, through twice, pull nice and tight, and then we're going to do the same again. So through the, th the loop. Lovely. Pull your thread through. Pull till you got again. You got that little loop. It doesn't matter whether you go down or up through. But so once and through here. twice, and pull nice and tight. And then what we're going to do every time we, you attach a clasp or a tassel, you need to sew away from the knot. So all you're going to do is go through a section of beads. It's up to you. I normally go as long as the needle is really. Mm. So all that through. We'll stop there. And then I'm just going to pull nice and tight. And then you're going to cut your thread. And then with the other end, you're going to re-thread your needle. Just going to sew that through the needle. There we go. And then we're going to do the same. So we've, we've attached our knot at the beginning, so we know that that's secure. And then we're just going to sew through a group of your beads. So if you're using a toggle clasp or a lobster claw, you do that exactly the same way. And I'm just going to go through. Let's come out just there if I wiggle that through. We're going to pull that nice and tight. And then that knot you've made will be, will be pulled into the first seed bead. Gosh, so it's a really so, neat finish. Yep. So you do this with your, all of your clasps as well, if you're seed beading with clasps. And then we cut that nice and neat. 
at the end. So you've now got your two tassels attached. Oh. Because the, the magnetic um, hematite we had, you don't need any clasps anyway. It's really nice just to have a tassel either end. Yes. Whether it's, and make use of them from your strands because they're, they're long enough and they work and really well. They're really lovely, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So that's how you attach your tassels. Oh, gorgeous demo. And then your little um, tri triple drop POT little... Thank Mostly you. Thank you so much, Mark. That's been so lovely to see. Well, whilst you've yeah. been demoing, I know. I <laughs> Neri has been putting everything, everything we have. Can I just direct you to the website, jewelrymaker.com? Oh, let's have a look. Um, right. So as it's out, we've got some gold hematite stars on screen right now for four ninety nine, which is ridiculous. Are they sold out? Yeah. Look, look at the website. Look at all these sellouts. <laughs> look at all these sellouts. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, oh, sold out. Amazing. Sold out. Some of the blue colour coated eight mils, uh, one metre strand. Four ninety nine for your ovals. Four ninety nine for your butter hands. Four ninety nine for your. I've never seen those hamza hands. Oh no. They've been to air once. Six ninety nine. These stars have only been to air once. They're four ninety nine. Just oh. add them to your order. They are wonderful. <laughs> and the great thing about all of those, especially kind of the more unusual shaped bees like the hamza hands, the stars, the butter heads. They make lovely charms. They do, absolutely. Or just simple. I mean, a pair of Buddha head earrings in hematite, you charge a fiver for just, and that's just using yeah. two. And that's the price of a strand. That's the price it? of the whole strand. So we've got lots of, um, yeah, we've just got oh, loads yeah. of things which we're bringing to wear. Some of them we've got here. We've got all the hematite rings still to play, don't forget, which we're really excited about. Um, it's such a great gem. It's always been very popular, but I think what, what people love about it, tell us what you love about hematite. One of the things I love about it, I love its weight, I love its metallic edge, I love what can be done with it, the scope of what can be done with it. I love the different shapes we can do with it. What I also think is really nice, and maybe you'll agree with me here, Mark, is that when you get a when you get your hematite strands, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, each one of the beads is exactly the same exactly, size and shape. Exactly the same. And the drill holes are always There's perfect as well. There's hardly ever any here. discrepancy you, at all. You always get really good drill holes. Oh. So you, um, I mean, I've never seen a hematite Marla yet on the show. I've not seen a hematite. No, I I neither think. have I. No. These ones here, which we've got a photo, it's not the best photograph actually, but these basically, which are on screen, they're fancy beads. Imagine a cross. Yeah. Yeah, imagine a cross like that, a cross section. So it's basically an oval shaped bead like that, oh. but with a cross like that, a bit like a propeller, a bit like a propeller. Oh, I know. Or yeah, a, yeah. Um, something like a wind thing you see on top of a house, something that you blow on. And, and it's got um, and it's got the four sides yeah. to it like that. The four sides to it that do that. And it's in an oval shape. If I describe that really well. badly, you know what I mean. Oh, um, look. oh gosh, these are lovely. <gasps> what does that mean? Catch me outside. I've got no idea. Oh, no, oh. I do know, but it's, it's take far too long to explain. Oh, right, right. It, it's off Jeez a talk Lord. show, an American talk show. Oh, right. Uh, this girl who went on a talk show with her mother and her mum said, I can't, I can't, I can't cope with this teenager. She is dreadful. And um, she, and I won't attempt the accent, but it was in a very kind of southern US accent. And she was saying, yeah, I'll just, she used to run away all the time. She's like 12. And she'd be like, yeah, I'll go and do this. Catch me outside. I've not, uh, no idea what it really means, but it's basically uh, catch me if you can. Right. Uh -huh. I think she thought she was a bit of a catch me if you can Leonardo right. DiCaprio character. Oh, okay. She was really just an I idiot. Love these. Just a child. These are amazing. <laughs> yeah, these are lovely. Well done. <laughs> moons. Right. Moons. So for your Marlas, A lot of these I haven't seen before. And your Marlas, the hematite's amazing. And it creates such lovely oh, weight. Yeah. Paul Demir is finding all the recordings, literally, and another oh, one. These are the rounds one. with the star and the moon. There we go. Yeah, here we are. Oh, yes. they're lovely. Do you remember them? Have you seen these? Yes, I have. Yeah. They are gorgeous. Yeah. They're beautiful. Again, simple earrings. Again, hematite's a really good gemstone to get kids involved and get them making mm. early because they're, they're fail safe. They all, really are. Also, don't you think, if, if you do wear hematite to kind of um, alleviate symptoms of, mm. you know, if you find that it yeah. is helpful for you to alleviate s certain symptoms connected to rheumatoid arthritis, be a that would make a lovely ring. It would, absolutely. Like a really no, lovely no. ring. Yes. Gorgeous. Lots you can do with that. Beautiful. Well done. £4.99. They are absolutely flying. Well done, everyone. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Just superb. They're mm. lovely. And they're double-sided as well. So you get yes. the, same, the same imprint on both sides. They're like embossed, aren't they? They're lovely. Yeah, they are. That's a good... That's a good. You're almost like they've yeah. been foiled. Where's he finding all these? I've no idea. I, honestly, <laughs> I've got no idea. 
Oh, gosh, these oh, are beautiful. Look. Top vintage. Vintage, very matte. Yeah, they're oh. gorgeous. Real I've, heart shape as well, aren't I've they? never seen, yeah, proper heart shape. Not like a, a weird triangle. Um, never seen those before in my life. Has anyone else seen them? Have they ever been to air? They, they have been to air. Oh, oh, God, <laughs> what do you mean, don't worry about that? You could replicate this bracelet, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> hey? you could replicate this floating bracelet. Exactly with that, yeah. yeah. I've used yeah. chevrons on here, but any of these flat shapes you could replicate. They're so cute, aren't they? Make little... Two ninety nine. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing! Don't you love that matte finish as well, uh, Mark? Isn't that yeah. lovely? So that you could do that. Like what I've done here with the chevrons. So if you have a heart, cleave to cleave with a gemstone or a pearl in the centre. That'd lovely. be lovely, wouldn't it? Lovely. Really, yeah. really lovely. Yeah. Two ninety nine for you today. Well done, everyone. This is absolutely brilliant. And I just keep thinking of these in your macrame bracelets because they've got those lovely, they've got those lovely yes. straight flat edges on them, which just work so beautifully, don't they? Yep. They're so cute. Greatest little charms on necklaces, bracelets, you know, stretchy bracelets, you know, whatever it might. This could be your little, your little insignia, couldn't it? Your little yep. kind of motif. Um, Two ninety nine. Well done. Our website at the minute is just showing a load of sold out items, basically. We've got lots and lots and lots of things there. If you're struggling to see the last item, it should be on the website. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Today's show deals. Loads and loads and loads available. Oh, my gosh. Lots of things selling out, though. Well done. We've still got the rainbows to do. Yeah, these. Oh, look. Oh, oh. right. We've got eight mil, six mil, and four mil to do. We're going to start with the eight mil. Oh, it's a no. meter long strand. I think this is one of the most popular. You've done the four mil already. Okay, so if you want the four mil, go and get it on the website if it hasn't sold out already. Okay, rainbow color coated hematite. This is so cool. Um, over the last wow. couple of years, there's been a huge resurgence of things like tie dye. And um, my kids have loved tie dyeing kind of all their old t shirts and. And, um, and jumpers and things. Oh, it's completely sold out. Well done. Um, <laughs> it's that ombre, that quality. Lots oh, of um, girls are having their hair dyed in those yeah. kind of colours as well. Yeah. There's a lovely... Well, there's a lady called... I think her name's Amy the Mermaid on, um, on Instagram. And if you go onto her page, her hair is just beautiful. Oh, gosh. Four mil. Six have gone, have they? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Four mil. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Love this. Five ninety nine. So make sure you tune in Tuesday for the graduated kiss cross. Graduated so all three, all kiss four, six, cross. eight, ten mil. Yeah. That's going to be really. Is that going to be well quite fun. chunky then? We make them little set, little stations. It's lovely. That yeah. sounds lovely. Oh, oh right. I desperately want one of these. Well, so do I. Um, uh, uh, can we? Should we get them out near? I, I don't have them in here, lovely. All the rings, uh, these are... Oh. We've only got four rings. Oh, faceted. 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 That's the one I, I'd love a faceted. Oh. oh, look at these. I oh, love these. I We've got all of these. Have we only got four rings? Is that it? Oh. Okay, we're going to do the, this one first, the faceted one first. That's quite first. big, isn't it, P to Q? Is that quite bad? I don't know. Uh, that is a, a size L-N-O. Uh, that's a size eight. Oh, look. I love this. Oh, love this. Okay, so we've got sizes N to O, P to Q. N to O is a size seven, P to Q is a size eight. Now, the great thing about these is, um, oh, as a ring, they are just, they are gorgeous, Okay. They make great centerpieces for bracelets as pendants. They're gorgeous. I love this in this faceted quality, don't you, Mark? I love it. I think it's so elegant. It's, it is. It's an elegant stone, and it's, and it's something for the gents. That's what I was saying with the with the jadeite ring. I thought I saw the jadeite. Yeah. Ring. yeah so, there it is. so a hematite ring either side on the finger, I just think would look so dramatic, wouldn't it? Yeah, what? Would oh no! Lovely. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is going to be way Tom. too low. This is way too low. Whoa, way, 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 way too low. Look, look at those together. Don't they look great? I love that. That looks really yeah. nice together. Oh my gosh, Mike, you're so right. 249. Oh my gosh. 
Seven left, six left in P to Q. The rest are all sizes N to O. Go, 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 go. Well done. You know, um, we go to the Lake District every year. I do. In July, and I'm allowed an hour in the Gem and Rock shop in, the in Ambleside. Ambleside. Yes. Yeah. Well, they sell hematite rings for £15. Just your Great plain, price. Just your plain hematite rings. And you get a little card explaining all about hematite. And we're selling them at two fifty. Oh, that's ridiculous. It really is, Tom, isn't it? that is one of the... But, you know, let, let's let's address that, Mark. Why 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 do we do that? Why can we do I that? Know. It's because we'll order 300, 300 of them. And the, and, and the Crystal and Rock yeah. Shop in, yeah. in Ambleside, but the best one in the world, they're probably not going to order that many. They're probably going to order yeah. more like, I don't know, 100 yeah. or 80. Smooth one. Oh, wow, that's lovely. Oh, that's just so lovely. Right. Have we got different sizes available here? I really hope we do. That's perfect. Great. Oh, that's yeah. great on your yeah. little finger, Mark. That's that looks really so nice. nice. Yeah. That looks really nice, yeah. That's good, doesn't it? That looks really nice. I see Paul wearing hematite. Hey? I, th I see Paul wearing hematite. Do you like your hematite, Paul? Yeah. Do you wear it because it looks nice or do you wear it for medicinal purposes? What, what, what is it? All about it's style. all about style. All about yeah. style. Yeah. He's a very <laughs> stylish gentleman, is our Paul Demers. <laughs> My little ray of sunshine. Sizes enter O and P to Q again. Look, we've got literally 100 left in each size. They're absolutely flying. Well done. Um, That's brilliant. You know, you're talking about these being sold for kind of 15 pounds a go. If you, if you take these to a craft, a craft fair, and just have a look, just have a bowl of them at the, yeah, you exactly. know, at the front of your store. I mean, they're really tough hard wearing. They're, they're high on the scale. I mean, they're you could even sell these for a fiver each yeah, and you're yeah. doubling your money. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. that I would, but you know. Oh. But if you want them to go, you know, if you don't want to take any home, five for each, brilliant. Uh, Hobby Maker presenter has star stated that there are 14 hours on their first birthday. So what's happening to Jayhan, please, on that day? Oh, what time? Yeah, our, our normal show will happen. Ah, yes, I thought so. Our normal show will be happening, uh, but we're going to be changing studios. Hobby Maker are going to be taking over our studio, but don't worry, not for long. Just for that day. Yeah. Se second of March, isn't it? Yeah. Second, third of March. Se second of March, I think. So, yeah, second of March. Uh, all sorts of different things going on. Um, but we are not going anywhere. As in, we're not, we're not closing down. With, there's no. been lots of speculation. We're not closing down. Um, unfortunately, Joy, um, uh, uh, um, unfortunately, we're sticking around. <laughs> yeah. Whether you like it or not. No, unfortunately, uh, Jen Poria Lifestyle has closed its doors, which yeah. is so sad. Um, and um, thank you very much for your lovely messages. Uh, that is, that is, uh, I, I don't really know what else to say, mm. uh, but it has closed its doors, unfortunately. But Jewelry Maker is not going anywhere. Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, just ignore all the rumours. We're all fine, okay? Fine. We're buying, by the way, for June and July. It, it, was it you've been asked to spec kits for June? Should I tell you what? what yes. What, yes, so Mark. Georgia, before George, you even think about so, it, yes. Um, so Georgia, Wayne and I have sat down, and it will be in sometime in June. I am bringing back... Oh, heavens. And I'm being really selfish here. I'm bringing back all bells, all whistles, singing, dancing girls, you name it. We are bringing back faceted shell pearl. Do you remember? We Whatever used... happened to faceted shell pearl? 11 years ago was our last faceted shell You're pearl. You're kidding me. So, so I'm bringing them back. Mark, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. All colours, sizes, everything. That will go nuts. Well, your shell pearl kits over the weekend went yeah. completely nuts. Yep. So faceted shell pearls are going to literally yeah, yeah, yeah. fly. Yeah. Right, this yeah. is going. N to O, P to Q, 30 left in P to Q. The rest are N to O's, which is great. Love this shape. Really, really shiny, isn't it's it? Lovely, isn't it? Wedding band, isn't it? It is absolutely a wedding band. Gorgeous. Similar to my husband's wedding band. He, he's got something. I'm trying to think what his wedding band's made out of. It's like a brushed titanium, I think, uh, wow. which is really, really nice. But a similar kind of shape. So shiny, beautiful. Last one. They've all still got some available. Oh, no. This one's going to go. This yeah. one's going to go nuts. Yeah. I think, you know, what do you get? What do you get for the teenager who's got absolutely everything? Get them mm. a hematite ring like this. Yep. Rainbow he uh, hematite ring. Yep. This is so cool. Spread a bit of happiness. I love that. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Everyone deserves a bit of spa, a, a bit of a bit of a bit of a rainbow in their That's life. That's going to have is. all your chakra colours on there. As exactly. Well. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I absolutely. In fact, I'm going to get one for myself. Oh no, hang on. One left. Oh, no, it's gone. It's sold out. That's it. Man! Can I lick it and then I get to keep it? No? <laughs> no. Fair enough. Oh, no. <laughs> Talking about this, by the way. <laughs> right, OK. Well done. No, gosh. OK. 
Coming up in the next hour, more sits it. We're going to be bringing you that. This is going to be seriously exciting. I've never bought it to wear in my life. I'm so excited. Oh. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. We've got some beautiful strands. We've got the most incredible donut. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all to play for. Please go to our website. Check out all of the strands of hematite that haven't sold out because they are brilliant and they're all, pretty much all of them are under a tenner. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. My name's Yvonne Froelich and I'm from Somerset uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewellery Maker and at that time I was um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahemo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week a uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the um, the advert and then I thought well why not so I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewellery Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started then we were asked to come back the second time we were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly they put us at ease um, we were given bits and pieces we were able to decide what we were going to make and then we went into the studio which was all very scary and we were interviewed we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yeah so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I've started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. It would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that the, I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can. So please vote for me. I'd be absolutely delighted. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Oh, we've moved. I'm intrigued. Yeah, this, this is, is very, very, very exciting what we've got for you. Um, this incredible launch happened um, a few weeks ago and, I, and, and it was on a Saturday with Zena mm. and Dave. I didn't get um, the chance to do it with you. It is an amazing gem, which would you believe it is rarer <laughs> than Jade. Rarer. The qualities that you get with this gemstone are incredible. It is a one locational gem, Myanmar. That's literally where you get this incredible gemstone from. And with regards to the quality that we have here at Jewelry Maker, this is like nothing else we've ever seen before. It's really as, it, it's as good as it's gonna get. It's not, it's not, it's not gonna get any better than this. Um, we've got, it, 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 it's interesting, we've got slides to show you with kind of price comparisons and what this sells for in the marketplace. And honestly, it is incredible, the prices that it reaches. And I think it's because it looks like your imperial grey jade, don't you think? It, it's incredible. It's absolutely. I mean, I'm looking yeah. at the strand. For me, it's, it's quite unusual because I, I can see zoocyte. I can see. Yes. I can see malachite that we yes, have Yes, yes, yes. I can see the most incredible jade. I can see the most incredible emerald, all in one gemstone. It's absolutely beautiful. So five years ago, Dave. Troth and the team went over to Magok. We were invited over, but it, it, it took years to kind of organise that trip and, and to kind of get that trip. So they said, yes, you could go. Um, to get the visas, you had to, in, in fact, I, I believe the guys had to get a completely different, a completely new passport okay. um, because, they're, because, because they're funny about having certain stamps in your passport. And also... Um, because of the amount of visas that you need mm. to travel to uh, Magok and to travel to Myanmar, you need lots of different visas to get there. But when they went there five years ago, with a view of looking, with a view of doing some of the amazing deals, groundbreaking deals, career defining deals on spinel um, and ruby and sapphire and tourmaline and jadeite, they also found more sitsit. And Five years ago when they went, it was, it was imperial prices five years ago. Now, there is nothing coming out of Burma at all. Literally, no gemstones at all. It, it's kind of on lockdown for obvious reasons. Um, with regards to more Sitsit, it gets sent to two different places. But most interestingly, I think it gets sent to Germany to be cut in Idar Oberstein, uh, which is where many of the world's mm. finest gem cutters and lapidrists and gem artists um, um, learn their trade. So we're talking the likes of Glenn Lehrer, Ruby Wabito. We're talking about all of these incredible gem artists because um, it's the only people that they're going to trust with this material. This is so rare. It's one locational. It's completely natural. So Dave saw uh, this oh, piece here. Wholesale, so not 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 kind of retail, wholesale. So you imagine when you go to Costco and you get things at trade <laughs> prices. <laughs> you imagine when you buy things and you're paying a, a cost price, a trade price. Cost kind of wholesale trade price, ten thousand dollars. I can't even I can't even imagine what the retail value yeah. on that would be. And you can go ten thousand three hundred and twenty five dollars. And you go to that's a very dirty calculator. <laughs> you go to uh, websites like First Dibs. First Dibs is um, First Dibs is a great, great website to go to to really get a to get a benchmark of where prices are in the UK. Because with the best one in the world, lots of places that you will go to, the prices will be in Hong Kong dollars or US dollars. And although you can translate it, you can kind of get that converted. It doesn't mean as much to me. It, it, kind, of, it kind of loses its, loses its impact. This- Is that right? This is in pounds. <sighs> no. Mid-century more sits it uh, and garnet ring, certified untreated, 
3,317 pounds. By the way, I think that's an amazing price for that ring. Wow. I love that ring. I, I, I'd buy that if I had three grand, which I don't, uh, but I, I'd buy that. That's beautiful. Beautiful, rare, natural, more sit, -sit jade beads uh, in a necklace, 40 grand. Oh my word. Natural, more sit, -sit jade bead statement necklace, 57,000 pounds. Natural Mall Sit Sit Statement Bangle, £77,000. Oh, oh, my word. I've got an account with First Dibs and I've never been able to afford anything on it. <laughs> well, Mark, unfortunately, <laughs> these pieces have sold. Oh, look. Michael Kneebone Mall Sit Sit Jade Archaic Style Ring. Sold, £2,800. Pendant, more sits it and diamond certified and treated, £3,900. Colombian emerald, more sits it choker necklace, Gosh. sold for £1,500. This last ring is absolutely insane. More sits it ring of, of, of the finest quality, £4,724. So, you know when you see... When you go to an art gallery, maybe you'll go to a tourist town, Stratford, where, mm. where I live. It's got so many little art galleries and it's great. And you go in there and there'll be pieces which are done by the artists. There'll be prints, one of 500. And those pieces are priced at kind of maybe a couple of hundred pounds and they expect to sell loads of those. And then you get the originals. They don't really, a lot of them probably won't really want to sell those because, you know, they're really useful for exhibitions and, and, and to draw people in. But if you ask for the price points, they're going to be, they're going to be, you know, you know, five figures plus. That's proof that these pieces are selling. They are selling at kind of several thousand pounds. Oh. Now, what's so ex exciting about what we've got for you today is we've got the mix of your more sits it, particularly in this, in this gorgeous donut, which is absolute, it, it's irreplaceable. All of this material, by the way, is irreplaceable. Uh, we can't, this is not something we can get at the minute, obviously, for obvious reasons. More sits it is a gemstone. It, it, it literally is the very first time I've, I think I've ever bought you this incredible gemstone. Um, You've got here in this incredible donut, which is so glossy, Mark, it's isn't it? It's stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely... It reminds me of a dark night with a moon and then the clouds. It's just and the moon, so beautiful. The moon this morning, or rather yeah. last night, was that yeah. beautiful yeah. little crescent, just this little sliver. It was beautiful. Yeah. What you've got in this donut is the mix between more sits it, and this is what happens with a lot of more sits it, and it's beautiful. More sits it, and you'll probably recognise this, omphacite jadeite, which is this deep rich, intense black. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you'll see with more sits it in, in, in varying different designs for varying different prices. What I love so much about this incredible donut is it's that atmosphere that you get with this. It's that atmospheric quality. And Mark is absolutely mm. right. It's like a dark sky, but with those gorgeous clouds, it's absolutely beautiful. And you really get a sense as well I mean, you feel the weight of that, Mark. It's so oh, gosh, heavy yes. and dense. You really get that specific gravity from the gemstone That's when you hold this. Beautiful. Now, this is, this is beautiful, isn't it? Um, this is from a book. This is from the Jade book. Don't worry, I haven't got my own copy. <laughs> this is from, this is from um, Dave's Jade book, um, which feature, by the way, contributions from over 20 different um, 20 different um, gemologists and jade experts. More sits it has achieved some, some prominence as both a gemstone and a carving material, but due to its relative rarity, it, means un, um, it remains unknown to many gem enthusiasts. When I first visited Ida Oberstein in 1971, I was taken uh, by the beautiful rings worn by two prominent dealers, uh, Gerhard Becker and Paul Rupenthal. Um, they were wearing more. They were wearing more sitsit cabotins that I couldn't help but notice, and each were happy to educate me on this rare Burmese gemstone. On return to the USA, oh no, that no, that 
that's mm. the issue, I guess, isn't it? On return to the USA, I noted that no one had any stock of more Sitsit. I've since followed this material. It remained rare until Burma started opening up their economy in the 1960s. Even then, much of the rough imported to the USA was of lesser quality. The finest material remains rare. Well, that's it. Unless you've been... Unless you've been to Magok, unless you've been to the Magok gemstone market, which, by the way, for us mm. as 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 Westerners, you're only going to get there by invitation. You can't just rock up. Um, it's not like Wellsbourne Market. You can't just rock up. This is something which you are invited to go there, as 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 Westerners. Um, what do you think? And this is and this is and this is and this is key. What, who do you think is going to get access to the best material? Is it going to be little old us or is it going to be the massive gemstone buyers over in the Far East who will pay top dollar mm. and, and want to pay top dollar and expect to pay top dollar for this incredible material and will know this gemstone inside and out or is it going to be us? Now, obviously, you'd say them, but here lies the difference. Obviously, because we went there, we were invited there and we built those relationships over the last five years we now have access to jade, jadeite, and more sits it. That is top, top quality. Look at this strand. That's so It's beautiful. got, Gosh. yeah, your malachite yeah. greens, yeah. your imperial greens, your zoocyte greens. It is rich, it is intense, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> I'm not going to say that this is the first time this is you know that these pieces have been to it. We've got we've got some beautiful quality pieces when we bought when we launched more sits it just a few short weeks ago it absolutely flew. Um, every single piece every single piece we were inundated we had so many people coming. These are last in stock strands that we have for you. They are gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I I know there's not going to be enough to go around. What I love so much, Mark, is that we have all become real collectors over the last couple of years, haven't have. we, of this, of, yeah. of all sorts of different gemstones, whether it's beautiful pearls, whether it's hematite, whether it's, um, whether it's jade, whether it's diamonds. We become real collectors and we've had access to some of the finest gemstones in the marketplace. But this, rarer wow. than jade... And the, only, and the only reason why we have this is because of that trip that we made five years ago. Who, who'd have known? <laughs> who'd have known that we'd still be feeling the kind of aftershocks yeah. of that incredible trip? That's amazing. You mentioned that, that Jade Book of Days. Mm. I don't know whether you knew, but you mentioned that 21 people have um, taken part in the book. Yes. And he set himself a task of getting... All of their autographs. All of their autographs. And he's got three so far from his, from his trip from Tucson. Yeah, so, and that's so, it. Yeah. That's it. These people are, sorry, the, yeah. these people are so, yeah. it, the, these people aren't just people who sit in a, in, in, in a stuffy old library, a stuffy old office and kind of, and, and kind of hypothesise about things. These people are people in the industry. Mm. They know the industry. They immerse themselves in the industry. I, 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 I was following the journey of um, Stephen Webster at, at the Tucson Gem Show. I loved all the gemstones that he's picking in. I love him and his team. Team. They're so creative. It was wonderful watching all of his live videos. Um, but this is where people go. The industry, mm. industry, industry uh, superstars go. And you will find Richard Wise there. You will find um, um, uh, so many people there who are in the industry. This strand is electrifyingly good. Wow, wow, wow. I don't think I've ever seen such a rich green... Look at that. My gosh. How many strands do we have? Seven. All together? All together, wow, seven. Oh. Three remaining, four have gone. Emma, Susan in Essex, Linda. I've got Lancashire, I've got Hampshire. We've got Manchester, we've got London, we've got County Durham. £2,499. That is incredible, isn't it? Look at that. No trick of light. <laughs> Another maker in Lancashire. No trick of light. That is pure Catherine Tyne and Weir. Pure, pure, solid, green, intense, opulence. Jennifer and Kent, well done. 
999. My gosh, that's good. That is so good. Nine, nine, nine. Oh! It's sold out. <laughs> Honoring the lowest ever price. Wow. Oh my what? gosh. What? <laughs> what? Uh, oh my word. And that's the thing, because, I, because I, I wasn't privy to the launch of this, I had no... 199. I'm just can't, can't get those first me? dibs prices out of my head. Okay, eight mil rounds. How many? Please tell me we've got more of this one. We've got more of this one? A little bit. 11. <laughs> oh, no. 30 in baskets. Deal of the day. Oh my gosh, I need a second just to take a breath. Uh, this is ridiculous. Eight mil rounds coming up. <laughs> So you saw in the last hour Neri bringing hematite to air. And if you go to our website now, you'll probably see on items that we've just played, you'll see 40 different lines of um, hematite. Yeah. If I said to you, how many strands of amethyst do you reckon we've got in the business? Mm. What do you reckon? A couple of hundred, maybe? Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. How many strands of more sits it do we have in the business? How many more strands? <laughs> Two. That's gone. This last one's gone. That's gone. Bye bye. God, that is sublime. What? What is that? I am so transfixed. The luster is, inc it's shiny. It's like a, it's like a PVC. It, it, yeah. yeah, it's in rounds, rounds. Whenever you see a, a, a really beautiful, precious gemstone in rounds, like ruby rounds, mm. diamond rounds, yeah. you yeah. go, oh, oh, tanzanite rounds. We've had a couple of strands yeah. of tanzanite rounds and they always sell out because everyone goes, oh my gosh, it's in a round. You'd expect to get them maybe in a rondelle. It's much more economical on, on kind of space and kind of there's less wastage with a round. There's loads of wastage. That's it's a really nice. brave cut. Yeah, You've yeah. got to have the right quality to get a round cut. That is, I, there, there, remind, there is remind so me much of, I um, love. They remind me of crystal balls with you know, green wispy smoke floating around inside. And do you remember those um, van generators at school? You know, you put your hand on the globe and, and makes your hair. sparks. Oh no, is it the one that makes your hair stand on end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that sort of, <laughs> they're beautiful. Absolutely Before we oh, do no. this, this is the only strand of rounds that we've got, just, just, to, just to clarify. Morning, guys, just tuned in. Yeah, it's the only strand of rounds that we've got. Oh, my gosh, this is so lovely. This is going to fly. Oh, gosh, look. Oh, no. Two have already gone. Maker in Devon, Maker in Lancashire, Catherine Tyne and Weir, Lorraine in Essex, uh, Richard in Dorset. We should be starting at £3,000. Yeah, let's just ignore that. We're not going to do that. We all understand the value of this. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. Now look at this, 999, not your price. Let's, let's bring a clock on. You're just going to have to be there. We had 30 people miss out on that last strand. Okay, Richard in Dorset, well done. You've got yours, fantastic. <laughs> my gosh, my goodness me. Um, Neary, can you show us that slide again with the first dibs with the necklace on? <clears throat> the other one. Yeah, that one. That's um, so, amazing. yes, I, I, would, I would say, Mark, uh, the quality of, of, of more sits that you are getting there, very, very, very green. Definitely imperial. Very green, yeah, yeah. The fact that we've got this material at all is ridiculous. We are one of the biggest gemstone buyers in the world. Mm. And, I, and, and, I, and I can say that because we are. We buy gemstones. We buy gemstones with et, um, um, better, I think, but we buy more gemstones than almost anywhere else in the world. Um, because we commission more. We, because, we are a, because we are a shopping channel and we work with Gemporia, who are almost 20 years old, that's how long we've been in the industry for. 
That's how long we've been buying gemstones for. And we've got two more strands. No, we've got one other strand in the business. That's it. One other strand. That's how rare this is. 299. June in Hampshire, Lorraine in Essex, Maker in Devon, Kath in Tyne and Weir, Maker in Lancashire, Richard in Dorset, Linda in Hertfordshire, Maker in Cardiff, Lorraine in Essex. There's loads of you there. Well done. 299. There is something so magnetic about this gemstone. And do you know what the best thing is? We're not done. <laughs> I'd love to wear that as a bracelet. I can imagine I you wearing this actually, beautiful. Mark. Yeah. It's got a wonderful feel, a wonderful mm. texture. Go on, you have a, you have a feel. Have it, a it feels quite heavy, doesn't it? Oh, yes. It's a heavy, dense gem. It, it's a beautiful gem. That's I love it. I still get that strange feeling as I get from, from Jadeite, you know. What is it? It, it, yeah. it, it is, you know, the, the, there are certain gemstones like Ruby's Oocyte. I can take it or leave it. But this has got a diopside colour. This has oh, got yeah. a malachite colour. It's got a spinel. It's got that omphacite in it. It's got that incredible richness. It's got that black spinel quality to it. It's electrifyingly... Oh, look at that, Mark. That is stunning. I love that. Two nine nine, not your price. Maker in Cardiff, well done. Susan in Essex. Pauline in Cumbria, well done to you. Ready for your deal? This is... This is... Oh, it's going down. This is stupid. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. And, and, it, and it's all going to go. Well done. Maker in Dumfries, well done to you. 199. 199. It's going to go. Do you know what? I reckon more sits it, even though one of our most... Even though our pretty much our most popular gemstone launcher of this year so far, it's going to be one of those things that's the most short-lived. This is, you know, yes, these pieces have been to wear once. That's it. Maker and Wiltshire, Richard in Dorset, Maker, well done to you. Linda, well done to you. I would just wear one of those on a chain, just, just, just one. I Look think that'd just be so romantic. Oh, I love this. How, how, how many uh, do we have left, Lovey? Six chances remaining. Richard's taken two. Well done to you. Susan, if you want to get two, you're going to have to get it now. Well done. Let's give you a minute clock and then we're going to take the details away. I can't believe that's 199. And when you look at these prices, granted, these prices on first dibs, these are prices where, you know, these pieces are still available, so they haven't sold. So is it a little bit unfair of us to show you these? Okay, well, we'll show you pieces that have sold then. So, yeah, it's a bangle. I know, Ollie, for, 70, for 77 grand. Pounds, pounds, not Hong Kong dollars, not, not yen, not, not, I don't know, drachma. Pounds, pounds. 40 gram bracelet. Well, no, it's meant to be a necklace. It, it looks like a very short necklace, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Or someone with a very, 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 very thin oh. neck. Um, 18 beads, is that, is that what you're oh, getting? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. The pieces that have sold. Look at the pieces that have sold. Have you got that next slide, Neri? That's right. Look at this. 2,800, 3,900, 1,500, 4,700. And you're getting this for 199 today. <laughs> Um, that is just brilliant. That's incredible. Right. So is this, is this then the rarest stone we've ever bought? It must be. You had Paraba, didn't you, yesterday? Which is absolutely incredible. Paraba's amazing, and the story yeah. with Paraba is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it, I think because of the Paraba you can get from Nigeria now, it probably isn't in the top. 10 of the top rarest air, gems yeah. that we've bought to wear. Maybe in the top 10, Ooh. maybe not, but yeah. I, I don't think in the top five. This, this. I, this is like in the top three, it must yeah. be. Yeah. But I, I can't think of much else that's rarer. What about the Zarite? Zarite mm. that we bought to wear yesterday. Yeah. You know? Grandidia yes, right. Yes. Gosh, that's no longer, yeah. yeah. That's right. There you go. Yeah. So if we're saying Grandidia right, Zarite in this, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? There we go. Right, this is so beautiful, this piece. I love it. Oh, gosh. You can see the more sits it. You can see the omphacite going through it. It is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Um, go on, Neri. How many do we have? Oh, man. Nowhere near enough available. We've got, like, 14 chances available. That is it. 
I mean, really, quantity-wise, it's enormous, isn't it? It's a huge quantity that we've got available. Um, beautiful stone. What's the carat weight of this one? <laughs> one five five <laughs> in a single piece. Oh you God. imagine, Mark. I mean, I think that's why, we, you know, we will never have carvings of what no, sits it because... No. They're not going to waste any, are they? Exactly. Yeah. And actually, Dave said this last week. He said, yeah. look, there's no, there's no more carvings being done. People aren't carving jade anymore because it's just yes. every, every gram counts with these stones. Gosh, that's so lovely. That's pretty... I, you know, what are you going to do with this? Are, are you going to make some jewellery with this? Are you going to put it in one of those gorgeous display boxes? Are you going to have this? Uh, I mean, this is this could be, you know, this is this could be one of the rarest gems that you ever own. I'm, I'm trying to get a handle on the luster as well. I thought that I, when I picked it up and looked at it, I thought, oh, gosh, it's got like a have I have I got hand cream on it? And I haven't. It's got like this almost metallic, yeah. shiny luster, like a vitreous luster going over it. Is it that? Yeah, a bit like a tiger's eye luster. Yes, or a tiger's iron luster. Slightly metallic. It's beautiful. I could, I could look at that all day, Mark. Gorgeous. It's stunning, isn't it? Guest designer wow. Susie coming through. Well done. Jane in Worcestershire's got two. Richard in Dorset. Well done to you. Emma in Lancashire. Well done. Maker in Lancashire's got two. Well done. I've got no idea what this should be price point wise. I mean, the only thing we could even begin, well, no, I, I feel bad comparing it to the piece that Dave was quoted on. Um, yeah, let's, 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 okay. The quality is different that you're getting there to what you're getting here. Um, yes, but still $10,325 is, is, yeah. Yeah. Up, up, okay. I'll be honest with you. Okay, the price. Yeah, we're going to start under a thousand pounds. Let's let's just be let's just be dead transparent with everybody. Yeah, here we go. So, oh gosh, right. Okay, so we are under one thousand pounds. You feel that, and we're not done. It's quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. That would make an amazing, not that I would ever do this, it would make an amazing skimming stone. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Wouldn't it? My husband spends a whole holiday looking for that one stone, the amazing skimmer. And kind of, whoosh, that, that, yeah, I, yeah. Like I say, I would never do it with that, but it would make the best skimming stone yeah. ever. It, it's so, it's got a luster and a yeah. shine. 155 carats, yeah, in, in, in a single piece. Dense. It does feel dense. It's, it, it's yeah. a lot yeah. for a piece that size. Don't get me wrong, it's a big size, but that's a very big carat weight you've got there. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing. That texture, that, that grain. And this yeah. is where your more sits it and your Omphasite jade mixes together. And in, and in pretty much all more sits it, you're going to get that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at this. You're going to love this. Ready? 299. 299 pounds. I am I literally blown away by that deal. Dorothy in County Durham, Emma in Lancashire. Well done to you. Maker in Lancashire. Valerie in Aberdeenshire. Well done. If you're considering this and you've got this in your basket, Pause the clock. Why are we pausing the clock? Do you want to see the jewelry that Anne and Sue made? Yes. Okay. Is it amazing? Is it really? Oh, King is like. <gasps> wow. Oh, okay. We are going to take the price down again. Oh my gosh. That's your first dibs. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Kinga. Stick that on your first dibs. Goodness gracious me. Wow. 
Wow. Are they the rounds that we've just bought? Yep. And the black jade bicones? Yep. And the Ronda. Oh, it's everything. That. <sighs> oh, my word. That's your first dibs right there. <laughs> nice one. Does it look out of place on first dibs? <laughs> We've just shoved it on the end there. That is not out of place at all. My gosh. Minute clock. We're going lower. In-house designer Anne's come through for this. Well done, darling. I don't know whether it was Anne or Sue who made this. Whoever made this is just... That's incredible, isn't it? Oh. So dramatic. Look at that with the macrame. I, so I love that macrame. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mark, that is, a, that is, is sensational. Stunning, isn't it? Oh. I think just to add something, I would do the same macrame at the bottom and then have a tassel. Oh, yes. A gold tassel. I think that oh, would be amazing, my gosh, it? now you're yeah. talking. Yes. Yeah. Makers, beautiful, everyone's there. Yeah. It's a stunning necklace. Oh, I love Anne's that. Bought two, look. Oh gosh, he has as well. Right. You're joking. There's more carrot weight. You're joking. You're joking. <sighs> it's 65 carrots more than <clears throat> the strand we've just bought for the same price. What? And it's one piece. Yeah, it's a solitaire. It's on its own. It's solitary. It's it's on its own. It's one nine nine. I am. I cannot believe that. Cannot believe that. Ron Maker, Susan Maker, Maker Valerie, uh, uh, Irina. I don't know whether you saw the videos and the kind of the footage or any of the photos. And if not, go to Dave's social. Uh, go to Dave Trust social media. And look at, the, uh, look at the kind of the shots, look in the backgrounds, basically, of all the kind of pieces that he, he did to camera at the Tucson Gem Show when he was looking at Jade and, 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 and the likes. These are the kind of pieces that are in the background. This is the kind of jewellery which people, you know, take to Tucson Gem Show to sell. Jane, well done to you in Worcestershire. Oh. Maker in the West Midlands, well done to you. This is utterly brilliant. Yeah, look at this shop window. In, this is in Hong Kong. You're looking at millions of pounds worth of imperial and, 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 and fancy jade there. Millions of pounds worth. Millions of dollars worth, I should say. And look at this. Any mouse sits it? Not that I can see. That's phenomenal. It's right here. That is absolutely electric. Eight chances remaining. Well done. It's superb. We've got so many in baskets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in baskets for the last seven. Well done. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, that, that is just tremendous, isn't it? <laughs> well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Now, you've got 30 seconds, or well, less than 30 seconds, and then we're going to be taking those details away. Well done, everyone. Okay, Neary's having a... Neary's giggling in there. I, I don't know what... Okay, so that's your more sits it. Well done. What an amazing privilege that was. Absolutely that's amazing. 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 I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the hour, but that's your more sits it. Amazing. Just... A, What did he say? What? So Dave's not with us today. He wasn't, but he's not very well. I've had to beg Wayne to let us do it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one more in the whole company. So, what is I this? Mean, is, this is this a Is this a strat? Is it a donut? I'll let, I'll let you show it and reveal it. So we've only had two strands before. Yes. And that one. And then we've got one more, but it's brand new today. I've had to beg Wayne to let us have it. 
Because really, it should... It should be, obviously, Dave is going to bring it today, but he's unwell, so he's let us do you it. Do it. You do it. What? You do it. You do it. You open it. Brand new. Oh, he's sweating in there. Is it amazing? Is it, is it lovely? Is it lovely? It comes as, as is. No, yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't come with a box, but what is that? Oh my gosh, is that a... Pre oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I would have thought. Oh my that. gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Show it. It's not, it's a, it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is. Look at this. Oh, Mark. Oh my gosh. I literally I feel like, like it's my birthday. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my word, Mark, that is gorgeous. Deal of the day, still of the day, best deal ever. I don't know what the, this is. Amazed, I have all. Oh. Ah, go. That is incredible. See, you could wear that. I would yeah. most definitely wear that. That is so amazing. That quality, Mark. Is that knotted or beaded in between? Is it knotted, isn't it? Looks like it's knotted or macrame. It's knotted, it's macrame. Yeah. Is that macrame? Yeah, it is. Yes. Oh, look at that. Mark, that is amazing. This, um, this Solomon's bar is yeah. absolutely, gosh, that's really tight. Will that get looser the more you do yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, two or three times and that'll loosen up. Oh, it's not even a, it's not even a Solomon, is it? It's I don't know what it is. I've not seen this before. It's like a wrap. Oh, that's Mark, so this incredible. is out of this world. Do you reckon that's white jadeite? The two little beads at the end. I think, I think yeah. I'd, I'd like to assume that. Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether it is. It's blooming lovely, whatever it is. Okay, that's everything we've got. There's nothing else, I'm being told. Neri's no, got nothing else up his sleeve. <laughs> this was pulled out the show this morning when Dave, when Dave said... We grabbed um, it back. When Dave phoned up and said Brilliant. he wasn't very well. Um, I, I wasn't aware of this at all. This is... This is amazing. Now, Mark, you could take it apart. Oh, I wouldn't want to. No, neither would I. I, I wouldn't this. want to either. Love it. And that's a very good point, actually. How, 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 how do we keep our prices down? Well, it's because we don't sell yeah. made-up jewellery, really, do we? Well, we do. Because first dibs do sell made-up jewellery. And look at the prices. That's My gosh. And, and can I just say as well, the quality you are getting here. Yes, you are going to be getting moments of your on site as well. But really, the dominating colour Look at that. is bright imperial green. Really? Oh. Really? Oh, no. That's interesting. So this was meant to be launched when we, when we launched More Sit Sit a few weeks ago. After it went so well on launch, Wayne went back to our suppliers and said, we'll take whatever you've got. We'll take whatever More Sit Sit you've got. There's none. That's it. You can't get anything. That's not to say that in the future we won't be able to get anything, but as it stands at the minute, uh-uh, nothing. Or anyone else then, for that matter. So it must be, and <laughs> yeah. anyone else. Yeah. My gosh, that is good looking. This My real, gosh. It's a real treat yourself present, isn't it? It really is. It genuinely is. Oh gosh, we've got billions. Oh, of, no. how, how, how many of these do we make, um, Neary? Forty-six. Forty-six. Three have already gone. Oh, Forty-three. Look. Forty. Uh, there's forty-two now. I, I will literally count the quantity down. There's forty-two left. 
There's 42 left. On here, two, four. Oh, gosh. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Twenty-two rings, that is. Oh, that's There's 41 left now. That's interesting. So they're actually donuts. They're not, they're not side drilled. Like, do you remember we had the amber that was sort of drilled at an angle? Oh, have yes. Have them laying all down. <clears throat> so, this is, yeah. so this is the macrame technique that makes it slant. I'm going to have to see what this is. I'll have a closer look in the <laughs> Go on, I'll go on, I'll, 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 I'll pass it to you. Look, we've got yeah. a minute clock. Uh, 40 left. <sighs> Two, three, four. Yeah, 40 left. Oh, yeah. 40 left. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at that. Lots of single pendants, individual rings, cuff links. Yeah, if you want to get the most out of this, if you want to make the most money out of this, take it apart and make yeah. however many rings. I wouldn't want to. 39 left. This is 38 left. 38 left. These are the baskets. It's completely unisex, isn't it? I would, I would wear this any day of the week. 37 left. Look at all those baskets. Oh, gosh, no. 34 left. Jane's just taken three. OK. Right. Enjoy. Oh, my gosh, Mark. That is just... That is... That is like finding the holy grail of, of, of more sits it, isn't it? 299. Oh, my gosh. The potential you have with this is literally... The sky is the limit. Oh, my gosh. They're barrel knots. Say again. They're barrel knots. What does that mean? You see these individual little knots on the end? Like they're, they're, can you see how? So is that a double knot or a? It's, a? it's a barrel knot. So it's it's wrapped and then fed back through on itself. And then in between are little barrel knots. Oh, there's two in between each What's bead, really though. clever is they've taken a piece of cord and they've fitted it through this bead. And then the whole bracelet Goes is made through, yeah. from those two pieces of cord. <laughs> to make this into, I must learn how to do this. I love that is this. so lovely. Look at that. <clears throat> it's beautiful cord and the quality with how it's been finished and made is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Two nine nine. I don't know how many we've got left now. There's just literally there's so many people coming through. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. Go on, Mark. Um, well done. Jane's got three. Maker in Devon's got two. Greater London's got two. Davinia, Dorothy, Jane. It, it's literally absolutely flying. Well done. Yeah, I Well, well done. Mark, that looks yeah, lovely on. That looks really that. nice. It's quite surferish, isn't it, as well, I think? Yeah. But you'd wear that on an evening out. You know, black tie, you'd wear that, wouldn't you? As well? You could wear that every day, yeah. Mark. You could also, if you wanted to, um, I don't know, what, what gauge is the finest leather cord that you've got in the next, in, in, in uh, the... Um, one and a half, 12, uh, two mil. Mm, so it's probably going to be a bit thick for that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 15 chances left. OK, we're taking the price down again. This is news to me. This, this was news to me. The whole thing was news to me. OK, wait... Uh, is, is Wayne actually in today or not? No, Neary's just been on the phone to Wayne. I, I could hear you talking to someone. I didn't know whether he was in the gallery or not. No, this is... Um, this is... Uh, we shouldn't have had this. This should have been in the show with Dave. Dave, unfortunately, isn't very well. So we're bringing them all sit, sit to air um, uh, without Dave. And this strand was taken out of the show. I wasn't even aware of it. It's been put back into the show. We're playing it now. We've been given permission to go one more time to take it lower. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. You've got your own very own more sit sit bracelet. It is absolutely exquisite. Your, oh, that is so well made. Yours today. <clears throat> Enjoy. Oh. Here we go, everyone. Go, go, go. Well done. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. It's electrifying, isn't it? It's yours today. Well done. <laughs> 249. 249. Wow, Georgina's just literally leapt in there. Well done to you. Oh, there's tons of you there. What a treat. And as you say, Mark, this is a real treat to yourself kind of, kind it of is. thing, isn't no, it? It certainly is. It really is. 
absolutely gorgeous well done being able to get something like this for 249 pounds nice. well done everyone maker ron jenny maker brian linda janice david lorraine they're just the names i can see with this in their baskets um the only thing is uh Sorry, the only thing I shall do with my more sit sit bracelet is wear it. Yeah. Dominia, exactly. I think yeah, I, I yeah. do not think you're on your own there. This no. is Absolutely. this is the kind of I, I don't think anyone is gonna be taking this apart. You could do, but you know. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, look at this message. Angela has done the math. I think we're all a bit frightened to do the math, to be honest. Um eleven thirty two per donut. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That really is amazing. That really is incredible. And you could just put them on chains. You can make them into That's rings, make idea. them into cufflinks. I don't think I would tear this apart. No, the, it's the been so the well design, made. I've never seen a design like this. Because normally you'd expect to see a Solomon bar, wouldn't you, if it was you a would. Shambhala bracelet. Yep, like yep. It's, it's wrapped, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Work. It'd be a shame to cut it up, I think. It would, but almost interesting to see, to kind of yeah, dissect it and see yeah. exactly how it's been made. But yeah, I agree. Um, Wow. So beautiful. Minute to close. Well done. Ron sneaking in there. Well done taking oh, well it down done, to four. Ron. Oh, good. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Yeah. So many with these in baskets. Look, these are the baskets. They're absolutely rammed. I can imagine Michael wearing this as well. Mike. I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's, it's interesting, actually. I've, I've, I've opened and closed this a few times. And it's it's, it's so much easier. Yeah. It loosens up a yeah. little bit, doesn't yeah. it? That has got so much potential, that does, Mark. I, I, I'm so grateful for having this. Thank you so much, yeah. Neary. <laughs> yeah, King has just reminded us it's donut day. There you go. There. That's why we've done it. Donut day. <laughs> earrings. Yeah, oh, yeah. stud earrings. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. How lovely would that be? Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Okay, taking those details away in literally 10 seconds. I am, yeah, that is brill. Okay, so there's no more. More, more, sits it. No. <laughs> There's no more. There's no more. No more, more, more. No more, no more. Sits it. More, more, sits I it. I just keep thinking of kittens whenever you yes, say more, it sound, sits it. Yes, it sounds like a cat. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meow, meow, sits it. Yeah, yeah. No, no more of that. <laughs> okay, well, we've got diamonds now. Oh, wow. Star by. What do you reckon to that? What do you reckon to that? <laughs> They're massive, for one. They are huge. Oh, look at these. I don't know how to describe this colour because they're red, but they're also kind of... silver, kind of like a coat, like they're coated. Oh, I'm not sure that's the same strand, Ollie. No. Uh, we want the rice beads. Ooh. Same colour as the rice beads, actually. Oh, Neary. In all of his excitement, he asked for the wrong thing. By the way, Anne and Sue, you're going to have to fight me for this more sit sit necklace, by the way. I'll meet you in the car park <laughs> after, after the show. And we'll have like an arm wrestle for it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm having that. <laughs> the engine's running. <laughs> This is lovely. Rice beads are wonderful. You were saying the other day how much you like the rice beads. I love rice. Shape. Well, we had, we had some in jade eye, and I just yeah. I always love the shape. You just need um, one in a bracelet or one in an earring. In a diamond, though. In a diamond. How often do you see rice beads in, the, in, in, in diamonds? Gosh, that is lovely. Look at that. Oh, wow. I've got the perfect description for the colour, but I think it will, it will just degrade them a bit, and I don't know whether to... <sighs> what do you mean? Do you remember cola cubes? Oh, my gosh, they're just like cola cubes. As a child. Yes. It, they, they just look that, that sort do you of know, and, uh, that colour, don't they? I, I said this a few weeks ago. Yeah. My friend had her dining room decorated, and it's like an old property, like an old Georgian-style property. And she had a she had a she had her paints uh, her paints her walls painted in a colour called Coca Cola, and it's this colour. Oh, is it? It's it's a Coca Cola colour. It's like a a brownie root beer dandelion and burdock kind of fizzy That's again. fizzy dandelion kind of colour. Did you just hear what we're going to with these? Nope. Oh my gosh! 
No. That's not your price. <laughs> what are you doing? Neary just said 30 second clock, we're going to go to 100 pounds. <sighs> and then we're dropping the price again. Okay, just get it. How many do we have? I want all these. 21. Oh gosh, I want this. I want this. Victoria, maker, well done to you. What are you doing? It is like, oh gosh, that would be a really good range to do. Cola diamonds. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, why not? Such a lovely colour. And you get that slight fizziness within the diamond. It looks lovely, fizzy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moments of clarity. It's just gorgeous. Richard Jean in California. Oh, my gosh. They're going to look amazing. Um, 18 <laughs> chances. I, I don't understand this. I've got no idea. I've got literally no idea where we're going. I keep missing the price point he's, he's saying that we're going to. Go on. Can you... Is Shall I tell you now? Just to interrupt the clock. Yeah, go on. Yeah, sixty-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> sixty-nine for diamonds. Ninety-nine. What? I don't care. I mean, oh, there's two, I'm... four, five. Oh. One point eight five carats across the five. That is utterly brilliant. That's oh my crazy. gosh, that is so wrong. That's so wrong. That's bad. Victoria <laughs> Richard, Jean, Jean, Maker in Devon, Maker, Victoria, well into you. Oh, Victoria's bought two and Jean's bought two. I thought I could see your names in baskets yeah. and confirmed. So it means that you know, you've come through again, you've added another, another one to your one order. As well. That is a range for me, Cola Diamonds. I, I just think that it's, it's gorgeous. It's a real root beer It's colour, amazing. Isn't it? yeah. Helen Joanne, yeah. Alison, well done to you. Root beer. Yeah. Are you a fan of dandelion and burdock? No. Yeah. Root beer? No, particularly. Coca Cola? Yeah, yeah I like Coca Cola. Do you know what? Coca Cola is yeah. nice. In a can, it tastes horrible. It needs to be in the bottle. Yes, that's true, actually. That's, it yeah. tastes. Yeah. Don't ever go to a pub and have it with yeah. a yeah. thing, because oh. just, uh, it's just awful. Glass yeah. bottle. Yeah. Oh, Pepsi. I don't think I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> is it what what was it the marketing kind of tagline for pepsi should be it's pepsi is that okay uh yeah yeah it's like you literally apologize like in pubs is yeah. it it's pepsi is that all right it's like well you know what do they do everyone's down on pepsi aren't they <laughs> um $69.99. the price point to source diamond strands like this has gone up four times and that is all to do with the closure of the argyle mine that's all to do with the fact that everybody in the industry is scrabbling around trying to find the best quality diamonds they can for the best possible prices and i'm talking fancy diamonds with the closure of the biggest fancy diamond mine in the world it's crazy it's absolutely bonkers isn't it it's the kind of thing you know you just you just, yeah. you just it 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 it, it it, it almost, I mean, it, it's so, it's so, I'm, I'm trying to think of a shop that has one particular item that everybody goes there for. Like I buy the candles uh, from, uh, from Aldi. I love them. They're really inexpensive and they smell absolutely beautiful. It's like every, it's like, let's say that they don't do them and everyone is scrabbling around trying to find them, trying to get the last in stock. And what you've got here. Like loo rolls. Like loo rolls. Yeah. But much more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, Okay, so this yeah. this um, email is from Aman. Oh. This is um, this is uh, dated last February. Oh wow! Hi Wayne. Kindly refer to the attached proposal of diamond cubes. Uh, diamond prices have increased by thirty to forty percent overall products. Um, in overall products, uh, the suppliers offering the diamond beads at old uh, suppliers offering the diamond beads at old prices. Please advise: is that workable for us? They're not anymore. No. Um, we. Since then, since last February, prices have gone up three times. So Wayne's just been to India with Georgia. They were offered diamonds because diamonds, you can still get diamonds. You know, South Africa's got loads of them. We can't afford to buy them. Oh. There will be, there will come a time, and this is and this is something that we've you know we've we've spoken about that where people get priced out the industry. Oh. You get priced out because it's just too expensive, and. Um, 
it, it's it's you know it's happening it's happening in our in our world now um you know you know if, a, if you know a loaf of bread is what one pound 80 but if a loaf of bread was 20 quid i probably wouldn't buy it i'd be priced out and that is what that's what's happening with us buying diamonds at trade level these now you haven't seen these yet no, have you no, no mark they are they are they are that recording is beautiful you don't get the you don't get the perspective of size and you or the shape to the full extent i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to show mark this it is honestly it is the most beautiful strand of diamonds i think we have ever done oh my word <laughs> Did you ever oh, think we would no. ever be able to do anything like this on You've got Jamaica? five pendants there. Just one of those on totally. a chain. And black actually, diamond. interestingly, when we first when I first bought these to air, which wasn't even the launch for these, um, when I bought these to air, I bought you up and I bought Clara, because I know that both yeah. of you have bought diamond strands, not yeah. like this, but you know, rice beads, I believe they yes, were, or maybe yeah. even cubes. And you used just one in a sliding class bracelet. Right. And Claire McDonald bought a strand for her, I think it was her 40th birthday, and she, and, and she did exactly, made herself mm. a, a beautiful diamond ring. It's the kind of thing you use just one. That's all, that's it. Yeah, and yeah, with yeah. a strand like yeah. this, you don't even, you know, you don't even need to feel guilty about, you know, they are so... On this strand, you've got two, four, five in total. Words fail me. 30 seconds to graphics. <laughs> Look at the size of those times. I know, Margot, they're crazy, aren't they? Like I say, the recording's beautiful, but you don't really get a fair impression as to the size of these. Now, when it comes to particularly rare gemstones, like your tanzanite um, or, um, or uh, valuable gemstones like your diamonds, the price point that you will pay for a two carat diamond isn't double the price of a one carat diamond. The price does not go up like that. It's not, oh, well, half a carat is half the price of a one carat diamond. A one carat diamond is exponentially more expensive than half a carat. That's These diamonds, you are getting over two carats over five diamonds. Two carats, 20 across five uh, diamonds, which means each one of these is, what, 40-odd points a piece. <laughs> they are so, they are magnificent. They, some of, that central one there has got to be nudging half a carat. If not, if not, no, that's got to be more than half a carat. That is definitely more than half a carat. And... The fact, the other strand that we had sold out. What was the carrot weight on that other strand? 3.75 carats. The four to five mil sold out. This is now the biggest diamonds we've got in the business. That's it. Yeah, biggest diamonds that we've, biggest diamonds we've ever done are the black diamonds which sold out. Um, and they and they and they went and, and and I believe we bought them to air once they all sold out and that's it they're gone they're long gone. These are now the biggest diamonds we have in the business. These will never come back. This is this is the kind, you get these home and you go how on earth is that even possible? Yeah. And that's interesting. We've had lots of people messaging through who've come through to get the diamonds in the past and said they look so much better in real life than they do on screen. On screen they look magnificent, but in in real life to hold a diamond of this size. You hold this next to a pair, you hold this next to a diamond clustering that you've got. Those tiny little melee diamonds. You hold this next to even your diamond engagement ring. This is bigger than most engagement rings, by the way, that, that central gemstone. Most engagement rings are about 30 points, between a quarter of a carat and 30 points in one stone. That one there is nudging half a, uh, half a carat or maybe slightly more. We're at 499. Susan, maker in Devon, maker in London, Richard in Dorset, Janice in London, Victoria in Kent, Susan in Norfolk. Way over allocated. How many do we have, by the way? 
Oh gosh. Five chances. Four right. chances. One's yeah, gone. <clears throat> yeah, pearl necklace oh, with yeah. just a black diamond either side yeah. of your central gem. Oh wow. It's definitely not going to get lost. How could it? Look at the size of it. It's huge. £149. Pounds. It makes pounds no sense whatsoever. Diamond. No sense whatsoever. Three chances, two chances. <sighs> Who's taking the last two? It could be Catherine, Susan, Maker, Jan. Oh, one chance. £30 pounds each. <laughs> you can literally sell each one of those for ten times your price. That's amazing. Well done. Helen, Joanne, Samantha. Someone's got to check out the last one. Someone's got to check out. Oh, it's gone. Sit, Catherine. Sit. Well, well done. done. Wow. They're gone. Biggest diamonds in the business. They're gone. I think they come to you in the box as well. Right, now this is a strand I've never seen before. Oh, and do you know what, Ollie? I think you're absolutely right. Ollie's saying that, you know, this is a proper moment for jewellery maker. Oh, hmm. oh I, 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 I've got to be very careful how I phrase this. But for the longest time, comparing jewellery maker to Gemporia, we were like... Mm. We were like the poor relation. We were we were mm. we were bringing we were bringing yeah. much yeah. lower price things to air. We'd never be able to bring diamonds. Never be able to bring gold. Never be able to bring sterling silver. Never be able to bring tanzanite. Never be able to bring pearls. Never be able to bring jadeite. Never be able to bring. Look at us now, and it's because of you. It's because of mm. your your steadfastness. You sticking with us. Your support. Your engagement. Your in your. Your influence, your... Yeah. And it's been a wonderful journey. These are beautiful rice beads. What have we got? Do you know my favourite? Go on. This one. Just there. The grey one. The grey. Grey silver. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. The old neck uh. one is, is Ollie's <laughs> book. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, the, the one on the right-hand side next to the white. I love that. Yeah, that is lovely. Gosh, yeah. that silver is beautiful. You're yeah. right, Mark. That's yeah. a really lovely grey silver. <laughs> Here we go. Faceted rice beads. Imagine these with your Olmex. Yeah. Imagine, yeah, the silvery one or the red one with your Olmex. It's like a maroon. What? Our start price is what? <laughs> One, two, nine. With the, with the, <clears throat> with the closure of the Argyle mine in Australia, where are we going to get our coloured diamonds from? Where are we going to get our fancy diamonds from? There's nowhere else. Argyle diamonds were the absolute, they were the absolute best. But they just become, it become unminable. It cost too much money to, to extract the diamonds from the ground. It was more money going into the ground than what they were actually reaping. Two, four, six, eight. Eight diamonds. What is he doing? Ready? Oh dear. <laughs> we are gonna get. Gosh. Ah. You need to stop saying that, Ollie, because honestly, that is making. I, I feel physically ill. I think Davinia, Victoria, and Richard might want to. Um think again <laughs> yeah Richard you've bought two you're gonna want three or four yeah Victoria you've bought one you're gonna want at least two <laughs> Davinia you've bought one you're gonna want two Susan Maker Tracy and Dawn you've all got what Jean Maker you've all got one in your basket don't up it to two at least or three <clears throat> how about under a hundred <laughs> and then some okay Maker in London you've got two in your basket well done Jean, well done. Oh, gosh, these are flying. Right, OK. OK, this is crazy. What's he doing? 
Ladies and gentlemen. That's a tank of petrol. 69 <laughs> <laughs> £8.74 per diamond. Per fancy diamond. Oh, my goodness me. Davinia's got two. Well Jean, done. Maker in London's got two. Susan in Norfolk's got two. Richard in Dorset's got two. Maker Victoria, Karen Janice, Maker Tracy. Dawn. You have all... Oh, my gosh. This is tremendous. They look like sweets from a, plan, from a deck of playing cards, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. What an offering this That's is, incredible. Mark. If you'd have told me, Mark, on our Kylie and Jason show <laughs> nine years ago... Nine, almost ten years yeah. ago, nine and a half years ago, if you'd have told me on our Kylie and Jason show <laughs> that nine and a half years later we'd be here at 11, sorry, eight minutes past 11 on Thursday the 16th of February 2023 and we had a strand of fancy coloured diamond rice beads on air for 70 quid, I'd say you're talking out your elbow. Like, honestly, I literally, this is the unthinkable. We couldn't even get diamonds no. on Jewelry Maker, let alone fancy diamonds, for £70. I would make lots and lots and lots of macrame, sterling silver macrame rings with just one. Oh, in the I love that idea. Or herringbone. Well, you herringbone saw. Um, so yeah. so we, had, we had a show with um, Charlie Barron and, and Mark. <laughs> Oh, I Last love year, that show. it was quite. It was a wonderful show. Was it was quite scared. stressful before the show because I was like, I really hope he likes my jewelry. What if he says he hates my jewelry? <laughs> and I have to say, I was a little bit worried too. I was like, Oh, please, Charlie, be nice. Um, and he was literally. He could well, not have been no. more taken with your jewelry, Mark. And they, it was all sterling silver wire macrame. Mm. It was. It was exquisite jewelry. And I totally agree, Mark. I think you doing sterling silver macrame rings with these with just one Perfect. in the centre. That would be incredible. That's what it? to do, yeah. and sell each ring for you know, a hundred pounds and you've made 700 and 700 and whatever pounds profit. That is, that, that's just brilliant. Helen, Thecla, Jalanta, Maxine, Victoria's bought three, Janet, Karen, Davinia's got two, Janice in Staffordshire, Janice in London, Tracy in Lancashire. Well done, to, it, it's crazy, well done. Enjoy. Yeah, that is amazing, well done. Imagine one coil of memory wire with sterling silver little beads all the way around and then just one diamond in the center on the wrist. I think that would look exquisite, wouldn't it? Exquisite. That would look beautiful, wouldn't it? Victoria's up to four now. Yeah, Victoria's got four. <laughs> I wonder what she's gonna do. Text us, Victoria. Yeah, what are you gonna be doing, us, lovely? Yeah. Message in. Go to our website and message in. Another maker there. Well done, Greater London. Well done, California, Norfolk, East Sussex, Merseyside, Gloucestershire. Warwickshire, Somerset. Well done. Okay. Champagne diamonds next. I do love diamonds. Oh, it's this one. It's this one that I had before, Mark. This is oh, yeah. this is beautiful. A colour. What's happening on here? It's that Coca-Cola colour again. It's just gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Beautiful recording. Gorgeous strand. Look at that. There's some reds in there. Can I say that loud? Because yeah, I yeah, just that. say it. I've got no idea what. Tom just said these are nuts, bruv. <laughs> That's what we have to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, that... nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well, that's and that's that's what I'm thinking. Ollie's saying it says champagne, but there's loads of reds. There there are reds here. And you all know that the rarest colour in diamonds, whether it's treated or heated, this is natural, by the way. Look, no treatment. No, no. treatment. Natural. Not irradiated, not heated. And by the way, irradiating and heating diamonds is fine. It's industry standard. You'd expect that across the industry. For this to be natural is so, un is so unusual. It's so rare. Gosh, yeah, that's a very good point, actually. Yeah, the only thing that you can use to fasten a diamond is another diamond. Gosh, that looks so good, Mark. Sparkle. So nice. It's incredible, isn't it? So, yeah, although you're getting those lovely kind of champagne colours, you're getting a lot of reds mm. popping out of there as well. It's like my mm. youngest daughter's hair, actually. Beautiful browns, but then with these auburns popping out as well. Really, really lovely colours. <clears throat> Faceting on this is extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> My mum had some um, costume jewellery that my sister didn't want it. 
and um, I was intrigued by one of the pieces and I brought it in and best Toby took it away and had it checked over for me and he brought it back last week and it's um, it's a flower, it's a six petal flower. Yeah. I thought it was just costume because I'd never seen it before and it turned out to be six white diamonds, three and a half carats and in the centre was a black diamond. Oh my gosh! 18 carat gold. No! <laughs> yeah. No idea. Who, I have no idea. What are you going to yeah, do? I don't know. I don't know. I'd never seen it before. I'd never seen her wear it. I don't know where she got it from. So that was a bit of a shocker. Wowzers. Shock. Yeah. It was a bit of a shocker. Okay, so apparently £129 yeah. isn't going to be the price. No. So I've just seen the clock. Whilst we've been whittling on. This is crazy. Devon's got two. Dorset. Yeah, Kent, well done to you. Love this colour. Yeah, me too. Me too. They, they perform so well, these yeah. diamonds, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And not being, um, oh gosh, well, I probably shouldn't say this, but uh, okay, let's have a look at the price point first of all. Okay, sixty nine ninety nine, amazing. <laughs> what I was going to say was, these diamonds here, you look at these diamonds here compared to the diamonds in my ring, which is lovely, and I absolutely love it. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, my, it's my wedding band, I love it, it's a full eternity band, I absolutely love it. You look at how they're performing next to these. And I know these are probably a bit grubby and this, that, and the other. They're roughly the same size. Those are out sparkling. They are. Everything. Yes, yeah. They are so good. Absolutely amazing, aren't they? 17 on the strand, yeah. <laughs> How much? <laughs> £4.11. That's not even a sandwich, 11. is it? It's not, yeah, it's not even a sandwich. <laughs> not even one of your all day breakfast sandwiches, Mark. No. Oh, my word. My gosh. My gosh. Oh, yes. Oh, King is scuttling across the, across the studio. Here she comes. Yeah, amazing. Now, well done. Uh, Alison, uh, Tracy, Mervat, Victoria, you've all got this in your baskets. Check out my loves. Uh, 69.99 is your deal. That's just... That's Janice. That's incredible, isn't it? And that's it. Yeah. But look at... Just look at that recording. Sorry, just humour me. Just look at that recording mm. one more time. The three that are on the right-hand side nearest the top, on the right-hand side, look at the reds now in that yeah, top one. Yeah. Those are natural red diamonds. And I'm not saying that they're bright pillar box red. They're obviously not. But there are reds in there. That's the rarest colour and the hardest colour to achieve in nature. And they're natural. Yeah, they're natural. They're not, they're not heat-treated or irradiated. And that's industry standard. These diamonds probably or almost definitely would have been heat-treated. And that, that's absolutely fine. Whatever. Um, all you're doing, by the way, by heating diamonds and irradiating them is just speeding up the process mm. that Mother Nature could apply to the gemstone. You can never make a diamond go a colour that it doesn't want to go. A diamond will only change a colour if it's got the presence of other elements within it, which quite often diamonds do. Right. So if, if, yeah. if it's vanadium, if it's lithium, if it's, oh gosh, I don't know, um, oh, cobalt, uh, they'll go different colours. Um, you can't, the only way you can make a diamond go a different colour that it doesn't want to go is if you coat it, which is, just looks awful. So never, do, never get coated diamonds. But heating and irradiating, it's industry standard, but, they, but these are natural. Amazing, hey? And that, what a great selling point. You know, you sell your jewellery, natural diamond jewellery. <laughs> right, here we go. Which, what are we doing? Oh, we've got to show the kits. Ten minutes time we're doing that. Is that um, lavender? Half an hour, sorry. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, honestly. Four strands of lavender jade. You've got enough there to do a complete 360 kiss cross with that. That would be amazing. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh, I've got all the pony beads coming up. In, oh, gosh. Okay, we've got yeah. loads coming up. Yeah. Beautiful pearls. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then look, these stunning, these stunning floral beads. Um, we've done these in lotus flowers and they've gone absolutely nuts. These are much more kind of daisy-like. <laughs> what was that? What's he saying? <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you sh No, the qu... I don't know what we the quantities the, are like. I no, don't well, we don't, well, that's it. Oh. We don't have the quantities. They're going to sell out before we... Okay. 44 seconds. All Monk's kits from the 12 o'clock hour are going to go in pre-order. 
Stupidy, stupidy, stupidy. These kits, by the way, oh gosh, they're gonna fly. These kits, by the way, have got the very first four mil gauge leather cord in them. They've also got a finer gauge leather cord in them. And Mark really wanted to add in some clasps as well, magnetic clasps, yeah. which you've used on your Kumahimo pieces. Right. Yeah. They are amazing. Honestly, they are these gorgeous. Clasps. Look at these clasps oh. on the Kumahimo. They are, Mark, they're stunning. I love them. Yeah, they, it's interesting, actually. They don't necessarily go with the leather, but you just wanted them so much. I totally appreciate that, Mark. They're amazing. I love these clasps. So I've not used them. I've not used them in the leather. I've, I've snaffled them all for the Kumahimo because I was desperate for magnetics. There you go. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. How lovely. So, uh, they're all on pre-order. Oh, look, they're all on pre-order. There they are. By the way, all those kits are going to be under £25 oh, each. You've got my favourite strand ever, ever, ever in jewellery maker history. That. That. That on there, yeah. Is it really? I'm a massive Pab Paracha fan. So I'm am massive. I. I didn't realise. Yeah. This is coming up. Yeah, I've got lots at home that I bought from Gemporia, paparaccia quartz. Oh, I love paparaccia quartz. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. lovely. But to have the actual, the real deal. Paparaccia sapphire. I love my strap. I got this when we launched it. And it's it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's coming up. Yeah. It's coming up. It's there. Right, okay. Look at that colour. <laughs> We're going to do a bit of a big four. We bought you the diamonds. We've got sapphires as well. Uh, we've got rubies. What's that in the box? <laughs> <coughs> this is the ruby of rubies, honestly. <laughs> oh my word. This is ridiculous. I don't want to pick it up. What are they? This is ruby, isn't it? I'm going to give you the code because KXJN21. Is this ruby? Oh my gosh. These are ridiculous. I think this is, this is the best ruby we've ever. ever had. Oh, look at these. Honestly. Speechless. Oh speechless. <laughs> Utterly speechless. Look at that. My eyes are literally popping out of my head. Oh, look. Have you ever seen anything like that, Mark? Never. I love the shape of them as well. Those Me elongated too. ovals, they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a it's an oval. Yeah. It's a it's it's a faceted oval. My gosh. Faceted tumbles. Oh gosh, that's so <laughs> awful. I feel that's so derogatory, oh, isn't no. it? Um, uh, uh, where, where are these from? What happens? Gee whiz. I tell you what. <laughs> oh my lord! What? Okay, lovely, beautiful. Hey! Oh, you're hey! Feeling hot, hot, hot. What is going on? It's like a strand of wine gums. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Do you know they're like those sweets that you used to buy? Jelly lips. Oh, yeah. Do you remember those? Yes. Oh, yeah. they were, it just gets stuck in your teeth. They're jelly. These are like lips. They are like... They are incredible. There's no other word for it. Shocking price, we're being told. Oh, oh I hate this torch because all the lights come on. Oh. Two chances left. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> Bish, bash, bosh. Bang I love and the gem, dirt is I love, gone. Um, gem heavy days like this. Love it. I, I, that oh. is. 
Right, what are we doing now? Look at all the people in baskets there, there Mark. Right, what are we doing now? Yeah. Oh, look. This is really old school. That's thing, exactly what I was about yeah, to say. It's lovely. <clears throat> Those yellows are beautiful. Aren't they just? The minty greens. Ruby, sapphire and emerald. It's like a strand of candy. Gorgeous. Don't. What's the star price on this? 229. That's exactly, um, I was gonna say maybe. <laughs> oh, my totally <laughs> wrong. I was thinking 199, I thought, no, that's way too low. 49, you're kidding me. What is going on today? How lovely to see Sabine. Sab I was going yeah. to have seen Sabine for yeah, ages. Okay, Hello, my darling. Oh, look at that. M, That's Jerry, awesome. Tracy, Allah. Wow. My goodness me, that is a party. That's a party on a strand. It's pretty much a chakra strand as well, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, and also, through, Mark, yeah. I think you've got kind of elements there. Fire, earth, air, water, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got very pleasing, isn't it? Very pleasing colours. Now, I always get, I always get mixed up. What are the primary colours? It's, it's colours that you can't make from other colours. Yeah, so colors. what are primary so, colours? So what, red, what red, blue and yellow. yellow. Red, blue and yeah, yellow. Yeah. Green is made with green and yellow. Yellow and blue is green. Yellow and blue is green, sorry. Yeah. And then you've got red and orange. It's, no, red and blue is purple. Yeah. I think we need to do a colour wheel day. I, think that'd be I really just, nice. I get, that'd I get, be lovely, I, wouldn't it? because you get primary colours. Turn. Oh, who cares? Twenty four ninety nine. Oh, <laughs> thank you, yeah. Neary No, look at that. He's on it. Red, blue, and yellow. So red and yellow make orange. Yeah. Red and blue make purple. Blue and yellow make green, and then you get brown. brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Um, That's interesting. Yeah. It is interesting, isn't it? That's crazy. Two chances. That's it. Those sapphires are. I just love oh, it. Oh dear. Yeah, the t yeah, uh, the fact that they're tumbles, or what we sometimes describe as they look like they're river worn, or like they're yes. native cut. Yes. Um, those are big individual pieces. This is all from Madagascar. By the way, sorry, I know, I know this is a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a, well, there's no point in saying it anymore, but there is. This will almost all be alluvial mined. And what that means is it's literally, um, it, it's literally carried downstream by river. Right. So alluvial mining is where you literally pan for it in a river or a lake, uh, like you would for gold. Host rock mm. mining is where you knock into the host rock. It was once part of the host rock, but then it, you know, because Madagascar gets lots of, um, lots of different weather fronts. It's literally bashed out of the rock by the weather and carried down and carried down the stream. That's how almost all your pink sapphire. That's why gemstones like pink sapphire were mined out very quickly because everyone was having a go. Like we could go and have a go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's it's crazy. But with host rock mining, you need more of it. You know, it's more regulated. That is that is just lovely. That's beautiful, isn't it? Right next. Look, okay, what are we doing now? I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> right, this is this is this is stupid. Put that with your jade. Yes. Look at this. Stick that in your more sit sit, hey? Hmm? Stick that in your more sit sit. Look at these. Look at that. That's a, that's a long strand as well, isn't it? Isn't that yeah. beautiful? This is what, um, <clears throat> yeah, like Morello cherries. cherries oh, yeah. Or cherries in Kirsch. Lovely. Love a bit of that. Wow. Um, the, um, we do often say this when we get strands of ruby like this. It's like a heritage colour. A bit, going back to that kind of William Morris kind of, kind mm. of tone. It looks like it's, um, from the, it looks like it's from the earth. And of course it is from the earth, but it looks like that colour is from the earth. It's like an ox blood yeah. colour, isn't it? It's, um, it's got, it's got depth. It's the kind of colour you see in things like um, uh, tapestries, isn't it? Olmec would go with it. Oh, here she is. She's literally just like... Well, it's a the same tone, isn't it? It's the same tone. 
Yeah. I think I think it is. Yeah, yeah it's got oh ah. good grief! <laughs> There's your oh. Liberty print. There's your William Morris Liberty print. There's your medieval wall yeah. painting. Yeah. There's your medieval tapestry. There it is. Two colours. And together they they evoke that. That feel. That's that's the National Trust, that's English heritage. I love that. Wow. Absolutely love that. My gosh. That is heritage, prestige, pedigree. That is, that's got a, that's got a doctorate, hasn't it? That's got a PhD, <laughs> that colour combination. That's amazing. I love it. Um, 99.99. I'm just showing it with the Olmec. The Olmec isn't on screen now. 99.99. Um, Amazing. You get loads on the strand, by the way. Yeah, you get bits of oh, kind yes. of uh, what looks like a chatoyancy. It's actually not, I would describe that almost as asterism because you do get star ruby, don't you? And that's basically where light is trapped inside a ruby and it needs to be of this kind of quality. It's no good at having loads of clarity because the light's just going to come out. So you want it to be trapped inside and um, you get white light forming a star, a six prong star, hopefully. If not, a four prong star is fine. Mm. And it's called asterism. And it's totally natural. And you get it in diopside, ruby, sapphire, other gems as well, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? Ala, maker endeavor. Well, well, Ollie, let's just go back to what we were saying yeah. earlier on about the yeah. more sits it. Yeah. Anything where you get rounds, round diamonds, round tanzanite, round sapphire, round ruby. We actually said round ruby. It, it, it just, it captivates you. It, you it's a whole shape, isn't it? It's, yes, it's, it's, it's a finished. Yes. Yeah. It's a beginning, middle and end shape. Yeah. I would, I would just make earrings with these and I'd get a head pin, I'd drop the bead at the bottom and I wouldn't cut any of the wire off. So you'd get that long, visible post just with the dangle. Six. I just think look amazing. That's a lovely idea. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. They're like cherries, aren't they? You can make it... Actually, you could... Taking that kind of wire design, you could flick the wire so they look like little ruby, yeah. uh, little yeah. cherry stalks, yeah. couldn't they? Yeah. Natural ruby, <laughs> 50 quid. Oh, my gosh, 49.99. Victoria, Mon <laughs> stop it. Stop it now. Stop it. What? <laughs> Literally. Is he doing I've got that? Ollie in my ear. <laughs> Ollie is having kittens in there. I would put that lavender jade with it. I swear I'm going to see Ollie after the show today and he will have aged about 10 years. <laughs> he's literally, oh, no, guys, no, because Ollie's really good at maths and he's like, no, that works out to blah, 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 blah per gemstone. We can't do that. That's totally wrong. But he just, yeah. He's like, what's his name? Is it Russell Crowe in A Beautiful Mind? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Matt Damon in uh, Good Will Hunting. I love that movie. <gasps> I love that. Natural, isn't that lovely? Yeah, but the lavender jade that looks amazing. Oh. Well done, Sabine, Kim, Victoria, Jane, June, Maker, Monica, Carmel. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Ken's got two. With prices like this, I have to say it is not hard. Do it, do it, do it, says Lorraine. He's done it. He done it. He done a price. Rowena, Kim. I'm seeing names here that I haven't seen for, for yeah. you know forever. Gary, Julie, Jacqueline, Janice, Maker. Four. Oh. Victoria's got four. M's got two. Tessa's got two. Caroline Maker. Just Victoria look at Victoria has got them. I reckon's got the most incredible gemstone collection. She's been buying Very, today, hasn't yeah, she? Amazing. Victoria, are you in the trade? Do you make jewelry to sell or are you or you're just wanting to get yeah. loads and make a decision which ones you want to keep, send the others back? Whatever you want. That is well brill. Done. Brill, brill, brill. Right, what now? The drops? Yeah. I love those yellows. I think they're so lovely. It's right for this time of yeah. year. Have you seen the crocuses? We've got daffs coming up in the garden in flower. Oh. Yeah, already. Yeah. What, what I love about um, crocuses, 
and maybe you can answer this. When you see snowdrops and a carpet of snowdrops, they're yeah, just yeah. beautiful. A carpet of snowdrops, or you see daffs, they tend to grow in a bed, like in uh, they come out of soil, don't they? Yeah. Whereas crocuses seem to just emerge from the grass. They're yeah, so cool, yeah, aren't yeah, they? The way they just kind crocus. of crop up. Um, these are beautiful, and it is a daffodil yellow, isn't it? It is. What did he say? Yeah. Let's boss these beasts out. Let's boss these beasts out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good job we don't speak like that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not repeat everything, Neary says. I know. Um, that colour is almost exactly the colour of my nail polish. I love it. I love that. Rhubarb and custard. Oh, yes. Say again, love. The, the, yeah, yeah, the blue yeah. is that sapphire blue. It's that, you know, you ask someone what sapphire blue is, it's going to be this. It's not a navy blue. It's what my mother would call a French blue. And I've started calling it a French blue. I don't really know what that means, if I'm being honest. But it's a certain blue. It's not a royal blue. It's not a cobalt blue. It's not a navy blue. It's a French blue. Whatever oh, that means. It's like a... A moody blue, I don't know if you'll say it with a French <laughs> accent. It is a blue. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, but it is... <laughs> it's gorgeous colour. I love Fred de Syria. Isn't he gorgeous? Who's this? Fred de Syria. Is it Fred de Syria? Oh, the first date, chappy. Yeah. I love his French accent. Oh. He's gorgeous. I love it. Very handsome, man. 49 for your sapphire. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. <clears throat> OK, 18, 17 seconds. Do you know what? He's bringing the clocks on and not even telling me. I, apparently, I think we're taking the price down. I don't know. Dorset's, uh, Richard's got two. Well done. Susan's got two. Alla, Victoria, Tracy, Maker, 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 Margaret, Maker. Oh, gosh, it's literally flying. Here we go. I'm, I'm, these prices are embarrassingly low. <laughs> $29.99. I love shows like this because it takes DM back to how we all started and, and back to basics and, you know, bringing, bringing gemstones that we all know and love. It's just, it's just a joy, absolute joy. But let's not... Let's not forget, Mark, that a strand mm. like this eight years ago would have been about Wouldn't 129 been. Exactly, pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it 29.99? Why is it 100 pounds mm. lower than potentially where it would have sold eight years ago? Because we've come so far. Yeah. And we've come so far because we've been supported by our incredible viewership and our incredible customer base. And we're able to, we're able to do deals like this because we've built those relationships. We, ha we have access mm. to better deals than we've ever had done before, which then gives you access to deals and also because of our customer because our customer base has increased and increased and increased we can buy 200 strands of these <clears throat> and because we bought 200 we've commissioned 200 i should say we can buy them at a much more competitive price point which in turn gives you a better mm. deal and we don't work on the kind of margins that other people work on you know there, it's not unusual for companies to work on margins you know and, and i mean small jewelry outlets of 100 to 200 percent you know you can sell a ring at, in some shops in the jewelry quarter and you can close the shop for the rest of the day it doesn't matter because it's, it's covered all your overheads here we don't do anything like that we work on tiny little margins um which means we can bring you deals like this everyone's a winner gorgeous well done okay that's brilliant we've got a massive star buy coming up now this is the sapphire we were told we were never going to be able to get. I assume it's a paparazzi, yeah? Yeah, this is the sapphire we were told we were never going to be able to get. This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate in rarity. This is the rarest variety of sapphire in the world. It's coming up now. Star by. You just take a look at I that. I know, I know. Now, I love this string. <clears throat> Paparazzi oh. Sapphire historically comes from two key locations. The first being Sri Lanka, the, the jewel box of the Indian Ocean. And um, the other key location, and it's a newer location, is Tanzania. Um, almost all Paparazzi Sapphire you will see in the market will be heated. And it's industry standard. This has been heated. And that's absolutely fine. And the reason why I'm disclosing that is, A, because, well, why not? Uh, but B, if this was entirely natural, no heat, 
Padash Sapphire. The price point we would be seeing for this strand would be high four figures. Let me let me kind of let me kind of expand on that a bit. So um, uh, the favourite gemstone of pretty much all royals, and I'm talking about not just the royalty here in the UK but a, a, abroad as well, tends to be sapphires, and it's salon sapphires, and they're very and they're very. Um, your salon sapphires, which are very, um, uh, you know, very popular, you know, um, uh, the Duchess of Cambridge's engagement ring, Princess Diana's engagement ring, you know, absolutely beautiful stuff. Um, but more recently, mm. Princess Eugenie's engagement ring yeah. is a paparazzi sapphire that's unheated. That is worth uh, high, high tens of thousands, probably, you know, hundreds of thousands. It's just incredible. Um, <laughs> and I, I feel like I do need to disclose that because... When you see oh, look. natural paparazzi sapphire, you know it is. It, this is how we bought them, by the way. This is how we bought them as a parcel. Um, and it's important that we're being as open and honest as we can about this. We would have bought them as rough. And it's been to wear once. Now, occasionally... We will buy, how many do we have? Okay. So, yes, we've got a decent quantity. Okay. I, when we buy gemstone parcels like this, we get what's called a closeout deal. And we will basically buy everything that that vendor has of Paparadasha Sapphire. And we will buy all of it for this, this is not the whole parcel. This is not representative of the whole parcel. This is just the bit that we, the, the, the really, really good stuff. The other pieces that we have, they will be drilled. They'll be put into strands. They won't be anywhere near this quality, but this is what we've bought it for. It's this, and it's where you get the orange with the flashes of pink. It's where you get the pink with the flashes of orange. It's basically the color of sunset, sunrises. It's the color of your sunset songida uh, sapphire it is beautiful okay and it's the color of the lotus flower said to be the color of the lotus flower it is the rarest quality of sapphire you can get to have that for it to be called paparazzi sapphire it has to have both the pinks and the oranges in it which in this strand of course you can see 100 percent. it's not just orange it's not just pink it's both it's incredibly rare and it's just literally sitting there on the desk and look at it. It's exquisite, isn't it? Here's Princess Eugenie. Gosh, she looks as pleased as punch there, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> pleased as punch. Look at him clutching her finger. There it is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous ring. So... What you've got here, Paparazzo is an extremely rare variety of sapphire. In fact, it's the most rare. Um, thanks for that, Neri. That's okay. Most rare, most prized form of sapphire. It's also one of the most expensive gems in the world with prices similar to those of emeralds and rubies. It's also one of the hardest gems in the world. Second only to diamonds, it's nine on the Mohs scale. Um, the name Paparazzo derived from the um, Sinhalese uh, word Paparadashen. Pad, pad. Padmuradashan, which means lotus blossom, as the stone is a similar colour to the lotus blossom. Um, wow. That stone at the bottom there will be, will be yeah. almost definitely a natural Padmuradashan sapphire, and that will be worth tens of thousands of pounds, OK? Ours are not coated. They're not, um, they're not dyed. They are heated a little bit, and I would expect that, and I have to disclose that because the price is so good. I have these paparazzi sapphires. They're gorgeous. That screen doesn't do them justice, no. says Caroline. No. Caroline is one of our viewers who buys all sorts of wonderful things from us, mainly really unbelievable quality pearls. Um, oh, look at that. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. If this wasn't heated, we would be uh, a few grand away from our final price. What you are getting here today 
is a strand of Pappardasha sapphire with the most incredible color, with the oranges and the, and the beautiful pinks. Look at the stone, look at ours. Mm -hmm. Look at the stone, look at ours. Ours has got more pink in it, first of yeah, all. Yeah. Much more yeah. pink in it. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, that gem isn't moving, so it's a little bit unfair of me to say that, but yeah, ours has got more pink. Anyway, that to one side. We've got a, an all right quantity of this. Sabine, maker, maker in Lincolnshire. Samantha, Susan in Norfolk, maker in Yorkshire, maker in Kent, well done. Forty seconds and the price is going down. We're at two nine nine. I'm just going to do this. You do what you want, but I'm just going to do that. Olmec. 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 And I'm just going to do. I'm just going to do this as well. Again, do what you want with it, but I'm just going to do that. That's nice. That's nice. Ninety-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> the gem of royalty, the gem of of our international acclaim. Guess what? Not your price. It's not the price. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, dear. One minute clock. Here we go. Sabine, maker. Oh, gosh. Maker in Devon. Well done. Mark, what would you do with this? Would nothing. you do anything? Absolutely nothing. And I've not done anything. <laughs> it's you it's sat so on my funny. desk. It's nothing. It's sat on my desk. Yeah, it's just sat on my desk at the moment just to keep looking at it when I'm working. It's just beautiful. I've been what? waiting years and years and years to own Pad Pratch. And that's why I've been buying quartz. Paparazzi Quartz yeah, is beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. But, you know, it's the next best thing. But we can actually buy the real deal now. And it's... I reckon as well, this is a bit like your Sarite in the way that different times of the day you'll see different yeah. colours. Different yeah. angles you'll yeah. definitely see different colours. But different times of the day you'll see different colours. We've had some beautiful sunsets and sunrises recently. It's that. It's a celebration of that. Yeah, the sun is really lovely and low in the sky. It's that. It's that. Feel it's that vibe. Sabine's got two. Well done. 99.99. Not your deal. Here we go. They're all going to go. <clears throat> no way. 59.99. This is the price point it launched at last July. Last July. Oh, no. We've honoured it. Oh my gosh. Neary. Wayne Del Paso is going to... Be livid. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. He is going to be livid. Oh. I think Tom is Sabine's new best friend. Hey? I think Tom is Sabine's new best friend. I thought you friend. said I think Tom is Mr Bean's new oh. friend. <laughs> Mr Bean? <laughs> <laughs> Love Mr. Bean. Love a bit of rowing. Uh, right. Um, oh, my gosh. Look at everyone. Oh, amazing. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful... It's the colour of the inside of a pink grapefruit. It was my very first purchase from Gems TV. I love it. Fifty nine ninety nine. Is oh, hang on. What are you doing? I lo I have lots of paparazzi rings and earrings oh. from Gem TV. I adore it. Love Sharon. I feel like our faces <laughs> should be pixelated because this is criminal. This is yeah. absolutely ready. Fifty quid. Forty nine ninety nine. Just rip it off. Plaster. There you go. Forty nine ninety nine. Oh my gosh, Victoria, lowest ever price, a closeout deal. That is a closeout deal on a closeout deal. Closeout deal on a closeout. Samantha's got two, Devon's got two, Sabine's got three, Maker and Kent's got two, Maker in Norfolk, oh, sorry, Susan in Norfolk's got two. Well done. Absolutely tremendous. 
absolutely unbelievable. Well done, everyone. You're never going to forget that, are you? No, You're never no. going to forget that. If you were pushed, if I said, Mark, you have to make something with this, what would you do? I think <laughs> I would make simple, maybe five or six stone drop earrings. So I'd want, I just want to, I'd want to see the sparkle. Gorgeous. Rosary linking. Perfect. That'd be gorgeous. Just as much yeah, light yeah, as possible yeah. to get to yeah. this. That's what I'd want. That's what I want. Look at all these in baskets. My gosh, this is going absolutely crazy. Okay, we've literally got a minute to close it. That's it. Well done. We must get a couple of the rings from next door on the show just to put it next to it. That's a really good. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. a really good thought, actually. Yeah. I love Papadacha quartz. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. and the big, big carrot weights yeah. that you can do with that yeah. as well. Yeah. So impressive. Well done. 40 seconds and then <clears throat> and then uh, details are being taken off. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely gorgeous. Jan, Tracy, Pauline, Maker. This with your pearls, in between your jade, with your Olmec, you know, with your with your diamonds, with your white pearls. You know, it it oh, it's just amazing. I like Mark's idea, just, you know, a couple yeah. of stones in each earring. Keep it so yeah. delicate and simple. Oh, you don't want to mess with it, do you? Nope. The, the oh, rarest sorry. variety of sapphire. Just so maybe an inch and a half on a slider bracelet, that would be really Beautiful nice idea. Well. And then you can look at it all day. All day, yeah, and that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen any of Laura Binding's um, spiral rings. I'd love to see this oh, in a yeah. spiral ring. Yes, yeah. yes. Silver gold or rose gold, what do you reckon? Ooh. Silver, I think. Yeah, I think silver yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, I think silver too. What's um, the best thing to thread all these fine stones? I have bother with them. I have bo oh oh as in, as in you've got um, yeah. issues with threading them. Fire what line do you and wildfire. <laughs> okay. Because because some even the, the the stones right at the end, some of them are so fine that you can't actually get a needle through. But because the the, the structure of the fire line and wildfire use that as the needle and it'll go through all of your smaller gemstones. Lovely. And it's really strong and it'll, it'll be, and you, it's not heavy as if you're doing delicate little pieces like this. So your fire line or your wildfire. Gorgeous. Right, star by, is it time for this kit? Right, oh gosh, this is gonna go nuts. Star by, oh mate, you gotta stop doing that with your knees. Okay, star by, kit. <laughs> Okay. Was this a guest designer kit? I don't know. Hmm. I wonder who had it if it was. I'd love to have had this, you know. I had gone for gunmetal seed beads. Lovely idea. Mm. One. <laughs> this is gonna go nuts. Two. What is going on? Three, <coughs> four strands <coughs> of lavender jade. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that is proper, that's proper lavender jade, isn't it? It is, isn't it? That's proper. Proper job, as, as Guy Martin would say. Oh, it's a proper, proper job. It really is a proper... That is proper lavender, isn't it? Tom, has a guest designer had this before? Yeah. Right, you don't know who it was? Right, OK. OK. Pearls. So you'd like this as a kit, Mark? Yeah. I would. I don't. Need, I don't want the pearls. I would just. <laughs> I'll just have those and just do the most. I, I admire your most honesty. Dramatic. Just most dramatic. Kiss cross. Oh, Three sixty necklace. Imagine what that would look like. Or you could do little stations and have the pearls as substations. A I think. Three sixty kiss cross. Yeah. In lavender jade. Right. 
These are cute. Oh, Check that out. Cute. Aren't oh, they no, the most adorable? Or oh, forget me or not, as Pippa yep. calls them, my, my seven year old. Forget, forget me or not. Forget me or not. <laughs> she can tie her shoelaces now. Oh, I taught her last night. Oh, amazing. High fives all around oh, the living room. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got your little forget me, forget me nots. I love that oxidization, don't it's you, Mark? Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So cute. Adorable. <sighs> well done, Janice. Um, I have got, oh, Norma. Oh, it's a Susie kit. Thank you. Thank I've, you. I, I, I've got no idea, no idea what price this should be. Any, any clues, any ideas? You've got four strands of lavender. Chimney oh. <laughs> crickets, my mum used to say when I was little. Those would be, I know, Wendy. Yeah. Leaping lizards. They are stunning, aren't they? That is like, do you know, have you ever used, has anyone ever used that lavender pillow spray? You don't want to use too much of it, but literally it's like a, and it's just like, ah. Oh. And you end up just having the best night's sleep. Or if you've ever had an aroma, uh, uh, like an aromatherapy massage, and it's that smell of a spa, that kind of, oh, uplifting, that is relaxing. It is. You're right, actually. That's the like pearls we... are taking on the colour, aren't they? Oh, they're, yeah. they're superb. What's the... Oh. <laughs> Minute clock. This is going to sell out. I... Neary isn't telling us what price he's going to do with this. Really? How many? Hang on. How many do we have of this kit, Neri? Oh, okay. I think we, there are so many people. We're going to have to go straight there. We're going to have to go straight there. Four strands of lavender jade. Your pearls. And your five oxidized. I don't know how. We, we definitely can't be doing this. Lavender jade marla. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, okay, we've got 17 of this kit. It's all about to sell out. Why? Because this is the price. This is far too low. Alison, those lavender jays look... Uh, they do, yeah. Uh, yeah, they do. They're a beautiful blue. They really like angelite, are. They're angelite, aren't they? Yeah, they're like an angelite. Yeah, yeah. I would put these with the gorgeous uh, Mexican fluorite we had yesterday, that lavender fluorite yesterday. 17 available, not anymore. Okay, this is... Okay, just get it. Go, go, go. Well done. Individual split payments of 37.25. That is amazing. Samantha, Justin, Sandra, a boiler, maker, Susan, maker, maker, Susan, Julie, maker, Deborah, Janice, maker, maker. There's loads of you, billions of you with this in baskets. I love that. Mark, don't worry. We'll make you a kit like this, love. You saw how many people sent in um, on Sunday for my birthday show, all the kiss crosses. Uh, it was about 80% yes, kiss crosses. it was, yeah. Oh, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't see a single jadeite one. This would be, oh, this would be so beautiful. Single figures left. Well done. Oh. Amazing. Wow. I'm very jealous. Huge congratulations. And you know what? We keep focusing on this. Look at these beautiful little spaces. They're so lovely. Um, and, and what's so nice about them, I think, is that, that it's that whimsical, yeah. childlike yeah. flower shape. Do you know, you know, you ask a child to draw a flower, that's kind of what they would draw, isn't it? It's not too posed. It's not too contrite. It's beautiful. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's delicate. Seven chances remaining. Well, five chances left. No, oh my gosh, three, four chances. I think that may have sold out. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Well done, gorgeous, yeah, well done. Gosh. That is, that is just amazing. Look at that, beautiful. Right, after the break, masterclass. These kits are on pre-order, they are flying. They come with these clasps, which Mark, oh. Mark asked for these clasps. <laughs> Not to put with the leather, but for his Kumihimo <laughs> necklaces, which aren't even in the, which aren't even in the hour. Uh, it's just hilarious. We've got four mil leather, four mil leather. What's the other gauge? Two, I believe. Two, yeah. two mil leather and four mil leather. Yeah. And do you want to say it? 
Oh. Yeah, go on. Yeah, they're flying on pre-order. Go on. What, oh, what so else do we have? We've got two O pony bees. Single tubes. So you can choose the colours. The red, oh, the red is my favourite. It is so Japanese. Look at that look. Oh, thanks, Kerry. It's a dress. Yeah. Shoehorn myself into oh, that today. Uh, right. Don't, oh, there they are. Beautiful. Um, don't go anywhere. It's all coming up after the break. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Hello, crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker, and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favourite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products, and of course the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there, so come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft! Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Oh, they are strong. What's that? My glasses. Woo! <laughs> wow. There that you good, go. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Um, well, it shows that your eyesight isn't that great. It's kind of close up, is it? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, Masterclass. Yeah. I've finished the donut. I've not started mine oh, yet. Oh, it was absolutely delicious, Kinga. Thank you so much. It was the absolute best. Right, OK. Um, this masterclass is going to fly. All these kits are racing um, to a sellout on pre-order, so you're going to have to be ever so quick if you want to get them. They are great. Um, these kits are... Oh, they smell so nice. These kits are going to sell so quickly. Um, to start off with, you get your leather cord and you get your black, your black and brown in your finer gauge, which is your two mil. This isn't fine leather, by the way. This is really quite thick leather. Yeah. Um, it's just fine compared to the, the big gauges that we've got. So you've got your two mil thickness. This is great quality leather, by the way. It, 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 I'll, I'll be honest with you, much like when you buy a pair of leather shoes, or I don't know if you've got like a leather sofa or a bracelet, you know, whatever. It's quite stiff. It needs softening up. Well, it doesn't need softening up, but it will soften up over the, um, it will soften up over the weeks and um, months. It, 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 it's absolutely gorgeous. So you get the black and the brown. <laughs> this is where you get this incredible four millimeter leather cord in black and brown this is gorgeous stuff wow this That's is amazing we haven't, we've never done anything like this before no, the, thickest, so cool. the, the only four mil thread or cord that i bought around the past is the paracord ah yeah so okay if you, so if you if you're a paracorder um once you soften the, the leather you'll be able to do all of the designs that we've done with paracord you'll be able to do with this yeah. as well which would be really yeah. nice that's absolutely brilliant, yeah. isn't it? So there's so much you can do with this. Um, you then get these. Now, <laughs> funny story. Um, Mark, these are magnetic clasps. They mm. are made for kind of your kumihimo, really, yes, aren't they? Absolutely. They are absolutely so, brilliant. So um, the, these are in the leather kits. If you want to, you can do multi-strand leather bracelets or necklaces and you insert them. You can get four pieces of your four mil Okay. Leather in each of these torpedoes. I think they call them torpedoes. We used yes. to call them torpedoes yes, we did, in the yeah. past. Um, but, but as soon as I saw these, I thought, oh, at last, they are the perfect, perfect finishing for your Kumihimo. So if you can see, this has got paracord running through it. And I had two oh, inches gosh, of paracord yes. with a clasp at the end. Yeah. So I, as soon as I saw these, I cut off that, and we don't, oh, that, we don't want that anymore. Savage. And then you just pop. I put um, three little drops of glue in the base. Yeah. And then just pop that in, give it a little squidge, and you know the glue that uh, that, that um, bonds in seconds. I use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is just the best, and I've always struggled because my mum couldn't wear kumihimo because I I couldn't do it apart from magnetic. Yeah. Um, but this should have loved these. They're just yeah. amazing. So you, the fact that you've got this now, this magnetic, you can use these as bracelets and wrap I, around and do all sorts of things. Don't you think what's so nice about the, that particular class with that particular piece, you know, with the Kumihimo braid, mm, is it doesn't yeah. interrupt the line of it at all. That's right. Whereas the toggle absolutely. is round and it's got a straight line and it's this, that and the yeah. other. Whereas yeah. that is, so it's, it's just done, so, um, it, it flows. Yeah. So as I said, this is got, uh, this is paracord with chenille. This is one of my, a really nice little technique. Yeah. Um, but all of the um, Kumihimo braids that I bring to wear that I bead with, um, yeah, I think these, these are all chenille I've used on here. But the, if you do an eight warp Kumihimo braid with beads, mm. these are perfect. Yeah. So, so I can see people using the leather and then using these and, and dismantling their, their Kumihimo pieces at home and um, re-popping the magnetics on again, because they're just the best. Awesome stuff. They're really cool. 30 second clock to graphics. By the way, um, <clears throat> we're looking at about a quarter of the stock that's already gone on pre-order. They are going to be extraordinarily oh. popular. I like these kits because you've, you've, they're, they're not, oh, apart from the pinky pink, 
everything else you can use for men's, for gents. Oh, I don't know. My ladies, husband would love so. to oh, would he? Pink. Oh, right. he loves pink. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, I think you're absolutely right. These are going to make the most beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at these, especially these formal ones. Mm. And I'm looking and I'm thinking they'd make great straps for like they would. bags. They would actually. For like yeah, yeah. anything where you need a bit more, yep. a bit more uh, strength. Um, I would absolutely use these for. Um, so I've, I've oh, used that's I've used this. Lovely. This is graphics this. alive. Go. Yeah, so I've I've macrameed over the. That's over the so top. nice. And we've got these beads coming up later. So the um, the the tan and the green beads I macrameed onto the bracelet, and then you can imagine there's quite big holes in these beads. So then I added another piece of cord and filled in the gaps with the black beads. So the three of them. They're just. What's the clasp on that, Mark? I found this in my stash. Do you remember we used to do these a long time ago? They're the sort of the, the nautical. Yeah. Do you remember these? So that's, that's just the. And have you made wires. that? Have you made those ends with wire? I'm going to show you how to do those. Oh, I was going to say they're really yes. lovely. In the, um, if I bring the necklace across. This I like is, those. So this is um, this is the necklace I made by. Is cutting. that wire though? This is wire. One Gosh, mil wire. They look like yeah. they're machine made. Yeah. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really really simple. Ooh. Really really simple. So I've cut the I've cut the thicker cord into sections. Made these little cord endings, and um, yeah, little, little bit. That's really so that's nice. That's a really long necklace, so again, and that that's, wouldn't that's work that as well with really. the thinner leather, would it? Because it would be too bendy, I think. Yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? but for the, but the, for the thick, it, it's brilliant. And you could do Doesn't one piece. Cool? You could do one piece and then bead all around for a bracelet. You can do all sorts of things with it. How would really. you do? Yeah. If you used it as a core. Yep. What could you with a 15 -0, Could you make like a little carrier to go around it, like a you little could, sleeve, actually, a little belt? Yeah, you can do that. No, with that, with the do you remember the technique we did in the first hour? Yes, with the yes. Drop, do that and make little coats. Do that with bigger outside. beads, maybe, and yeah. it would go or, around. Or the chenille. Use it as a core for your chenille, as ah, we did with the power cord yes. earlier. Yeah. How lovely would that be? What's so nice about the four mil gauge is it gives you quite, it gives you real rigidity. <laughs> Uh, it will soft over. It will yeah, soften over yeah. over time, but it is quite because it's four mil. That's really quite rigid. You've you know, um, do take that into account. Mm. Um, right. I don't know. Uh, oh gosh, there's so many I've people no there. There's so many people there. Um, oh yes, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did promise you under twenty five pounds, didn't we? Minute clock. Minute clock. Here we go. Right. Okay. Loads of you there. Have we got lengths. So we got lengths for the for the leather. Oh yeah, that's a good call. I can't remember. Five That's meters it, yeah. in the two mil. Yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah. Okay, so two and a so half. 15 meters altogether. 15 meters altogether, yeah. <laughs> wow. Two and a half meters, two and a half meters, five meters, five meters. There you go. That's brilliant. There you go, perfect. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a lot. It's a lot of leather. And, but, and I did check as well. It's not like that kind of um, rolled leather. It's no, solid, no. isn't it? Yeah. It's not hollow. It's completely no. solid. So it's really, really great quality stuff you've got here. Um, 15 seconds, and then the price point's going to come in. Um, this, is, this is crazy. Um, go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Let's, let's, yeah, I do want to show that, but let's hang on showing, hang off on showing that until we bring the price point in. Have a look at this. This is amazing. $21.99. Ooh, wow. Wow. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. What's that face for, Mark? What's the face? That's a silly face. <laughs> Just thinking aloud. Just thinking aloud. Well, I thought. Oh yeah. my gosh! As it's new, well, can we do? Do you that, want the moon or? on a stick as well today, <laughs> um, uh, Mark? Is he going to do it? <laughs> Honestly, why doesn't Sorry. that work? If I give him the look, Mark's clock. <laughs> it doesn't work when I give him the look. Can it be lime green, tennis, tennis ball green? Oh, yeah. tennis ball green! I love yeah. it. Gorgeous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. One look and he gets he gets what he wants. No, oh, no, that's just that's all fine. Whatever. Oh. I would buy these kits just for those clasps. I have to say. I know you would. <laughs> I've been waiting for these for years. Yeah. So you've got um, an eight an eight stranded Kumahimo braid that goes beautifully into this. Your yes. paracord should be paracord. Yeah. Four pieces of your paracord. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, fifteen seconds and then your price point's going to come in. Neary, how many of these? How many of these kits did we make? 
Whoa, Good. big quantity. I reckon that's one of the biggest quantity kits we've ever done. We've got like... Yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Just take it. Here we go. Enjoy. 19.99. There you go. Well done. Now look at this. Look at this slide here. Black round leather cord, two mil, which is what this is. Five, no, one five meter. That's five meters yep. of that for eight pounds yeah. thirty. Oh. Oh, so here you've got, you've got your five meter. Uh, sorry, here you've got your t two mil and you've got your four mil as well, and your clasps mm. times two. That's absolutely incredible. 19, yeah. that is such good value, isn't it? That's amazing, well so done. So as I said, I would use the, your thicker gauge um, braid. If I bring one of these necklaces, let's, let's bring this one over. If I bring this one over here. So this, this necklace here, this is chenille, which I've, which I've shown on the show. And this has got four millimeter paracord running through it. So if you want to incorporate your seed beading, so your, any of your peyote techniques, if you want to do your right angled weaves, if you want to do your cubit right angles, your chenille, which is absolutely perfect for, use the four mil as your core and then use the clasps to finish off as we've done here. So, so if, you don't, if you feel that the four mil is a bit too thick for your designs or use it to hang your pendants off of, you can do all sorts of things with it, then use them in, and as your, um, your hidden absolutely. cord underneath, without a doubt. Absolutely. You see, this is, this is, there are a multitude of different ways in which you can use the leathers, both the leathers, the clasps. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think, I think as well, it's, it's, it's kind of important to, it's important to kind of note as well that, you know, you know, your leather cord here, this is top quality leather. It, obviously, it's a byproduct of the, of the kind of beef industry. Let's, let's, you know, just remind ourselves of that as well. It is absolutely amazing quality. It's got no faults in it. You know, you get those anomalies sometimes. It's absolutely beautiful quality that you're going to be getting. Um, well done. You've got 20 seconds. And uh, then we're taking the details away just purely because of time, because it's quarter past now. We want to give Mark plenty of demo time. Um, and uh, we've, got, we've got two more kits to bring you as well. Um, so well done, everyone. Go gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kits. I know which is going to be the most there. popular. I know which is going to be the most popular. And, and I'll tell you what, which my favourite is. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well done, everyone. OK. <laughs> which one are we going to do now? Yeah. OK. Is this one going to be the most popular or is this one your... I think so. Yeah. Is this your favourite? No. Oh! No. Is that your favourite? Because these are uncoated. Oh! They are, they are, they're natural. Hello. And they are so beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, let's do the blue and purple. Oh, gosh, this is going to be, this is going to be the most popular. Whenever we bring you blue and purple, um, it was with you the other day, Mark, we had a blue yes, and purple right. kit. Yes. There you go. Always yeah. a popular, look, billions have gone already. There you go. Two oh, more, four mil. Gosh, that's just lovely. And yes, it does look very solid. It does look quite stiff. It is quite kind of, it is quite solid in colour. But then again, you imagine a pair of leather shoes when you first buy them. They look stiff. Yeah. They look solid. The more you wear them, the better they look, the better they feel, the softer they get. The more, I don't want to say battered, but, but the more worn they get, the better they are. And that's exactly how this material will react because it's the same material as leather. Gorgeous, well done. And then this lovely kind of almost metallic-y pearlized uh, blue as well, which is absolutely beautiful. It smells amazing as well, just to let you know. It smells like a lovely tack shop. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, beautiful, well done. 25 seconds and the price point's going to come in. This might actually sell out before we bring the price point on, actually. There are so many people coming through. Those clasps are so beautiful and uninterrupted jewellery. That's what's so nice. We haven't gone, here's a clunky clasp. You know, it's just, it's just lovely. Uninterrupted, beautiful, well done. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea, Mark. Yeah, you should, you should. L listen to this, what did, what did Ollie just say to you? He said, Mark, you could join them all together, couldn't you? So you could have a, yeah. <laughs> That's really clever. Oh, hello. So that make, actually makes a feature of them, don't do it? Do the other one as well. Do the other one as well. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Is it not going to work? Oh, there we go. Oh, that would have been there embarrassing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's like a snake. And they're really strong as well, these, these yeah. clasps. Yeah. 
Yeah, love well, that. Yeah. Thank you, Ollie. Love that from you. Yeah. 20 quid. Amazing. There you go. 1999. Amazing idea. He's brilliant, isn't he? Well done, everybody. Loads of people coming through. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, Mark, here's a question for you. And I don't, yes. this might, this is probably is going to be a no. Mm -hmm. Or, a, or an I don't know, but that's okay if it is. It doesn't matter. Mm. It's live. Um, could you stitch through this? I tried, and I couldn't do it. Yeah. I even tried with a T pin. Did, well, I was going to say yeah. it needs to be something incredibly yeah, strong. But I couldn't. Steel. I couldn't get it through with a T pin. It's such good quality leather. It's so solid. Yeah. I mean, you might if you've got a fine drill on your Dremel, you might be able to use that. But I couldn't do it mm. manually, even with a T pin. It's really quality, high quality. I think as level. well with if you did try to do it with your Dremel, it would get very hot as well, mm. wouldn't it? Yes. You'd be. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it just, just, but then you can just, sew around it. You can do things around it and just use well, it as a, as a core. You've shown that yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just I've seen them where you stitch through. Where have I seen that? I'm sure I've seen it where you stitch through things to create right. an edge. But anyway, um, 1999. Well done, everyone. That's for your purple and blue wow. kit. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Um, right. I love this. Mark, I, I hadn't realised this with this kit, but this is, yeah, this is going to fly for, the, for yeah. the reason you spoke about. So you've got your pink leather cord in your two mil and your four mil. Gorgeous. You've got your two loads of clasps. Amazing. But this leather cord, as Mark says, is yeah. uncoated, un, un kind of dyed. Well, no, yeah. it might be dyed, but it's uncoated. So it's got that texture. That is absolutely beautiful, Mark. I love this. It's so rustic, isn't it? I love this. And, it, and it's softer as well. I than love the, that. Than the, than the case oh, those ones. earrings are gorgeous, Mark. Look lovely. at this. Look at this beautiful bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This. So I've, learnt, I've just learnt this technique yesterday, this plaiting. With this. Things. I've never done it before. But because of the pony bees we've got coming up, they're perfect. And so you, you, it's a child's plait, but every time you do a move, you add a bead and you pop in a bead every time. And uh, it's, just, it's just gorgeous. Love this. And the combination of mixed, though that's a proper mixed media yeah. piece, isn't it? And it just looks great. Do you remember this, the goddess bracelet? I do, do remember? remember. Gosh, that's one of my yeah. favourite designs. This is, so this is, this is the goddess bracelet, and I've just used a little loop and toggle. That's stunning. I love these. Love these. Ollie, I can imagine you wearing that. That is such a lovely piece of jewellery. <sighs> that's so, oh gosh, look at that yeah. lovely, um, yeah. look at that lovely eyelet you've made there as well. Yeah. It's That's a, it's, so it's really nice, Mark. I think because it's not coated, it's got it's, it's slightly softer, and it's got yeah, a bit of a yeah, but it's got yeah. a bit of a. They call it bronze. I think it's known. As, yeah, it's called bronze. It's got a it? little bit more of a rougher yeah. finish on it. Yes, so if yeah. you do use that kind of uh, eyelet uh, mm. design, it's um, it, yes. not that it's going to stick, but but it's but, but it's got a little bit mm. more t a little bit more purchase. Um, it, it's just <laughs> it's, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful quality. It's got a slight ombre look because it sort of changes colour as you... Can you see on the, yeah. on the reel, you've got different colours and different tones. I love that. It's lovely. Yeah, you can dye it with your alcohol ink and if you, can you want use, to. You, or you can use your Sharpie pens to colour it in. Yeah. What? Oh, lovely. This... Oh. OK, we're going to go even lower with this one. Here we go, oh. everyone. Enjoy. Nice. OK, 30 seconds. Let's get that price point down. Those earrings are so simple. How long did it take you to make those earrings, Mark? Five minutes. <laughs> I made them in the... Um, I love this, the, the, the black and the red look. Look at that. <laughs> that looks really yeah. nice. Of course, you got the black in the first kit, didn't yeah. you? Yeah that, yeah, that looks really nice. Those pony beads. Look. There's a... So um, lovely. Oh! Another, another goddess bracelet, look. Using the red this and black. This goddess design is so nice. It's so easy with these beads as well. You did a DVD so on it years uh, ago, didn't you? I've never done this with goddess. Have you not? No, I've never demoed it. Such a shame. Kind of Such a great design. Yeah. It's got that lovely kind of almost corsetry going through it. It's um, kind of yeah. lace yeah. work. And then the going wrap around. So we've got all these. We've oh these gosh, that's these. a popular design. Yeah. yeah. These wrap around bracelets are so popular. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? So nice. Yeah, look at them and they all move yeah. as well. That's beautiful. 17.99. There you go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful kits. Now, wow. we do have the pony beads, which are the two, two, O's. two O seed beads coming up. We didn't put them in the kits because, we, well, we just well we just didn't. I don't think we've got the quantities, the same no, quantities of the, the pony beads as we right. do in the yeah. kits. Yeah. 
So we're going to be bringing you the pony beads separately. Just a warning when they come. Uh, they're not on pre-order, are they, Neary? No. Uh, good. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad the pony beads aren't on pre-order um, because if they were on pre-order, they would just sell out. But what we will do is whilst Mark is demoing, we will put um, we will put the pony beads on screen and you can just come through and get them. So um, fantastic. Should we get some of them out to show, Neary? What do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, let's get some of them out to yeah. show. Is that is that OK, Kinga? Yeah. So these are, they're, um, so pony beads are this, this shape and size, but they're in acrylic and plastic. Ours are glass. OK. So ours are sort of the next level, if you like. And they don't call them, they, they don't call, it's strange, they call them Matubos, which is a, a bizarre name. So okay. they call them Matubos or two O's, but they're not as large that there's two in an inch. Mm. It's strange. This is the only size that doesn't... Uh, it doesn't, is it doesn't really correlate yeah. towards the size. Yeah. Otherwise, they'd be enormous if they were two in an inch. I suppose they would be. Well, yeah, they would be gigantic, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't they? It's kind of yeah. two in a bit, I suppose. Yeah. Or three in a bit, maybe. Um, gorgeous. This kit's about to sell out, just to warn you. Loads in baskets. Oh, I'm not surprised. 17 99 That is absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. Uh, go, 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 go. Just awesome. Look at everyone coming through to get these. This is so lovely. I love these beads so much. Yeah, they are lovely. Um, <laughs> it must be so nice for you as well, Mark, to occasionally mm. um, <laughs> use beads which are very large. I know you love your 15 O's, but with the best well, I mean, go from, go from 15 O's that I was working <laughs> with on Sunday yeah. to two O's or my two bows today. It's, it's fascinating. It, it's no, it's, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, I love these. <laughs> it it's a nice break, isn't it? It's like um, I... I try, and, um, I try and make most of my meals at home from scratch. Mm. And occasionally, when you have a takeaway, it's like, oh, my gosh, it's so much easier. It's just so lovely. Um, OK, so what we'll do... This, is, this isn't a bundle, by the way. They're all individuals. They've never been sold separately before. They've always OK. Been. I think I've bought them to wear twice in bundles. Oh so um, this will be So we've got black. We've got this kind of hot purpley pink. Pink. Uh, gosh, we've got... I don't know what colour that is. Chalk laurel, la, la, lazuri, lazur, something. Uh, blue, red, green, this lovely kind of uh, yellowy tone so and turquoise. All of those are going to be coming to wear separately, just to let you know. We'll give you a quick taste of what we're going to do. Here's the black ones. Oh, these are going to sell in seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love them, love them. Matubo Jet Rembrandt. Was it the Rembrandts who sang the Friends song? it was wasn't it what's he doing this is wait oh okay how ah oh. do you know neary by the end of the show mark is, mark is not going to be talking to you <laughs> oh gosh what does that mean i don't know what that means i oh oh okay i've got no <laughs> I literally feel like I need to get a dictionary out sometimes. Yeah. Do you feel like that, Michael? Michael's like young, <laughs> really young. Um, okay, so this is, oh. Oh my God, that's amazing. 5.49. Thank you, Tom, that's oh, brilliant. Gosh, this is that's amazing. Sweet. Oh, oh, um, well done. That's brilliant. Yeah, every penny off. That really is amazing. Thank you so much. That, yeah, they're brill. Oh. They're all going to be roughly the same. Probably. They're amazing. And oh, these are Czech glass as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So, so these aren't your, um, as I said, your pony beads tend to be the acrylic and plastic. Yeah, these are crystal. So these are gorgeous. Mark, what are you right. going to demo? We will be bringing these to air, so please don't blame me if you miss out. They are all going to go. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do the um, oh yeah the little cord ending. Yes. Because I think once you learn this little technique here, you don't need to um, have specific um, cones and things. Do it's all it's all done, and it's so so easy. And I know that these were on a show recently, the um, bail making pliers. I think Alison had them. A week ago, something like that, I think. So th this this is all you need. Yep. So you need your your bail making pliers, and then you'll need. I've got all three colours on here that Kinga kindly got for me. You'll need one millimetre gauge wire. 
say, and that is all you need. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, I'm going to use this purple as it came to hand, is you need to decide on the length of your wire. And I did four centimetre sections. Now you can either use your flush cutter pliers, which I believe Alison also brought to air last week. They go through the leather corner yeah, nicely. Yeah, really. Or I found these um, cord cutters as well that, that go th that oh, cut through. Oh, they are very sharp. Love them. They're Love beautiful, aren't they? Cutters. Yeah, mm. so I, I was using those. So all you need to do is, is cut off a piece of your cord and then watch which colour to go, gold or silver? Ah, uh, gold. gold. Gold, okay. You can use 0.8, but, but I think one millimetre is, is the perfect length because it's, it's definitely stronger. So let's go in, cut, so cut a length off of your wire. So you probably want a piece of about eight inches long, okay, so not a huge amount of wire. And then I just discovered that you have your six bail making sections on here. So one, two, so if you go from smallest to largest, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and you want number three. So one, two, three is the perfect diameter for your coil. So what you're going to do is, is depending on if you're left or right handed, I'm, I'm right handed, so I hold this in my left hand. And you can see there's a gap across the mandrels here. Place the wire over the gap, and I hold the short piece of wire on mandrel number four. So you're holding it with your thumb, and then you've, you're, you're, you're taking the wire across the gap. And then all you're going to do is, is butt the wire up against the next larger mandrel, and you're going to wrap six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's five, mm -hmm. and then six. Okay, so you've got your coil. Okay, so you've got your coil section. And then you'll notice that one piece of wire, because it was following the curve, curves away. So that piece that curves away cut just before it curves away. Gives you a nice neat finish. And then your long piece here, which should be straight because that's the piece you are holding, the, the, holding the piece over the gap. You need to cut to about a centimetre. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a little tail and then you've got your finished coil. So then you need your round nose pliers and we're just going to go to the end and you're going to curl back to make a, a, a loop. Okay, so we're just going to take and we're going to curl all the way over. So you can see we've got a curled loop, but it's on one side at the moment. It's like an, an open tin. Yeah. Then with your flat nose pliers, you're just going to straighten it nice and tight. Okay, so go in and, and give it a strength. So again, it looks, like, it looks like an open tin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold that little loop in our pliers and we're going to do a wrist action where we're going to hold it nice and tight and we're going to drag it across into the center. Okay, so you're going to hold it in your pliers and yeah. you're going to drag into the center. So you can see now that it's in the center of your coil. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. okay. So that's going to be the, the attachment for your jump ring or your, your clasp, yeah. whatever you're going to use. Fantastic. Okay. Now there are two ways of attaching this to your, so as you can see, it fits perfectly on your, yes. on your cord. Okay. So you can either, what I did was I, I got the glue that's super and I put one drop on a little bag, um, one of the grip seal bags that you get your findings in. And then I used a cocktail stick just to put a little dob on the top and a little dob on the bottom. And then all you do then is you just squeeze this on and give it a twist. Yes. Okay, so you've got that nice, neat. Or if you don't want to use the glue, what you can do is you see this last coil, well, the first part of the open coil. Uh -huh. What you would do is you'd take your pliers and all you would do is you'd go in and just squidge that last coil into the core. So you can see I've pinched it ever so slightly and it's trapped it within that wire and that's, that's perfectly secure and safe. So if you don't want to see that little squidge, use a tiny dab of glue top and bottom. If you don't mind seeing that, then just use your, um, your little squidger in. So if I show you the completed necklace, okay, so it, what I did is I made all the coils first, which is probably the time consuming piece. Yeah. And then all I've done then is using 0.6 wire. So that's the coil both ending and then I've made little rosary links 
and then I've used some of the the, the, the two O's. So these are on screen yeah. now, Mark. Oh, they're the ones on screen. Um, we've there got they are. less yeah. less yeah. available of these than we do right. of the um, black ones. They, they are they are um, flying at five pounds forty nine. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, what I think works so well about what mm. you've made is they is they're almost exactly the same diameter width, as they are, as, which as works so well. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's absolutely lovely. And then, as I said, you can, as I said, I alternated the colours. You can go black and blue, you can go black and pink, you can go all sorts of variations. And that's using, I mean, you're going to have so much leather left just for making those little, those little don't, couple of sections. But don't you think that they look like little, um, the way that coil looks like the bottom of a light bulb? Oh, yes, yes. They're really <laughs> cute, aren't they? They're really <laughs> lovely. Um, they're, so they're lovely yes, they are. Right yeah. They are definitely mechanics, but they're, but they're such lovely features. They're really lovely. They look machine made. Yeah. And if you want to, if you've, if you've got your bail making pliers, the, I think it will probably be the smallest of the, of the six. Yeah, if we're you did, the, if find you did some. the same with the wire, you can use your two mil wire, um, leather if you wanted to as well and have a finer. Oh, uh, nice. So bail making pliers. Six step bail making yeah. pliers. Six yeah. step, six step, yeah. We've done the single ones before. Yeah. Uh, we, we have done these, um, as you say, with Alison, the yeah. other... Um, uh, yeah, I think Alison relaunched them. They're probably sold out. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know. There was the, she had a tool hour, I think. Yeah. Oh, gosh, wow. But they're, they're amazing. They're amazing. If, ever, if ever you see these online or online or on the show, grab them. Grab them. I think they're about twenty four ninety nine something like that. But, um, no, definitely grab those. Gorgeous. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Did you want me to... Um, Show you another little demo, or uh, well, why you can not? show another tube of beads while I am. Um, okay, go on then. So, which colour? Pinky, pinky, pink. Yeah, pink with the red crackle going. I like that. Pink and red go so well together, don't they? Look at that with your red crackle. Crackle, <laughs> crackerjack, gorgeous. Do you know what that looks? <laughs> <laughs> Look, these with the uh, turquoise look really nice, don't they? Really nice with the turquoise. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, loads of people coming through. Well done, everyone. Um, Sabine, Donna, Jeanette, Catherine, Barbara, Sharon, Maker. Well done to you. Lots and lots of people coming through. That's great. Well done, everyone, at £5.49. What do you want to show? It's lovely. I'll show you how to do those earrings. Oh yes, please. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Okay, oh. as I said, it's a quick, it's a quick five-minute make if you've got any of your bees left over. So I've taken a piece of the finer gauge leather, and you can nice. you, you need a piece. I don't know. This this is good for if you've got any leftovers. So this is just probably about eight inches yeah. in length. Okay. Then you need your small macrame board, and then I've got a T pin. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to fold the cord in half. Place. Let's go down here. Place the T-pin in, and then I'm going to put the two cords in one of the slots at the bottom. So use an old macrame board that you've used for a while rather than a brand new one, because obviously the slots are gonna get opened up quite quickly. And then you will need some S-long or some yep. nylon cord. So I've got um, perfect color here. I've got a 0.9. You don't have to Ooh, use 0.9, nice. but, but I love any, any excuse to use 0.9. And again, you only need about 12 inches, something like that, because all we're going to do is tie three square knots. Okay, so you feed your cord underneath the leather, bring the two ends up so they meet. Yep. And then we're just going to tie three full square knots. So feed that underneath. And you just yep. want to leave a loop at the top long enough <sighs> Gosh, to pop in, to pop in your so shepherd's nice. hook or your jump ring, okay? And because you've got um, Eslon on leather, the, the knots hold so well. Mm. There's, no, there's no worrying about the knots coming undone. So we'll just do this, that's two. And then we'll do the, th the three. And then, have you still got the black beads there? Yeah, can I have 10 from one of them? Of this one? Yeah. Go on. I've got my tubes in my bag. I don't want to have to get off the desk again. I'll, two, I'll replace them four, as soon as I can. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, so that's Two, your three full square knots. Six. And all you should take it off your board. Two, four, six, eight. Gee, where's that? Lost the ability that's to fine, count. No, that's fine. <laughs> I know. Look at what Mark's achieved, and I can't count to ten. All right. Do you know what, you guys? Oh, okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our eslon. So I won't. I won't get the flame out. But you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave a little tuft, and I'm going to melt that with a, a cigarette with a cigarette lighter. But I won't. I won't get it out again. Uh -huh. Yes, I will. I've got it out. No, I won't. So yes, any, I will. Any, no, I won't. Any, any, any excuse. So I've cut the eslon, leaving a, only about a millimeter, two millimeter, and I'm just going to melt the edge and just, okay, then mold it in, then flip it over, leave a little tuft, and then just going to go in and melt. Always remember to use the blue part of the flame because it won't discolor your cord. And then you've got your two ends to start beading, okay? So first thing you need to do is just cut to a point Either, either piece of your cord. And then we're going to pop on our beads. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to have five. You can put as many as you like on, but like five is a nice weighty number. Yeah. So we're just going to thread those on. So one, two, three. The sign would be great to, for zip pulls and Four. bag charms. Once again, Mark, you've nailed oh, it, yes. Elaine in the Highlands. You, thank you, Elaine. And then we're going to pop five on the other side. So one, two, three. I like the black ones because they look like nuts. Don't they? Because they're slightly hexagonal. They've got six. Oh, fences. so I thought you meant like um, hazelnuts or oh, no, peanuts. No, no, no. Okay. Nuts, nuts and bolt nuts. Yeah, they do, yeah. don't they? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, then you feed them up to the top. Okay, near, yeah. the, near, near the top. And then you need to decide on the length you want your overall earring to be. Yeah. So two inches maybe say, slightly yeah. over. And I'm just going to go in Good. and cut and then I was trying to think how to stop the beads from yeah, falling off on, I'm, so I'm what I so what I did this. is using your flat nose pliers oh, I know you're just going to go in and you're just going to squeeze as hard as you can and you can see that the leather is now flattened yeah it fans out I'm going it? to do the Very same cool. on the other side give it a good old squidge a couple of times well, that's definitely fanned out that side okay and then when you slide your beads down it can only go so far and yeah. it stops, okay? So nice. I did that. There we go. Yeah, so it stops it. If you want that extra security, just back down a little bit. And just where the flat back. starts, just put it again, a little dab of glue. Put them to the edge. And then I don't like that little edge. So I'm just going to go in just a tiny little bit. Oh, Mark. Like so. And then what, and what I've done then is I'm a massive um, fan of the pens that aren't blunt you know the ones I'm talking about oh yeah the sharp ones so if I bring these these over here what I did is once you've cut through you get exposed ends so I've gone in with my marker pens and I've just colored in the ends yeah very so it cool ends black so underneath the last bead there's just a tiny dab of glue which again is that added security there's a really nice way if you've got beads left or you've got an odd piece of wire of your nice leather one, left yeah and then all you do then what I did for these is I popped on a jump ring. If I flip these over, is a jump ring, and then I fed the jump ring through the shepherd's hook and Gorgeous. through the earring as well. So, um, yeah, there is, and you can have that as a tassel on the end of a necklace. So, yeah. so you could have one piece of your thicker leather with just one tassel <clears> hanging in the centre. Also, um, just just thinking as well. Um, yeah. My kids have got um, their school coats, and everybody wears the same school coat. And a good way to uh. kind of make sure that you know which school coat is yours is through the zip, put one of these or something, so they always uh. know which one their school That's coat is. It makes it easier to do your yeah, zips up as well. But yeah, yeah especially if Brilliant you've got gloves idea. on. Um, my daughter would love those earrings. I hope you don't mind, Mark, if I take your design. Of course it says not. Bernadette. Absolutely not. No, oh. they're great fun. They're really they're quite boho as well. Aren't they're they? really boho. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're ace. Let's do the turquoise. Oh, it's the one that's in those earrings. In these, yeah. Or is it this one? Oh, it must be this one. Yeah, yeah, Amazonite this colour. Amazonite, yeah. yes. So I beautiful see. colour. This. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Gorgeous colour, dark travertine. Travertine, oh. yeah, there we go. Yes, oh, yes. I think yeah. you're right, actually, Ollie. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of boho, but if a celebrity was at a, a festival. Yeah. What? Sold out, gone. Well done. Let's do the blue ones. <laughs> yeah, I can't even know, slumming it in a pair of 
designer cut off uh, jeans and um, some hunter wellies. There we go. <laughs> so what I did with this one, look, I used the thinner, oh, I, like the thinner. I took three pieces, I joined them together with a bit of square knot macrame at the end, and then I plaited. So what I did, I, I put on 25 beads of one color on one cord, 25 of the second, oh. and the, so we kept them separate. And then you'll, you'll see when you do your plaiting, you get this alternate pattern all the way around. And then I've, um, then at the end, I finished off with the macrame. So I made the loop at the beginning to start. And then at the end, I did oh. exactly what I did with the earrings just to Cute. finish off. And you got a little slider. They've sold out. And you can wear that as a multi wrap bracelet as well. Which ones are they, uh, Neary? Yeah, oh, this one. Those. These are lovely. I think you yeah. got these ones as well, Mark, yeah. judging by your reaction to these. Well, they go on. so well. That's the one with the um, beautiful. Oh, with the yes, that's a goddess. Cord. Yeah. Look at this with the goddess bracelet. Oh, it's such a nice design. It's so nice to be able to use leather with beads. Yes. Because our, our gemstones, the, hills are too, the holes are too fine. And even with a 2-0, sometimes the holes aren't big. With a 6-0, the that's... holes aren't big enough. But with, with these, they're, they're ace. They're lovely. Love that. Absolutely love that's that That's a brilliant me, price as well. Yeah, 549 about to sell out. Well done. Still got some of the hot pink ones left if you want to add those onto your order. So it's such a lovely ending on those. Mm, yeah, it keeps the naturalness of it, doesn't it? It, it totally so, does, yeah. No, no metal used at all. Yeah, so it's nice, fine. isn't it? Yes. The temptation would be to put loads of, you know, kind of crimps on the end mm. or, you know, whatever it might be, but no, no metal at all. That's so lovely. Gorgeous, that one's pretty much gone. Which one? Oh, hot pink, this one. Pink with red. Pink with red, already done that one, but yeah, there you are. Have we done the others as well? Gone through all of them, they've all basically sold out. Wow. Is the red gone? Because that was, I love that red. That is so... Oh, one one left. pack <laughs> left of the red with the white crackle going through it. Do you remember we did those um, polymer um, slices? The vinyl ones? The vinyl, yeah. Do you remember um, those? And they look like... Heshies? Heshies. And they, yeah. and they look like... Um, chips that you get on a um, casino table. Yes. These, these remind me of them as well. Yes, yeah. they are like roulette chips, aren't they? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Um, how do you do the goddess bracelet? Oh. Um, I'm just trying to think, I've got a show coming up. Okay, so our show on Sunday the 26th, I can do the goddess bracelet our on there. Our next show the together. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. So Sunday the 26th, I'll yeah. do the Goddess Bracelet on that show. I would love to see that yeah. again, Mark. Yeah. I really would. It's one of my favourite designs. Yeah. <clears throat> Lovely. Right, Star By, what is it? Yeah. Okay, Star By, we don't know what we're doing, but it's going to be one of these two. Right, Star By. Purple. Blue. Lovely. Yep. So they are so oh gosh, they're cold. Where have they just right. come from? The fridge. It's meant to be fire agate, it's meant to be hot. Oh, <laughs> gee whiz, look at that. I know, they're incredible. Oh my gosh, that's so Lovely. cool. Um, it's like window opal. Yeah. I can't tell you anything about it. Yes, you can. Go but on. Go on, Mark. Again in June. Yeah, go on. Um, I've been in cahoots with Wayne and Georgia, and I'm, I'm bringing to it a never seen before agate. We've never had it on the show before. And the reason I can't tell you about it is because I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But do you, do you remember Luna Lace? Laguna Lace? Better than Luna Lace. Shush. Better than Luna Lace. There's it's nothing better than that. Incredible, yeah. Seriously, better. Laguna yeah. Lace was probably, we had it twice. Yeah. Well, in, in fact, no, we launched it once. We had one strand which came back in stock with like three in. That was it, gone. And I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to use my phone, but I've got a photograph of it just to prove it. Yeah, I want to see it. Black fire, I guess. Is that my phone? Oh, I've turned it off. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Danger mouse no, is your screensaver. <laughs> you are so adorable. Sorry. Danger mouse is your. He's my hero. My ultimate hero. I love it. Yeah, I know. Danger With Alexander mouse back, Armstrong. Is it? Yeah, he's brilliant. Alexander Armstrong, really? Yeah. Who narrates it? Yeah. Richard Adewadi, oh, he's got, oh, um. oh, wonderful. Oh, I can imagine him doing Penfold. He read the twits as well, my favourite um, kind of Roald Dahl book. He read that it. it's such a good, it's so great. Right, okay. Um, 
and, and, and. Hang on. Oh my God, you've got to show us that. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this. I'll show you one of them, because I shouldn't have even told you this. Look at this. Look at this. We're not closing, we're obviously not closing down. We've got these bad boys coming in. Look at these. Isn't that amazing? I don't know. it's a type of agate. Yeah. You might as well show the other one. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Georgia is going to be so cross with oh, me. Oh, Georgia Smorgia. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these. It's like a strand of planets. Yep. So they've been ordered alongside the shell pearls. The fasted shell pearl are also going to be relaunching. So, yeah, we're not closing down. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Okay. Minute clock. Here we go. 29.99. Oh, gosh, no, that's not the price. That's not the price. Oh, no. Four strands. Uh, six, eight, ten, and twelve mil rounds. Helen and Maker, Richard, Yvette, oh, Sabine, oh, oh. Alberta, Christine, and Jean. Do you remember what we're doing on Tuesday next week? Graduated. Kiss I'm not here next next Tuesday. I want to be. Uh, I might just come back just for the I'm day. I'm with Ruth, aren't I? With Ruth. Yeah. Oh, she will love that, by the way. Wait. But make sure you check her pockets before she leaves, because she will try and steal stuff. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> she's dreadful. Uh, no, she's God. One of my best friends. I love her. Um, she'll be, she will love working with you, Mark. I remember the last time we worked together, she said it's nice to work with somebody taller than her. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. God love her. All six foot four of her or however tall she is. She's oh, a lovely girl. No, she's six foot, six foot two, I think she is. Yeah, well, she's six foot, oh, I don't know. Same as me. Anyway, 1999, amazing. Wow. This, look, this looks like window opal, doesn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean by that? Yeah. Isn't that cool? It's not on all of them, but some of them, but that is just super cool. Love it. Beautiful. Brian, Rita, Monica, Maker, Steve and Anne. Loads of you coming through. Alberta, well done to you. Helen, Christine, Anne, Maker, Jean. Well done. Go, go, go. Right, well okay, that's pretty much gone. Well done. Boyful, boyful, boyful fire agate. What's King bringing around? King has got all the stuff. Oh, she's hiding them. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. Right. Okay, purple. Here we oh, go. Look at these. Gorgeous quality. <clears throat> Aren't they yeah, look at, look at these. That's nice. Oh. Isn't that just delicious? So lovely. I just love the fact with this type of gemstone, every single one. I know everyone's unique anyway, but with the patterning, they're even more unique, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, a different story in each yes. one. Yeah. Absolutely. Just gorgeous. Three, two, one. Neri, I can't hear you. I don't, is he talking to me? Nah, he's fine. <laughs> nah, he's... <clears throat> he just realised what? Well done, 1999. No idea what Neera's talking about. Uh, but anyway, four strands. That's amazing. That's a five for a strand. That's just incredible, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Wiltshire, well, Worcestershire, that, um, Hampshire. If you did that necklace design I did with the with the two-inch pieces, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and we've got the blue as well. That, that's amazing. Nice. See, they go very well yeah. together. Or you yeah. could go for completely different sizes, couldn't you? Yeah. Gorgeous. Well done. Uh, well done. <laughs> Margaret Maker, Julie Janice. Well done to you. Oh, Neri, I do love you. I don't know what I'd do without your little kind of, the little, f the funny little things you say. I just love it. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is naughty, naughty, Neri, new, new, na, na, hey, nonny, nonny, and a hey, nonny, no. Oh my gosh, they're cubes. Cubes. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Hello. Hello, hello. Black diamond cubes with chamfered edges, Mark. Yes. Look at that. Oh, I love these. I love our diamonds. 
you remember when we first had a strand of diamonds and we had those little rough nuggets, weren't they? Oh, we lost our minds, um, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, look diamonds. how far we've come. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we thought, we've made it, that's it, we've got diamonds. You don't have to yeah. go and beg, borrow and steal for other <laughs> diamond products to put in our birthstone hours. That's, that's it, it. Yeah. we've done it, we've made it. And look at this, diamond faceted cubes with chamfered edges. They're black and beautiful. 1.85 carats in total. <gasps> they are just, uh, do you know what I'd love with this? I'd love a ring. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. That is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Black diamond ring, yes. One. One, four, nine. Your deal today, well done. No, oh no, it's not your price. Gee whiz, it's just uh, full of surprises what? today. You're gonna take what off? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not taking that off. No, you're not. No, you're not. I don't, Neary, no. Neary, you're not doing that, love. No way, no way. Black diamond, facet, black diamond cubes. Neary, don't do that. We will never recover from something like that. What do you mean it is what it is? What do you mean? <laughs> He's just showing off. You can have Split diamonds pay. home for 16 pounds. Split payments of 1666, 49.99, that's obscene. How many do we have? Five chances remaining, they're all going. Over allocated, go, go, go. Victoria Pauline Morag, Brian Maker in London, well done to you. Yvette, well done to you, Francesca, Maker, Linda. Maker, gone, well done, right. <coughs> <clears throat> Coming up tomorrow. They have got the most ridiculous bangle I've ever seen in my entire life tomorrow. Have you seen it? No. It's a double jade bracelet bangle. Right, look oh, at this no. photograph. Oh, it's two toes. It's what? Hinged. It's hinged. And you are getting a half black, half green bangle. A white hinged bangle. They are absolutely stunning. I think they're the bangles we never thought we'd ever do. And they're coming up tomorrow. They're absolutely amazing. Mark, it's been awesome working with you today. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. My partner in crime today. Thank that was you. so much fun, wasn't amazing it? Amazing show. Brilliant show. Thank you so much. Tune in this afternoon for uh, Dave uh, and Keith on, on Hobby Maker. They've got more card. <laughs> then you know what to do with. Dave is literally like, oh my gosh, so much. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be a brilliant afternoon. Thank you so bye much, bye. Mark. Thank See you, you after this. It's going to be a fantastic afternoon. Uh, bye. <laughs>